What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Light Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion. Ryzen Landmark 6 in Nagoya starting now. Actually, it started one fight ago, but they're just starting the broadcast now. Yes, we have the early prelims here. That's right, early prelims here, and already, folks, already, the bell has rung, already we have action here. As Joji Goda already takes the back of Junyai Hibino. Now, this is a landmark event at Ryzen, which means, yes, it is in a cage, not a ring. And it's a big cage, too, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, I want to give a quick shout-out to everybody who joined us on the PFL broadcast. That was amazing. The chat was buzzing. Appreciate every single one of you. What is up, Ice Viking? What is up, Grave Digger Jones? One of our exclusive members here in the live chat. What's up, Shinobi? Shinobi Kenobi. What's going on, buddy? Uh, Sarah Carter slash uh, Nick. What's going on, buddy? Uh, Koye Nong. What's up, Koye Nong? Thank you so much for joining. Sorry, my voice is going, folks. I've literally, like, uh, I was fighting a cold all week and then. Been, I think I streamed like 15 hours this weekend already. Maybe, yeah, around. So my voice is just, it's starting to go a little bit. So my apologies if it's a, <clears throat> a little bit raspy here tonight. We will do more focus play by play up throughout the card, ladies and gentlemen. Again, first fight on the broadcast, early prelims here. And Goto's going for the rear naked choke. Goto's going for the rear naked choke. He has the body triangle secured here. Three minutes and 28 seconds on the clock in the first round. I will get that on the screen here in a sec for those who are new to the channel we do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chats love the interaction with you guys especially throughout these crazy cards here so don't be shy comment in the live chat we try to address them all if we're like all focused on the fight we'll get back to the live chat we have all night all morning Talk rising here, ladies and gentlemen. I do have the Canelo and Charlo fight also on in the background. Uh, just entering the fifth round here in a little bit there, but uh, pretty much pure domination right now by Goto on Habino. Two minutes and 41 seconds left in the uh, first round. Yo, 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 what is up, Shane? Uh, rush hour is wasted. He hit 6,000 subscribers. That is amazing. I, I was in his stream uh, when the prelims were on earlier today. That is awesome. Oh, my goodness. I should fire that up here and say what's up. I'll go tell him congrats, actually. I'm going to fire that up. Look okay, at early prelims here, ladies and gentlemen. Hibino against Goto. Two minutes left on the clock here. The first, I believe, what is it? The first... The first three fights on this card on the broadcast are special rules bouts. One kickboxing fight on the card as well. There's only one kickboxing fight on the card on 44. Um, but it was really good. Okay. I'm uh, uh I'm I'm in uh, rush hour speed. All right. I just uh, hopped in rush hour stream and just said, uh, congrats on 6K subs. Let's fucking go. All right. One minute left in the first round here, folks. And again, this whole first round has been Goto full on back control on Hibino. I feel naked without the green. Uh, to my name. What's up, JL? Good to see you. Uh, Riley Height went off this weekend. What's up, Mateo? One of our exclusive members as well. Good to see you. I like those green gloves. Yeah, I know. I want to get a pair of those green gloves to hang some over. Re replace one or both of Kenny and Spenny. Early prelims. The hell's going on here, right? Again, I have the Canelo and Charlo fight in the background, too, if you guys want to talk about that. Uh, 12, 12 on PFL. Look at, look at you now. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. If this event goes past 12 AM, uh, we will see. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> Step that game up. I know, dude. I'm slacking. One minute, 23 seconds on the clock. Sorry, I meant 23 seconds on the clock, not one minute. And that's the end of the first round. Again, early prelims here. The skill level of these guys isn't anything crazy, as you can see here. Uh, six and two against a 15 and six. Not necessarily the best record for that of a Goto, but he is dominating Hibino right now. Goto went right for his back. Hasn't been able to get the choke yet. Credit where credit is due to Hibino. He is scrambling, but shout to Goto early in this round. He's been going for the choke or going for a few different chokes. His technique on the rear naked has been suspect, but he's employed the body triangle this whole time. 15 fights, man. We're here for a long night, long morning. <laughs> Charlo is a bum again. I don't know much about boxing, but I heard Canelo was just going to rally him. I didn't think... I, I thought... I, I watched the, the co-main event every single round, and in typical boxing fashion, it was an absolute robbery. And I don't throw that word around liberally. Um, but a boom. But yeah, again, big shout out to everyone who joined us for the PFL card. Even if you guys just stopped in to like, we we smashed our like goal. I I hoped we would hit 40 likes. We hit 108. Oh my god. All right, round 2, guys. Let's get it all. Again, I do have the Canelo fight in the background if you guys want to talk about that, but we are focusing Oh, nice. I'm just looking at the highlights from round five of the Canelo fight. And you have that beautiful left hook. But we have Junior Hibino and Joji Goto. I think this is a... Oh, no. This is a three... Three five-minute round. Interesting. Ryzen just changed some things up on the go here. But anyways. Uh, we are a totally interactive live stream. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. So don't be shy. Get your comments in the live chat. Let me know your thoughts on this fight. Let me know your thoughts on the weekend of mixed martial arts and combat sports. Don't forget to vote in the poll question as well, folks. Isha, surely you stream the Canelo fight on Discord? Uh, I did not. I do have it on in the background right now, though. You're doing no time on this card. Three minutes and 50 seconds. Second round here. Hypocrite? No, I just said I don't use the word liberally at all. It was an absolute robbery, man. Even like the the uh, commentary to Twitter, um, the fighters camp, rightly so. Everyone was like, are you kidding me? Again, another reason why I'm just not a fan of boxing. It just makes no sense. Uh, it's raining. I just got off work. It was dead, so I got home quickly. Nice, dude. Yeah, it's been raining here as well. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, and he has the back again. God was going for... Oh, my God. And he taps. Oh, my goodness. Was that a twister? Twister, Dude, he won with a twister. Goto just won with a twister. It wasn't the traditional twister, but he was trying to set it up in the first round. Guys, sorry about that. I have to explain this. In that first round, I thought he was going for the neck in a weird fashion. I was like, what kind of rear naked choke is this? No, he went for the body triangle, contorted his body a bit, and then just grabbed his neck at like kind of a longer, with a longer cinch and just ripped him to the opposite side twist like modified twister dude M leave it to the japanese second round finish modified twister god damn i love this promotion that shit beautiful than a motherfucker oh my goodness oh my god wow haven't seen a twister submission before the korean zombies done one bryce mitchell's done one and Damon Blackshear humbled everyone. Oh, look at him. <gasps> look at his torso. Dude, what a nasty. Oh, my goodness. What a nasty submission, dude. He's in pain. 
New poll, Alex, are you? This ain't a UFC stream. This is a Ryzen stream. But that is good. That is a good one. I'll likely put that in a future, a near future stream. Guys, it's weird seeing Ryzen with a cage, but the Ryzen landmark events all have cages. Now, there's only been six. They're going to continue to do them. And it's cool because they do them in cities of in Japan that have, you know, that are known for their wicked landmarks. <laughs> so that's kind of their gimmick, I guess. Their gimmick, their niche, their, their reasoning. And yeah, they employ their cage for those type of events, which honestly, all the landmark events have been awesome. And their cage is big. Honestly, their ring is pretty big too. I think their ring is bigger than uh, one championships. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, and appreciate you guys in the live chat. That's brutal. I wonder what it feels like. Yeah, it probably doesn't feel very good. 2 0 in predictions already for Grave Digger Jones. That's awesome, buddy. I didn't give a prediction in that one, but I will for the next fight. JL could have taken it. I would have cried, though, not going to lie. <laughs> would, would you have tapped, though, JL? It's a hexagon cage, no less. All right, next fight coming up here, folks. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. God, I love the I love the cold open. I cold opens. I love the intros for every single fight here. Even on the prelims, they put together a hell of an intro uh, package. Okay, so this is the kickbox. Is this the kickboxing fight coming up next year? The bout order that Ryzen posted is out of whack here. The bout order that's on Tapology is out of whack here, so I'll just wait for these guys to walk out. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Yeah, because Habino was last... Habino was supposed to be on the main card. Gravedigger Jones, who's up next year? I can't see because everything's in Japanese, obviously, on the cold open, but... Anyways... We'll bring the next fighters on screen in just a moment. Well, it looks like it's Kohi Takeshi against Yuzaku Inoue. Guys, maybe we missed the early prelims. I thought they were going to show the early prelims, but maybe we missed them. Maybe we're going right into the, uh, right into the main card. Regardless. By the way, Canelo and Charlo fight seventh round right now. Oh, I'm just looking at some of these highlights. Man, I... You're always going to see my eyes glued to these cold opens. They're unbelievable. Uh, I know Tapology has been showing results for the smaller promotions. Oh, nice. Tapology is up in, up in their game. Okay, yeah, so we're just on the main card. So we, the, I guess we're, they didn't show the early prelims. So we're just, we're just going right to the main card here, guys. I hope we still get to see the kickboxing match. Oh, uh, that's the, the that's this fight coming up right now, buddy. Yeah, so I guess uh yeah, we don't we don't get to see the prelims, unfortunately. I guess these do count as the prelims, but there were some early prelims that had some like special rules, but anyways. We have a lightweight fight coming up next year, and the fighters are making their walk out now. Kohi Tokeshi against Yusaku Inoue. Let's highlight the fighters here. Uh, actually, no, I'll catch up on the comments. Oh, okay. Well, they, I'm I'm not on YouTube. I uh, I bought the pay per view, and my pay per view just started at the the top of the hour, so I missed them. My apologies, guys. That's on me. <laughs> it's funny that the pay per view didn't show the prelims. Anyways, it is what it is. Uh, the pink eyed goat. Good to see you. Yeah, Nick, I guess, uh, I, again, I wasn't watching on YouTube. I just had, uh, I'm on Fight TV. Do, do, do. Unless it's a choke, hell yeah, you aren't passing out by that, attaboy. <clears throat> so, because it's still the prelim portion, like the opening ceremony. Wait, did they do the opening ceremony then? I don't think they did. I think there's going to be uh, like a couple of fights for the opening ceremony here. But anyways, uh, Lene Hart's not announcing them. So I guess the opening ceremony hasn't happened yet. 
Uh, there's some sweet subs in the prelims. Nice, dude. I mean, we just saw freaking modified Twister. King James, we just saw a modified Twister, dude. Okay, let's take a look at these fighters. Eight and ten. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. 35 years old. Eight and ten. Two and two in his last four, though. Out of Okinawa. Let's take a look at Tokeshi. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Again, big shout out to everyone joining us here. If you're new to the channel, smash that like button. Let's try to get to 30 likes on this video. That's right. The like goal for this video is 30. We got to 108. 58. Wait, 68 more likes than we originally hope to get. I don't think we're going to get 100 likes on this Ryzen stream, but if we can at least get to 30, that would be amazing. And look at that. Chihiro Suzuki in the corner of Tokeshi. Four KO, TKO, two submissions, two decisions, one and two in Ryzen. Six and six in Pancrase. Uh, he lost to a 1919 guy in deep. Oh my goodness. Uh, beat a zero and three guy. <clears throat> I mean, hmm. yeah, awful, uh, awful recent MMA record, but he's a dog. Look, he's fought in Lethway, fought in Muay Thai. More of a kickboxer and traditional Lethway fighter. This guy is more of a brawler. This guy's more of like a Mike Perry type of cat than a polished MMA fighter. Going up against Yuzaku Inoue, 34 years old. He's minus 300 favorite. 10, 4, and 1. He is 2 and 2 in his last five or four fights. He is on a two fight losing streak. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. six KO TKO, uh, one submission, three decisions, zero and one in one championship, four, one and one in Shuto Japan, and two and one in Pancrase. How crazy is it that Pancrase is still going on right now? Uh, lost to a 13 and four guy and an eight and five. Ooh, that's not good. Beat an 18 and 16, a one and two. Oof, yeah, so. Both of them don't have the greatest records. Um, you know what, Shane? Who are you going with, Shane? Who are you going with? I might, I might go to head to head with you, depending on your pick. Well, Shane, you're picking the other way. The other guy was crushing cans. Well, anyway, he was crushing cans too. And Shane, the other guy fought left way. Oh my goodness. Yeah, plus, or in a way, minus 300 on Betway, Bet Online, Bovada, my bookie. I'm I'm going with Inway too. <laughs> Let me know your picks, folks. All right, fight's about to begin here. Round one coming up here. I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and we'll get right to it. Again, big shout out to everyone joining us live here this late, late evening, early morning for some of us here for... Ryzen Landmark 6, round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. All right, four minutes and 41 seconds on the clock here. In a way. In the blue corner. Tokeshi, the traditional Muay Thai kickboxer and Lethway fighter. In a way with the right hand. In a way, his hair matching his shorts, ladies and gentlemen. Lethway is like a more savage uh, um, Muay Thai shame where you can headbutt and if you knock someone out, they have in the rules five minutes to come back to and come back to their senses and agree to fight again. So like a knockout counts as a knockdown, <laughs> essentially. It's just more savage. It's amazing. And one championship did have Lethway at one time. Oh, flying knee. Flying knee and a left hook. Flying knee and a left hook. It is all over. It is all over. Flying knee and left hook. Damn, son. And the favorite rallies. This just in. Ryzen has issued a warning to anyone who posts clips from today's card. 
in Nagoya on social media. What's well, a good thing I'm not posting anything on social media. More finishes in Ryzen so far than the PFL. How crazy is that? I have Joji Goto parlay with Cedric Dumbay for PFL. Let's go, baby. Goto won. He won with the twister. You don't see Japanese people with tattoos very often. No. Unless you're <laughs> unless you're Lethway badass. Headshot dead. What a knockout. Damn, son. Is it worth even watching this Canelo fight anymore? Or should I just turn it off, guys? Let me know in the live chat. Pancrase is legendary uh, Bas Rutan style. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a shadow of what it was, of what it once was. Like, Ryzen is way better. But I think they've had, they're on their, like, 350-plus event. Charlie moving up two weight classes. Damn, son. Big shout to the exclusive members in the live chat, by the way. Gravedigger Jones and Shane. Appreciate you guys. Boxing is a snooze. Yeah, unless Inoue is fighting in, in boxing, I really could care less. I love Japanese boxing because they just don't clinch. And they're aggressive as hell. All right, I'm hoping... Man, was the kickboxing fight on the prelims? Damn, son, that sucks. I was hoping to see that. I missed this one. Ah, oh, I am annoyed. That's annoying that Fight TV didn't show the, the prelims. Oh, well. I'll rewatch it on YouTube. On the Ryzen's YouTube channel. All right, next fight coming up here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Got to kill, call you off for saying UFC, the big leagues, they have deepest roster, but elite fighter everywhere. Call me out? Calling you out for... Call, call, I mean, the UFC is the big, big leagues, no? The UFC is the NFL, the NHL, the MLB of uh, of mixed martial arts. The UFC is bigger. The UFC brand is bigger than the sport itself in North America, which is crazy. Average people know UFC more than if you just said MMA. However... Us combat sports fans, us diehards, mixed martial arts fans, we know that there's so many other amazing leagues that offer just so much more in combat sports. And, and that's why we love Ryzen. Uh, yesterday you said you got to disagree. What? I did not say that, dude. I don't, a, I don't know. I don't, I'm kind of confused with what you're talking about right now. So you're calling me out for saying the UFC is the big league and has the deepest roster, but there's elite fighters everywhere. I mean, there are good fighters everywhere in every promotion. There's, there's good fighters in Bellator. There's good fighters in, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but the PFL, I mean, OAM, solid fighter, Sergio Pettis in Bellator, Nemkov. Ryzen, I, and I never said yesterday that the guys in Ryzen would be champions in the UFC. I never said that, so I did not say that. Um, yeah, I don't know what you're calling me out for. Yes, you said you got to disagree. I'm confused. I'm confused. What's up, Activate A? Our third exclusive member in the live chat. I did not say everyone else was the minor leagues. That's not true. I did not say that. I said they are that. They are the deepest. Okay, I guess in a sense I did, but I didn't mean like fucking one championship is the ECHL. And, and I've been consistent on what I've said every single stream. So if you're calling me out for saying something wrong in one stream, again, I'm going to disagree with you. That's incorrect. Because I've been, I've said this every single stream that my favorite promotions are one championship KSW and Ryzen are pretty much the same. Um, and then and then I put the UFC. Like, if, if you're going to tell me that the UFC is not the MLB, 
the NHL, the the NFL, then 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 I would argue with you because because it is it has the deepest roster of every of every promotion. But there are there are elite fighters in other promotions, and I I I'm not even gonna say I don't recall not saying I I never I didn't say that. Oh, uh, what the f is the Ryzen chat saying? I don't know what is the Ryzen chat saying. You didn't like the metaphor? Well, give me a better one. <laughs> and 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 Nick, it's honestly mostly to defend my ass when, when I say my favorite promotions are one championship, uh, KSW, Ryzen, and, and then UFC, and everyone's like, oh, you're an idiot. UFC is the best. Yeah, it is. It, it really is. Like, we can't deny it. But that, when I say that, I'm not diminishing any other promotions. One championship is a very good promotion. Their MMA... Honestly, it's probably at the same level as that of the KSW and like the top of Bellator. But like, honestly, Ryzen doesn't have a good roster right now. The top of Ryzen probably couldn't compete in the UFC. I mean, look what Bellator did to them, right? Two cards in a row schooled them. Who is picking the next foot? Yeah, we'll get to it in one sec. See, I disagree. It's the best, but barely. I th the, the product is more polished. A little bit more boring in presentation, and there's a lot more safer paths to victory versus in other promotions, fighters being a little bit more flashy. Um, it's like I, I'm in your camp, but uh, but I don't I don't I personally wouldn't like name it as blunt as like it's it's over it's overrated like it's awesome. I just think that like us. Uh, us diehards have to continue to to wave to to wave the flag and and get everyone's attention that there are other good promotions that uh, you know that that need our hardcore support. Damn, some of these Japanese fighters are looking pretty elite. Excellent grappling skills shown. Goto, yes, he did win. It was a modified twister, modified twister. Miss that one. Well, agree to disagree then, brother. Agree to disagree. And again, and I'm the one I'm the one defending the the other league. So this is actually cool to have someone who's more hardcore than me. <laughs> more hipster than me on on that matter, which I hey, I love it. I love it. All right, sorry pink goat. Sorry pink goat. Um Victor Kolesnik, 24 wins, 6 losses, 1 draw. He's out of Serbia. Four wins in his last four fights. Uh, 27 years of age. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's take a... They're being announced in the, in the center of the cage right now. Which, that's right, landmark with the cage. Seven KOTKO, eight submissions, nine decisions. One in... Uh, one and zero in Ryzen, four, two and one in M1. I do like that, that promotion. M1's fun to watch. Uh, four and one in what the heck is this tech crep fighting championship and three and oh in national championship pancration uh nick's going victor locking it in uh looking at his opponent six and one who's the underdog rio takaji uh plus 255 24 years old he's on a two fight win streak right now but let's see if he's been crushing some cans i'll get back to your guys's comments here in a sec Five KO TKO, zero submissions, one decision. Okay, I mean, he's finished most of his opponents, 6-1 in Pancreas. Yeah, but his opponents haven't been that great. Uh, I'm going with the favorite here again. I'm going with the Serbian, uh, Kolesnik. Kolesnik is also the favorite. Um, yeah, Kolesnik is also the favorite on Bet Online minus 325, Betway. My bookie. Yeah. Anyways, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. If I'm talking a little quiet here tonight, it's because it's almost midnight, and I don't want to wake up my entire house. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Going for Victor. Oh, he's not serving. He's Russian. Tapology got it wrong. Okay, my apologies, guys. My apologies. What's up, N? Uh, I'm watching on Fight TV. 
Which is very good. I remember outside low kick by Victor. Yeah, activate A. He kept trying to set up, set it up. Shane's also picking Victor. He kept trying to set up. Uh, it almost looked like a rear naked choke because he went for the body triangle, then kind of like contorted the body of his opponent. And it was kind of like he was setting up the, the rear naked choke like from his wrist and it was like long. And I was like, what is he doing? And then he eventually got it in the second. It was nasty. Well, if you just want to go like, sh sure. I mean, agreed, but let, let's, okay. So the top of Bellator can compete with the top of you. Again, I'm not arguing with you. Where did this come from? I want to call you out, Isha, because you're on my side, but I want to make sure <laughs> that you're still wrong, motherfucker. <laughs> Three minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Patchy Mix subs O'Malley. Sure. Agree. Uh, Patchy Mix, the rest of the division, killers. It would be an awesome fight. And I'm not saying that he would lose to all of them. I think it's crazy to think that UFC is, is not miles deeper than every other MMA promotion out, out there. But agree to disagree, brother. Agree to disagree. Uh, Amosov, Trashashan, Nemkov beats Hill. And, and, and you know what's funny? Those were the exact same fighters that I said would rally when someone asked me, what are some of the Bellator fighters who would, rally, who would do good in the UFC? Those are the same names. One or two minutes and 34 seconds on the clock. Uh, Pitbull smoked Sean. Dude, I don't know. Chiro Suzuki beat Pitbull. Oh, not arguing, just on a rant. Got you, got you. I'm used to everyone in the chat just arguing, so my apologies. That That's a... Oh, spinning heel kick! By Victor. So that's on me. Bader give Jones a tough test, lol. Bader couldn't even beat him at light heavyweight, dude. One minute and 56 seconds on the clock. I like Bilal, but Storley would give him a run for his money. Storley, Storley. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. It wasn't the late rising card to put me to sleep. It was Ryan Storley. It's Bilal, Storley, Shavgat, Leon. They are killers. Uh, Eddie Alvarez, UFC champ, cut from one. Um, it was a, I think a mutual, uh, mutual agreement to depart there. One minute, 18 seconds on the clock in the first round. Sorry, I haven't been calling in the play by play here, but the chat's been buzzing. So I'm going to give you guys some love. Honestly, I'm closing this Canelo fight. I'm not even watching it. I don't give a fook. All right, let's full screen this bitch. There we go. I love Eddie Alvarez. I hope he fights Mike Perry in BKFC. Forty nine seconds left in the first round here, guys. I'm I'm just not used to watching Ryzen with the cage. It's crazy. He dominated MVP. He dominated a can crusher in MMA. MVP uh, in karate and kickboxing was a killer. Because the landmark events, uh, they do in a cage. Charlo made it into... Yeah, I had it on in the background, but honestly, I wasn't really watching. Oh, a good left. A good left by Kosalinik. And a high kick. Dude, I like... This Russian is sick, man. His kickboxing is nasty. Outside low kick by Victor. Another outside low kick. High kick by Victor. Charlo blows. I mean, I, I closed it, Jail. Dude, I can't wait. I think that's the fight that's going to be announced. All right, that's it for the first round here, guys. That's it for the first round. Ba, 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 ba. Good fight thus far. Good fight thus far. I got the Russian up. Uh, have you ever watched any kind of King of the Streets event? Rampage, Machida, and Bass Rutan fought there. King of the Street. Wasn't it King of the Cage that they fought in? It was King of the Cage. No, it was King of the Cage or, or Cage Rage. Which one was it? One, one of them was an English league. One of them was a Southern United States one. Uh, but Anderson Silva fought in one of them too. 
This looks like a mismatch. Charlo tough. Victor clearly better. Oh, yeah. Victor can fight. Yeah. Logan is trying to bankrupt Dennis. <laughs> he is based. Western Mass Climber. The Underground King versus Platinum Perry. That's the fight we need to see. What's up, Western Mass Climber? It's great to see you, buddy. Victor's putting in the pressure on Rio. If he keeps this up, he'll probably knock him out. Canelo wins a decision. Surprise, surprise. All right, round two. Let's get Cage Rage Anderson Silva. Uh, he did well making it to the end after getting knocked into knocked into taking a knee. And going for the takedown here is Cole Col Colesnick. I keep messing up his name. Victor. I'm just gonna keep calling him Victor. Looking for the takedown right now is Victor pushing. Takaji up against the cage. Chad Mendez was robbed against Eddie Alvarez. Good, man. It's good. Another week of rising, even though we're going to be up all night, even though I'm going to be sleep deprived. Can't complain, but it's great to see you. Short right elbow attempt coming off the cage from v Victor, but he's just pressuring Takaji outside that center line. Four minutes on the clock in the second round. King of the Streets is unground, unsanctioned, and ruthless. Head stomps and everything. Okay. I don't know all those leagues by name, but I but I, I've seen like some or like early um some early fights from some UFC fighters. I know like Alex Caceres used to fight in like those backyard crazy I don't even want to call them promotions, but leagues. Who's winning Victor uh Rio? What's up, Melly? Uh Victor. Uh, I was so close, can't call it a robbery. Which fight are we talking about? Uh, it, it's going on right now, buddy. We're in the second round, three minutes and 15 seconds. I'll give you some play-by-play, -play, Tony. Counter left there by Victor. Victor pressuring Takaji outside the center. Like, oh, and a counter left there by Victor, and that hurt Takaji. Front kick by Victor. Outside low kick by Victor on that left knee on of Takashi. Victor's winning, buddy. Right hand by Victor. He's schooling this kid on the feet. Oblique kick by Victor. And Takaji can't take him to the ground. Oh, Eddie versus Chad, not a robbery. Oh, yeah, I think JL, he's just playing. He's just playing. You can't take everything JL says seriously. Or else you're going to be left with uh, your, your mind in a pretzel. Your brain in a pretzel. Two minutes and 28 seconds on the clock here. Again, trying with that outside low kick is Victor. Yes. The chat is taking shots at K1, saying it's more clean and has better reputation. Dude, I like K1. K1's a great promotion. Dude, I like Chad Mendes. He, he was a great fighter. And he was you know, pretty good in BKFC as well. Put on some good shows. Silly goose. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. It's much more tame than what uh, her than than Herbo when Herbo's pissed off jail. One minute forty five seconds on the clock and Victor with a short right elbow on Takashi. One minute and thirty five seconds in the second round. How do I feel about Ota? You took him in your parlay. What? Oh, I think he's gonna win. I think he's gonna win. I do think that that fight is close. Bet online has it as a pick 'em. Uh, but on Betways minus 135, on Bovada's one minus 145, on Bet USA is minus 161. I, I I am confident he's gonna take that one, but that one is one of the closer fights on the card. Should I be out in the second fight? Because it's the opening ceremony hasn't started yet, uh, jail. This these are still technically the prelims. Dude, he I, I popped in the stream earlier. Rush is wasted right now. He hit 6,000 subscribers. And he's been streaming for over seven hours, dude. Big shout out to Rush Hour Fight Club, our friends on this channel. Jay is an absolute beauty. Ripping the bazong. Hitting those shots. Drinking those IPAs. 
and celebrating 6,000 subscribers. Go show him some love. Go subscribe to his channel as well. Right when this event started, I, I hopped on there live and, and you know said congrats on 6,000 subs. And I encourage you all to do so as well. What a beauty. Final 15 seconds of the second round. Nice step in left body shot there by Victor. Let's go, Victor. Yeah, the Chaz Russes, they're saying he's in love with the wall of the cage. That's so funny. Like the Japanese fans just don't like the cage. And the and the North American fans hate the ring. It's just so different, man. It's just so different. That's crazy. You speak Japanese or are you just like translating uh, as you go? All right, end of the second round here, folks. And yeah, Victor is dominating. 24-6 and not in one Bellator PFL UFC. Yeah, he's fought in M1. Fought in M1. That's the highest promotion he's fought in thus far. He hasn't fought the best promotions. Or so he hasn't fought to, he hasn't fought the best promotions, but he hasn't fought the best guys either. Nine and six. I mean 15 and four, that's a pretty good one. Two and two, 17 and five. No, not the worst. 17, 12, man. Uh, he beat Wanderson Silva, not to be confused with Vanderlei Silva. Um, but yeah, like decent resume, nothing special though. So, but he's only twenty-seven years old, so we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe he'll be on the UFC's radar if he takes a, or even like one championship's radar if he has a few more good performances. Translating, I'm not that smart. I don't know. I don't. I mean, Shane Shane learned Japanese in college. I miss M1 MMA. It's still going on, Gravedigger Jones. It's just not as big as it once was. F it, I finally... Uh, I feel like finally finishing the Pride documentary. Dude, it's awesome. Let's get it Third round, ladies and gentlemen. And, and uh, Napoleon Blown Apart. Here, I'll play that one more time. Let's get it He's uh, releasing a new video in seven days. On the decline of our favorite MMA fighters. The thumbnail is Tony Ferguson. It's going to be a sad one, folks. It's going to be a sad one. Looking for the takedown right now is Rio Tagachi. Grabbing his neck here is Victor. Victor might drop for a guillotine. Looking for that right leg. Single leg right now is Tagachi. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Napoleon Blown Apart. I, I love his documentaries. Uh, I forgot most of the Japanese, but I remember Suki Desu means like and Desuki Desu means love. Shane is the Say Life Project's official Japanese translator, ladies and gentlemen. Shane, congratulations. Our favorite MMA fighter, excuse me, huh? What you talking about? Back up to their feet here and still holding the neck of Takashi is Victor. JL, I I've watched that freaking video so many times. I showed my dad it. I showed my uncle. I showed a few of my cousins. I showed my roommate. Beautiful takedown there by Victor. He literally just dragged him to the ground with a body lock. I saw one English comment. People were mocking him. Jeez. Red Pill MMA Guru talks less about, or the Red Pill MMA guy though, he just talks like uh, good quality. He's got a niche. He's got a fan base. I think I'm subscribed to his channel because I've I, I watched a handful of his videos and every now and then I, I like getting his opinion. So, but honestly, guys, I care less about like the UFC because he doesn't really talk about MMA news drama. He talks about UFC news drama primarily, right? And like I could care, I could care less about the drama from a political side personally. Now, hey, he has an audience for it. His quality is awesome. He's consistent. And again, some of his videos I actually like liked and agreed with. But at the end of the day, like sports is an escape from politics in the real world for me, right? I I I don't need going down the red pill, blue pill argument in my favorite sport or <laughs> one of my favorite sports. And Blown Apart's a documentary channel, right? So it's very different than like commentary, political MMA commentary, I will say. Like even the Guru's videos, I watch his breakdown videos first and foremost and some of his comedy videos. 
And that's why I kind of like, I, I like Rigo's style because Rigo is just like, he's out there. He's something very unique. Red Pill has a niche and that's trashing people. He does do a lot of trashing people. And that's why I said like, a, it's it's not like my flavor, but I'm not going to knock the guy at all. Yeah, but it gets clicks, man. It gets clicks. Beautiful takedown again here by Victor. Woman in 29 seconds on the clock. It's an unhealthy addiction, to be fair. That's why I just enjoy the sport, man. My question is, oh, oh, is he a Napoleon Bonaparte? They both have an Irish accent. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, I'm 98% sure they're not the same. I think they're different content creators. I've reached out to Blown Apart. He agreed to... Uh, oh, cage grab. Cage grab there by Takashi and Victor still took him to the ground. Um, I've reached out to him and he he agreed to link up and we're going to we're gonna chat and maybe, maybe he'll let me interview him. Uh, what's up, Best of Him? Why does everyone have to fight? Can't they just be like the QMJHL? Get out of here. Don't literally get out of here. What's up, Best of Ben? Cosgrove, one of our exclusive members on the channel. Great to see you, buddy. How's your weekend going? True, but I think he's a lot younger. I've listened to him on other podcasts, and, and he's my age. I think he's like within like the 90 to 95 range. Dropping for the guillotine is Victor. Dropping for the guillotine is Victor. It's deep, but is it tight? It's deep, but is it tight? That's the question. <laughs> oh, and that's it for the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Saved by the bell, but ending the fight in a guillotine, especially in Rising when the fights are judged as a whole, you are going to lose. <laughs> Just chilling, listening to Coldplay on the <laughs> You guys listen to Coldplay? Victor smashed, dude. Dude, he smashed him. It's deep, but is it tight? That's what she said. Oh, what's up, Debo? Great to see you, buddy. That's cool. Never seen Napoleon. I'm a fan. Uh, Audrey, I'm watching on fight.tv. Yes, he did, Bill Gates. Yes, he did. Well, okay. Well, they haven't announced it yet, but there's no way he's not going to win. Okay. He dominated that fight. So we're awaiting the official announcement, but look, I, I would be, I would be blown apart, blown apart away. Okay. That was terrible. I'm sorry. I'd be blown away. All right. We're listening in for the official decision. Give credit to Victor. He really wanted real to submit. Oh yeah. But saved by the bell. Yeah, Victor's going to take this one, guys. <laughs> Unanimous decision. And from Russia, not Serbia. Uh, Victor Kos, uh, Kosnik. Just came from Canelo vs. Charlo. What's popping? Honestly, the Canelo vs. Charlo card, man. Boring as hell. Ryzen, we've had modified twisters, we've had knockouts, flying knees and left hooks. Never disappoints, baby, never disappoints. Uh, how are you, Curtis? One of our exclusive members as well. We got Cosgrove, we got Curtis Clark, we got Shane, we got Gravedigger. As far as our exclusive members in the live chat here, appreciate you guys. Activate A, and then a bunch of other regulars and new subscribers, appreciate you guys. Oh, he's a Tiger Muay Thai guy. What's up, TR Clips? What's going on, buddy? All right, so uh, how many fights have gone by? There have been do, 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 do. one, two, three, four, five, six fights. We are on the seventh fight of the card, the fourth fight of the pay per view broadcast. I keep forgetting to tell you that the he's going to finish it all over button is super quiet. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why that is, Shane. 
I'm, I'll try to. I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll, I'll wipe the, the the soundboard clean again and and re-upload it tomorrow. Yeah, the main event was pretty boring. The co-main event sucked too. I guess the co-main event didn't suck, but poor poor uh, Mexican cat got robbed. <laughs> I'm always like, I'll tell him after the stream, but I forget. All right, we got flyweights uh, next, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. All right, we'll highlight the fighters in just a sec, but I want to catch up on some of these comments here. Again, appreciate everyone for joining us. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. Subscribe to the channel, folks. We have MMA content that drops pretty much daily. If not, we live stream. Patty Pimblick got a tougher matchups in Cage Warriors over the UFC. I'm a fan, or I'm a UFC hater at this point. Uh, they need new matchmakers. Well, they do push some stars, marketable stars, every, uh, every now and then, and... And again, I'm not a UFC like truther by any means, but you know, but I'll, I'll challenge some some of these points here because it's all about discussion, not an argument friendly discussion. They they they're no stranger to this. They pushed Ken Shamrock when he was long done in the UFC, right? Um, there's some I don't like. There's some I do like because every now and then they push the right fighter and they create that of Conor McGregor, who like I don't think Conor McGregor is a goat by any means, but. They they hit the nail on the head with that one, right? And am I saying Patty's going to become that of a Conor McGregor? No. Do I think Patty's going to become anything? No. But you know, they they took the chance on it, and so far it hasn't really been working out. But I will agree with you that he has faced better competition thus far in Cage Warriors. If he loses to Tony, I don't. I think they're just going to move past him and be like, all right, we're going to focus on better prospects. Wait, it's four one. Like I said, I corrected myself. It was okay. It was just a it was a robbery for the poor guy. Yes, he did, Tony. Yes, he did. Mystic Mose was not happy about the boxing fight. Or Mystic Mac? Broke even because I took Canelo KO plus 500 and unanimous decision minus 110. Bill Gates, who fights next? We have Yutaro Muramoto against Hojirio uh, Bontorin. And we will highlight them in just a second. I just want to catch up on your guys' comments. Yeah, that robbery was crazy. I never saw that shit coming, but that's boxing. Yeah, it's, it's why I can't get into the sport, man. One of the reasons why I can't, can't get into it other than I don't have that much time. Going for, of course you are, going for the Brazilian. Uh, the comment on Crawford versus Spence, an 18 to 1 dog got robbed, hate boxing, judging. And to say it's worse than the UFC, or it, to say it's worse than MMA, I should say, is saying something. Ex UFC Rogero. Boxing is boring compared to MMA. Uh, the UFC did Penn versus Yair. They tried to kill legends. And again, they've they've always done that. And I'm not I'm not defending them. I'm just saying it's nothing new today. Uh, and and Pride did that too, man. Pride put uh, Pride put Sakuraba up up against Vanderlei three freaking times, dude. And he lost all three. Got almost killed all three times. Uh, have you doing Rogero Parlay? Some great intro songs so far, and they're just gonna get better. Ain't gonna lie, I feel a lot better about my pick since there's a cage. Ropes makes, makes things hard for the grapplers, for sure. Activate A, did you hear what JL was saying in the live chat? Apparently, on the uh, the Ryzen live chat on YouTube, they are pissed about the cage. And anyone who's using the cage, they're like, what a loser using the cage, what a loser. It's just so funny that like, the Japanese love the ring because like that's their shit. And us in North America are like, screw the ring. Well, unless you're me, I, I love that shit, but I'm a savage. And and I am and, and I will say that take is wrong, but I love the ring. It is a wrong take. A ring should not be for MMA, but it's my take. Boxing is corrupt as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Pride's still my favorite promotion. I love Sakuraba, man. He's one of my favorites of all time. Which Canadian fighter is the higher ceiling? Mike Mallard or Aubert Mercier? Oh, dude, Aubert Mercier, and it's not even close. And Aubert Mercier, like, I mean, he... He wasn't a bad fighter in the UFC. He's just leveled up since. And look, he's fought some good guys in in um, in PFL. He's also fought some scrubs. But I do think he could hold his own in the UFC. Shane's got the Brazilian. Okay, guys, I got to highlight these fighters. Keep the comments coming. 
Uh, Melly's waiting on Igor and Ishirio. OAM, baby. Eh. Slowly, Canada has some decent fighters outside the top 15, but they got no one who's like a killer right now. All right, let's highlight these next two fighters here. We have Yutaro Muramoto, 11, 7, and 2. He's 3 and 1 in his last four fights, though. Plus 205. Underdog, he's 28 years of age. He was okay in the UFC, but he was young. That's the thing. And he didn't come into his own yet. I think you'd, he could hold his own today and, and be in the top 15. Four KO, two KO, two submissions, five decisions, two and two in rise, and six, three and two in deep. Because now that he's got that KO power, baby. He beat a three and three guy, four and three. His record is kind of sus, but that is deep. That is deep. Um, but, but look at his opponent, former UFC fighter, 17 and five. He has a little bit of a skid right now. One and three in his last four fights. He is the pretty big favorite at minus 265. Um, but let me take a look at some of the other betting odds here or betting uh sports books here, I should say. So he's minus 400 bet online, minus 275 betway, minus 350 Bovada, minus 277 my bookie, and minus 250 bet USA. He's 31 years old out of Brazil. One and contender series, three and three UFC, zero and one in Ryzen. Oh, so he's freshly out of the UFC. God, oh yeah, he's so he lost to Brandon Royvel split decision 2022. Lost in his first fight in Ryzen via knee, and he's making his second or his second attempt in Ryzen. I'm going with the favorite here. I'm going with the Brazilian. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. What's the rule, Gravedigger Jones? If you don't know too much about the fighters, or in this case, if you do know a little bit about the Brazilian, go with the Brazilian. All right, round one, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I'll get the ticker back on screen here. We'll turn our attention back to the fight. Again, big shout out to everybody joining us here tonight. This morning, I should say. Appreciate every single one of you. Outside low kick there by Bontorin. It looks like Muramoto's game to fight, man. They meet, center of the cage. How crazy is it? Ryzen in a cage. Landmark, baby. Kind of late for the main card starting. Well, I mean, it's it's early in Japan. Look at the last UFC pay-per-view card was pathetic. Bellator 300 is better. Well, how can you say something's better if we haven't even seen it play out yet? And yes, the last UFC pay-per-view was not very good. The f do -do 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 -do. Oh, satire, satire. Um, Mark Andre is champ material. Mark Andre Fleury. Oh, and a counter left by Bontorin. Three minutes and thirty-one seconds on the clock. Double left jab by Bontorin. I hope Malot uh, takes that next step. Three minutes and five seconds on the clock here. I don't like how Muramoto's keeping his hands down here. Oh, and a huge overhand right there by Bontorin, but a swing and a miss there. Good footwork. Karate stance here by Muramoto. And a left and a right. And going for the takedown and easy with the cage there. Drags him. Easy takedown by Bontorin. He's in the rubber guard. Of Muramoto right now. Oh, not even rubber guard. Sorry, I shouldn't say it. I thought, I thought his right foot was there as well. Ooh, a nice right hand by Bontorin. Bontorin is on his feet. Bontorin with the soccer kick. Bontorin with the soccer kick. Back up to his feet is Muramoto and dropping for Gitin is Bontorin. And he lost it there. Good scramble by Muramoto. Two minutes and 17 seconds on the clock. And some right hands by Bontorin. Falling to the ground there was... Muramoto as the pressure by Bontorn with a knee by Bontorn. Bontorn with the tie clinch here. Slipping there was Muramoto. Another knee by Bontorn. One minute and 58 seconds on the clock. Beautiful. 
beautiful Thai Klitsch by Bontorn. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock here. Guys, I'm watching on fight.tv. One minute and 22 seconds on the clock here. With the body lock right now. On their feet here. Nice knees to the body. One minute and seven seconds left on the clock, guys. Fifty-four seconds on the clock here. Still with the body lock. Bontorn trying to drag Muramoto to the ground. Ref's got to keep a closer eye, ladies and gentlemen, because he might have missed a cage grab there. What is up, MMA Upside? What's up, Noah? I have no knocks on my, my lot at all. When was I ripping my lot? You put words in my mouth. No, no, they just do it for their landmark events, dude. Hey, no, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. And I'm 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 excited too. Knees by the Brazilian here, and that's it for the first round. Oh, first round again. The fights aren't judged as a whole in uh in Ryzen, guys, and there's no 10 point must system, but the former UFC fighter, um, Bontorin, he he's winning this fight thus far. If the fight ended right now, Bontorin would win. All right, round two coming up here in just a moment. Appreciate every, everybody who's watching right now. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. Jordan, I am watching on fight.tv, guys. The Brazilian is winning. Yes, sir. Yeah, I like him a lot, too. I like him a lot, too. Strong body lock here. Yeah, former, uh, well, former UFC guy against a former deep guy. I mean, the UFC guy is probably going to win. And he's he's the favorite, and he's the favorite on all betting lines. Yeah, Noah, it's hard to find. That's why I just buy it on Fight.tv because it's it's easy to find there. This one's a tough one to to find on the other on those other in the, on those other destinations. Yes, the Brazilian is winning. But yeah, it's only twenty bucks. They only really do an event once a month, once every two months. I canceled my Netflix for a reason, so I could watch fights, ladies and gentlemen. Four minutes and 51 seconds on the clock. Uh, what's up, buddy? It's Ryzen, so they don't they don't judge the fights by round. They judge it as a whole, but so far the Brazilian looks like he's doing better. Round one. Let's get it all. People are saying the fights are not worth 10 because they're rigged. Okay, well, I, I, why, JL, why are you ruining this experience for me and yourself by just looking at the negative and translating what the Japanese people are saying in the live chats about this? It's that dark cloud. Uh, what's up, Adam? Good to see you, buddy. What's up, Carlo? But that's crazy, JL, that everyone's ripping on it. I remember Roger Bonteron got flatlined by Kai Car France. Yeah, dude. He did not have a good UFC run. Three minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Bontorin with the constant pressure. Three minutes and 47 seconds. Here's his record if you guys uh, want to see. Oh, I'm trying to land that right knee is Bontorin. Muramoto... It, He's got that karate stance. His hands are down. Ducked from a shot by Bo uh, Bontorin. Looked for the takedown. Couldn't get it. Bontorin employing the tie clinch. Nice knee by Bontorin. Still in the tie clinch here. Another knee by Bontorin. Another knee in Bontorin. Slips and falls to the ground. And Muramoto trying to get to side control. Doesn't get it. Bontorin now with the takedown again. 
scrambling here back to the center of the cage. I keep forgetting rise and stop the 10 minute first rounds. Yeah. Yeah. That's some, that was some pride and dream shit bleeding under the left eye as Muramoto. No problem, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah. He's not a bad fighter and he's still relatively young, 31 years old. Adam, I love it, dude. It's my favorite. I think 10 point must has no business in mixed martial arts, which I'll say to my friend, Nick is one of the reasons why I, I'm not the biggest fan of the UFC compared to some of these other promotions as well, because I don't think a fight should be, I don't think an MMA fight should be judged 10 point must beautiful takedown again there by Bontorn, some right hands. He's bleeding quite a bit now from that left eye under that left eye is Muramoto. Who won the fight between Sato and Umeno? I will let you know, buddy. One sec. Uh, it hasn't happened yet, buddy. It hasn't happened yet. Oh, and a beautiful left hook there by Bontorin. And Bontorin going for the takedown again. One minute and 38 seconds left on the clock. And Murmoto fell to the ground after taking some big shots there by Bontorin. Bontorin is still on his feet, crouched over. Murmoto pushing him up against the cage. And a knee on the way up by Bontorin. Uh, four or oh yeah, three fights into the broadcast, and a stomp and a right stomp and a right stomp by Bontorin. Uh, three fights into the fight TV broadcast, there were some special rules prelims that uh streamed on YouTube. One still does it for jujitsu. Uh, Adam, I'm in Minnesota now, but I'm a, I'm a I was originally from Vancouver Island, I moved from uh, Nanaimo to Minnesota. Alpha male, what's going on, Alpha male? Here, this is for you, Alpha male. 42 seconds, and Bontorin is just running away with this, ladies and gentlemen. He is beating up Muramoto on the feet in the grappling, stomping him, soccer kicking. It's unbelievable. What's up, Joe Hogan? It's great to see you. Got the pay-per-view. They ended the YouTube free stream as soon as the fight started. I was rushing. That's how they get you. Uh, use a pay-per-view for uh use try try or sorry try to use a, a VPN then on YouTube, Mortis. I'm not sure, but I'm in the states, so I can't help you. Yeah, three D. I think I think you're right, buddy. Because this one's impossible to find. All right, end of the second round, guys. Sorry if I'm speaking a little quiet. By the way, my roommates are sleeping, and I I don't want to wake them up. <laughs> yeah, Mortis. I'm sorry about that, buddy. Uh, Mortis, uh, if you don't mind me asking, where are you from, dude? Dude, he stomped him and he soccer kicked him. Man, I love this promotion. Ooh, that's a pretty nasty cut. It's a pretty nasty cut. Again, left eye of Maramoto running away with this is the Brazilian Rogério Bontorin. Uh, King James, that is true, buddy. That is true. Australian, for some reason, fight won't allow. Okay, Mortis, you try. Oh, you know what? Mr. Greg Gregory, I remember, said that there was something weird. Try your VPN on Fight TV and see if that works. I remember I had to do that in Canada once uh, to, to watch an event at, on Fight. All right, third and final round. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. All right, we are 10 seconds into the third round, ladies and gentlemen. Back center of the cage. That's right, a cage for a Ryzen event. Crazy stuff, I know. Four minutes and 34 seconds on the clock. Mm 
be life. With all due respect, I disagree. Oh, a nice right hand by Muramoto. I, I personally cannot stand the PFL. I, 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 I quite frankly, I hate the PFL personally, but you're not, you're, it's, yeah, I, I could go off about it, but I won't. I've, I've had my fix. It's not my favorite promotion, um, but they have been putting on popular cards lately. I will say that. No problem, buddy. Let's go up on Torin. At least they got that Saudi money. <laughs> Nick likes PFL. I hate it, Nick. I think it's an absolute joke and a disgrace to mixed martial arts. No, no, you don't have to say sorry. It's hey, it's it's my opinion. And my opinion is not gospel. Love the karate life, right? Three minutes and thirty-four seconds on the clock. So is there another kickboxing event after this card? Uh I believe so, dude. Kaposa. I think there is uh I think there is dude. I think Kaposa um posted a little something about it. You see's the best. What's up, Andrew? Great to see you, buddy. Yeah, Sarah, that's Bush League, dude. That's not an excuse. It means you're a joke of an organization because you have the dumbest, like, you have the dumbest format. You want to pretend that you're an, you're a, a team sports league. It's, it's yeah, again, I could go off for days. I th think it's an absolute joke. I, I, I hate it. The only reason that they're, they're still around is because I got that Saudi money. I still can't believe Don Cherry got canceled for nonsense, right? Dude, we love Don Cherry here on this channel. <laughs> okay. They they pay their they pay their top level fighters. And their bottom level fighters, they pay less than one championship. And I ain't saying they're paying back. Cage grab here. Where's the ref? Where's the ref? Muramoto. Fingers lodged in the cage there. This ref smoking with herb. And that's that's more frowned upon in Japan. Been watching fights for 14 hours. My man. Uh, I use StreamYard, OBS, and or just through the YouTube studio. I use StreamYard mostly. Look for the back take here. Cage grab, dude. This ref is smoking more blunts than Herb Dean. Cage grab by Muramoto, but Bontorin was able to get the back anyways. B life, um, oh, Bontorin is dominating this fight, brother. Let's go, BC Lions, baby. That's why we got Solomon Elamim in here as well. More fighters make a mil a year in the PFL than the UFC because of winning the tournament, dude. There's Nick. You will never convince me that the PFL is better than any promotion. I would like. The LFA is a better promotion than the PFL. The PFL is a disgrace to mixed martial arts. It's an absolute disgrace. It's trash, and it's a disgrace to the sport that we love. How can you watch Ryzen with us right now and respect, and with all due respect, say that you like the PFL? It's that I'm sorry. I, I just I can't put myself in your shoes, brother. I can't empathize with that. I can't. 20 seconds on the clock here in this third round. Absolute domination by Bontorin. Has had the back and pretty much back control here. Good reversal there by Muramoto at the end, but Bontorin back up to his feet, and Bontorin trying to land another elbow. We're trying to land another knee. Bontorin going for one last takedown here. Good stuff by Muramoto, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Good display of respect between these guys. <laughs> I got $50 on uh, Watanabe. Any idea when that fight is coming? Watanabe. Give me one sec, dude. Uh, in two more fights. <laughs> yeah, I'm very passionate about that take, as you can see. I'm just... And again, I, I'm not saying that I'm right. I'm not saying that I'm wrong. It's a personal... It's, it's my personal take on the matter. It's, it's how I feel. 
and and I've risked never working with the PFL ever because they're going to take a look at, you know, if I ever applied for them or if they have their like, you know, was like, oh, maybe we can do, you know, bring this guy on for, for a content piece. They're going to look at my stream and be like, this guy has slandered us so much. I guess not slandered for legal reasons, not slandered because I speak nothing but the truth. This guy is, has exposed us for what we are. And I'd say, yes, if the PFL offered me a contract to do live streams for their channel, I would say no. I would say I don't work with disgraceful mixed martial arts promotions. <laughs> Anyways, you got me all riled up. Let's get back on track. Uh, we're awaiting the official decision, but let's be honest, folks. We know who won this fight. The Brazilian is going to be named the winner here as we're just waiting for the judges to announce or to hand in the scorecard so we can hear who the winner is. All right, here we go. Official decision. We're listening in. Season, no elbows, fighters testing positive left, right, and center. Just allow steroids. And the Brazilian wins unanimous decision. If you're going to have your stars pop left, right, and center, your big names, you might as well just go full KSW up in this map. Cage guy by the toes. Barely, barely. It gives the guys pretty much who came from the UFC and other big promotions who are already making money to make money. The lower end of PFL make nothing, dude. I've I've gone through this. I've gone through this before, and I've, I've trust me, like I've done my research on the matter. The names in PFL who already make money are making money. And if they if some if if one of the random ones, one of the the prospects wins the tournament, great for them, dude. Great for them. And again, I always say this as well, and you guys can check the tape. You can go on any other live stream. I don't hate the fighters in the PFL. I hate the league. If they get paid by the PFL, good for them. I'm still going to say fuck the league. I love OAM. I still think PFL is an absolute joke. Uh, Victor plus Bontorin Parlay minus 105. Atta boy, atta boy, atta boy. Again, like you don't allow elbows, done. You're a joke. It's over. You don't allow elbows and don't um, make up for it with soccer kicks, stomps, knees to ground opponents, and no 10-point must system. I'm out. I'm out. Simple as that, buddy. Simple as that. But I will say, I'm very upset that the UFC still has their stupid 10-point must system. doesn't have the global rule set either. Because one, like, just compromise. You don't have to go full Ryzen. Just go one championship style. But anyways, Colorado sanctioned it. I know there's some other states that will sanction that. There's states that are sanctioning BKFC for, for frig's sakes. He did win. He did. Uh, Asain Sal, they don't exist, buddy. No one's got one. No one's got one. I'm watching on Fight TV, my friend. Um, but again, Nick, love these discussions. Love getting fired up. And if anything, I need to get fired up to keep me awake. Throughout this crazy, crazy ending that we're staying up all night for. Again, big shout out to everybody joining. I think this might be one of the biggest crowds we've had on a Ryzen stream in a long time. So shout out to everyone who's joining. You guys are awesome. What's up, Andrew? Am I drunk? I am not drunk. I'm drinking coffee, Andrew. I'm trying to stay up. I'm trying to stay awake. Roommates are asleep, yes. Bill Gates will highlight them in just one sec. Special rules meaning special ed. <laughs> special rules MMA. Stop moving without elbows. Those heel kicks from the back are so cool. And again, and I and I love Ray Cooper for it, man. I love Ray Cooper for it. I still think the PFL is a joke. And whenever Ray Cooper was fighting, like the, the, it was so cool to see like the Scottish folk in our chats like just blow up. But again, man, you're defending a league with no elbows. You're defending a league that's trying to be like the NHL with a season. And 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 hey, if if you're entertained by the fights, then that's awesome, man. For the most part, I'm not. There are some good fights. There are some great knockouts, like we saw today. But what was it? Two knockouts, two or three, on a card that big it's just like man and again and i think this again it's, and it's, it's a personal thing it's a personal thing i, I think that the season's a joke i think the no elbows is a joke and again um i'm gonna keep talking about it so i got i gotta stop i gotta stop 
you keep bringing it up, Nick. I, I'm not ignoring you, but like the more I engage, the more I'm just going to rip on it because it's an absolute joke and a disgrace to the sport, dude. You're not allowed to elbow. Like we're going from UFC 1993 when MMA was... You know, we're going from Shudo Box even before then to Shudo Japan. And we're going to piss on this beautiful sport by taking away elbows? It's a fucking joke, dude. It's a joke. I'm not trying to convince you with that. These are just, this is just how I feel, dude. Emotional, damn. Anyway, sorry, guys. Sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I got to get to, I got to get highlighted. Rolling, rolling up right now. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Uh, I do like Brandon Lockney as well. Again, I got nothing against the fighters, dude. Uh, Satoshi uh, Kamiyama. Zero and two. Yep. Zero and two. Uh, Hideki Arato, 35 years of age. Minus 240 favorite. Nine and oh as a pro. And he's walking out with his... Is that the Pancras belt? I'm losing my voice getting all fired up about uh, PFL. <laughs> Look at this guy. Are these guys two s former sumo wrestlers? And I don't say that with any disrespect. I remember I was listening to a Ryzen podcast the other day. I was talking about it. Uh, five. <laughs> I'm losing losing viewers because I'm going off about the going ham about PFL. You could call me triggered. Uh, five KO TKO, zero submissions, four decisions. He's seven and zero in Oh, he's the Grachen champion. Okay, so he's seven and zero in Grachen. Coming over from Grachen, TKO decision. Oof. I mean, they're heavyweights. Whatever. They're heavyweights in Japan, dude. Half of them are professional wrestlers. This, these two guys didn't even have. Oh, they were canceled. This guy was one and zero. The Grachen champion, thirty-five year old, going up against a twenty-six year old. Who's zero and two? He's plus one ninety, and this will be his third appearance, if I'm not mistaken. He did get a win in a custom rules bout in Anoki Bombaye. Lost a, so he's lost in a cage and he's lost in the ring. Oh my goodness! Um, what are the odds? Da -da 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 -da. What are the odds on fight odds for this one? Okay, let's take a look. So Arato is minus 200 on bet online, minus 250 betway, minus 220 Bovada, minus 277 my booking, minus 240 on bet USA. Uh, plus 200 for Satoshi on betway. That's if you do believe in him, those are where you're going to get your the best odds. Du, 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 du. <laughs> Yeet. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Uh, I like ACA. That's a good promotion. Sabadu C, awesome fighter. And he was think actually, you know what? Sabadu C's come around. He he had like a five, it was like a five fight streak that all went to decision. And it was like, come on, bro. Then he started heel kicking people in the face. Again, you keep putting fighters' name out there, Nick. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. I have nothing against the fighters. They want to go there and get paid great. As a fan, I feel robbed and I feel like that promotion is a disgrace. I can't forget that uh, Kaikara fight against Borneo. That ending was hilarious. If you don't remember, check it out. I don't remember. I love KSW, dude. The party was great last night. Nice. This matchmaking is crazy. A unit. There you go. There you go. And again, I'm a little extreme on the scale. I just, it's just, it's just not for me. As you can tell. All right. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. And again, I'm a savage. I'm a savage. I also think field lacrosse is a joke. I like the ranting. <laughs> Thanks, Noah. I also think field lacrosse is a joke compared to box lacrosse. There's another rant. I got to hit the so-called hay. Have a great night, JL. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't know that. All right, four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock here, guys. 
And again, Arato, the Grachin champ. Not, was it nine years the elder of Satoshi? Akai Kara knocked uh, Bonterran out, then celebrated, and then went to ground and pound Bonterran after running into the circle around the cage. Oh my goodness. Hell yeah, buddy. Yeah, sorry guys. I, I'm, I'm just reading it out uh, from this. Oh, and some nice shots there by Arato. Rising heavyweights. This is awesome. In a cage, not a ring. Got you. Okay. Three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock here. PFL only pays their big guys decent. I personally know a guy that's fought for the PFL, made 2K, 2K, or 5K, 5K, which isn't great. I mean, it's better than regional promotion money, but it's not much better. Yeah, that's what I saw as well. They Like, one championship, if you make it on a fight night show or a numbered card, they pay you more than that. Their Friday fights, they don't, though. Outside low kick there by Arato. Three minutes on the clock here. We're two minutes into this fight, and the big boys are still going at it. Pretty even thus far. Pretty even thus far, guys. A lot of leg kicks by Arato. And Satoshi utilizing his range well. Inside low kick there by Satoshi. Good low kicks. Can't believe Yori is a dog against Johnny Munoz. Yeah, we're 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 going we're we're riding with uh, Jung Young Park, baby. Two minutes and eighteen seconds on the clock. Yeah, he's a champion in in Grachen. Fight TV. I bought the pay per view. Oh, a nice left hand there by Satoshi. Didn't land clean, but that's because Arato was also moving. Body shot there by Satoshi. I was looking at Ota minus 114. Ooh, was that... Right hand there by Arota. Arota. Oh, Arota might have hurt Satoshi. Satoshi on the back foot. <laughs> Put 500 on Satoshi. I like the cage more than the ring. Yeah, a lot of people do, Andrew. Not the Japanese, though. Let's go to uh, Takoshi. Not yet, Andrew. Not yet. Soon, though. Oh, and a slip there. And a calf kick. That wasn't a slip. That was a calf kick by Oroto. Oroto's been picking apart the legs of Satoshi. A nice left there by Oroto. Again, guys, sorry that I'm not screaming or talking as loud as I usually do. My roommates are asleep. Oh, and Oroto with a nice right hand. He's the Japanese Roy Nelson, baby. He's the Japanese Roy Nelson. Oroto with a left shot to the gut. Deuteratos taking away the space here of the young Satoshi. Satoshi with the left of the body. Satoshi with another left hand to the body. Yeah, I was going to say that as well, but I was like, oh yeah, you can't throw elbows, so that probably didn't land. Plus 250 looks good on the dog. Oh, and a nice right hand. And Satoshi with an uppercut. Satoshi with the right. Satoshi just dropped him. Satoshi looking to finish elbows, knees, and Arato. He, the ref literally let Arato out of that round. Save by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, Erato is not only gassed, but he's still seeing the Tweety Birds, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god! Oh my goodness, the ref 100% saved him. 100%. So Satoshi got a few shots on him. We're looking at the replay right now, guys. 
Left hand by Satoshi. All right, where's the knockdown? Where's the knockdown? We're just looking at the replays right now, guys. Never know Ryzen did sumo. Oh, yeah. Have a good one, Andrew. Sorry, Tony. I'm just keeping my attention on this fight right now, but we'll, I bookmarked your comment then. We'll get back to it in a sec. I think it, it could have been stopped too. The ref wants him dead. Uh, not yet, but he could have gotten stopped there. The ref allowed him to go into the second round. Grachin champion. Grachin's not the best organization, and he is 10 years older than him, or 9 years older than him. Thanks, ref. Round two. Let's get Aroto is losing. He got rocked. We're going into the second round, guys. We're only going into the second round. Oh, yeah. Grachin padded record. Most of the Asian promotions outside of one and yeah, the, the a lot of the guys have suspect records. That's why these young prospects coming into the UFC who are like Japanese have like 22 and one, but like half the Carter guys who aren't, aren't the greatest. Are you not entertained? I'm watching on Fight TV, buddy. Whoops, sorry about that. Three minutes and 53 seconds on the clock here. A nice right hand there. Oh! A nice right hand there by Oroto. And Oroto with a takedown. Oroto now with side control. Rotten out with some back control. Hammer fist to the side of Satoshi's face. A right hand on Satoshi on his way up. Satoshi lands a left on a roto. I can chip Tate. Oroto, please come back. Come on, Oroto. It's like Tate being a kickboxing champ in some bum promotion. Come on, Satoshi. My poor parlay man, Oroto. He hasn't lost yet. He hasn't lost yet. Satoshi, Satoshi just got rocked by right. Satoshi just got rocked by right. <laughs> right? Satoshi's starting to fade. Satoshi's starting to fade. Two minutes and 41 seconds on the clock here. Yeah, I, I think he was throwing out. He is throwing elbows there. Maybe the landmark events allow elbows because it's they're in a cage? I'm not sure, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. Maybe this one's a special rules belt that's allowing elbows. Let me check. Doesn't look like it. Maybe on the landmark events, they allow elbows, guys. I'm not sure. And if they do, amazing. Two minutes on the clock. Not going to lie, bro. I don't understand anything they say, and you are my commenter. All right, I'll keep commentating for you, uh, Karn. One minute and 51 seconds on the clock here. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of whispering, guys. My roommates are sleeping, so I'm trying to be a little quiet. Nice right uppercut there by Arato. Arato taking some kicks to the body, but he's pressuring Satoshi back. Hey, for heavyweights, they're still putting on a pretty good pace here, guys. Super special sumo. Who is winning? Uh, 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 Satoshi won the first round. Oroto is winning the second. But again, this fight is judged as a whole. So what you do early is not as significant as what you do in the third round if it goes the distance. Beautiful. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Imagine someone getting dropped with an elbow and then kicked in the face by a soccer kick. Oh my God. Body kick by Oroto. Again, smash that like button if you haven't already, guys. We're trying to get to 40 likes. 
We're 30 likes on the video. We got 35 viewers right now. If all you smashed that like button, we hit our goal. Nice right hand and a left uppercut. And another right and another left by Oroto. Satoshi's starting to fade. Oroto continuing to pick apart the body of Satoshi now. Another shot to the body there by Oroto. Right hand by Oroto. Satoshi pushing him away. And a left by Oroto. Oroto is just stalking down Satoshi here. And a right by Oroto. Satoshi takes a right and a left. Satoshi, he's walking away. And it is all over. 13 seconds left in the second round. And Hideka Oroto outworks Satoshi. Oh my goodness. And still undefeated the Grotchen champ. Well, Joe, traditionally the Japanese crowd, like they, they don't get super animated, right? But yes, compared to like Saitama, the Nagoya crowd is, is not as crazy. I love how Ryzen lets you bring in a belt from a different promotion. Let's go, baby. It's kind of funny how both rounds ended. One, but one got stopped, right? Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Thank you so much for joining. With 13 seconds left in the uh, second round, Arota, TKO, baby. Let's go, RM. Four more wins, and I make 1,200 off of 37. Oh, my God. They're like a golf crowd, yep. Okay, Rocho's on my parlay tonight. Nice, Carlo. Damn, dude. And now Satoshi. Or Satoshi goes zero and three in Ryzen. Three more legs and I go 300 off 30. I love how, like, I thought I was a freak. I thought I was a crazy motherfucker in the best possible way, like all you guys in the live chat who stay up to watch Ryzen. You guys are next level in the sense that, like, you got big parlays on Ryzen. That's crazy. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. And I respect it. I respect it. And so I got too much money on Ryzen. I'm praying the last two guys hit. What's up, Swish? Love the name. Surprised anyone that Flabby has cardio over 60 seconds. Dude, Oroto? I mean, I, I, you know, I'm just going to say Japanese, they're kind of built different in that sense because you see them sumo wrestlers, man. They're crazy. Let's go. 200 to win 1,500. I wish you guys the best of luck. Satoshi did all right. He's just not fat enough to beat Oroto. Exactly that. Dude, Oroto's the Japanese Roy Nelson, baby. Instead of eating cheeseburgers and Burger King after a fight, he goes for some chicken katsuda, baby, and a whole mountain of the chicken katsuda. I could go for some chicken katsuda right now, let me tell you. All right, next fight coming up here. Some ramen, chicken katsuda. Maybe some otoro. You know the Yakuza's got some connections for the best otoro. Um, but all right, next fight, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is the only women's fight on the card here. And again, the last Ryzen event that had, uh, I think it was an atom weight women's fight. It was Savage, dude. The women actually finished their fights in Japan. I probably jinxed it by saying that, but we're going to hope for it here. All right. We're going to highlight these next fighters here. Uh, Watanabe, I think she finished her opponent in her last fight that we watched, but we'll, we'll get into highlighting them here in a sec. Again, folks, my apologies for whispering. Uh, my roommates are asleep and I don't want to wake them up. All right. Dun, 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 dun. What do you think about Ito's fight? Uh, Ito's fight coming up here? 
That one's tough. That's one of the closest uh, fights as far as the betting odds are on the car. Like, Bovada had it even at minus 115. Hmm. Again, I didn't bet on this one. I do like Yuki Ito. I'm going to say the Yuki Ito one is going to win. But again, <laughs> going up against a Thai striker, it, it's, it's always a little dangerous because you know they got that power. Um, but I'm going for Yuki Ito. Uh, what did I say? He was the s- Yuki Ito slight favorite, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, so Yuki Ito slight favorite on Betway uh, and Bet USA, but he's the underdog on Bet, or he was the underdog on Bet Online. But yeah, I'd go with Ito on that one personally. Uh, I took a shot at Watanabe, but Machi sub is likely. Let's go, baby. I kind of want to take uh, Kiram. You have Yuki too. I think he's just he's just fought better guys in MMA. I'm sure the Thai guy has like a decorated Muay Thai record and everything, but again, I just I just don't know. Um, who was it in the chat that was asking about uh, kickboxing after this? I can hook you the link to Kapo- Kapo- oh, I can hook you the link to Kaposa's site, and you can check out um. He has the full world schedule of all combat sports if you want to check it out. All right, let's highlight this next uh, fight here is the fighters make their walkout. And again, smaller arena, smaller stage here at these landmark events. A 3D, it was me. Amachi Fukuda. The Pacific Islanders are thick with mad cardio. All right, guys, let's hide these fighters. Ayaka Watanabe, three and one as a pro in pro mixed martial arts. She's 26 years of age out of Japan. She's the slight underdog at plus 160. Do, 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 do. A two and one. Um, oh, sorry. What was I even saying? I was just literally reading it off there. Um, so when she was two and one, she beat a seventeen and thirteen gal. She'd been eighteen and sixteen gal. She was one and one. That's crazy though. She's fought in deep jewel, shudo colors, and pancreas. That's crazy. Like so, she she fought a girl who's making her debut, then went and fought a chick with a lot of experience, eighteen and six, seventeen and thirteen. Still new to pro MMA. So just jumping right in the deep end as far as uh, girls who have a ton of experience. The favorite here, uh, Machi F- uh, Fukuda. 3 and O as a pro. Four fight win streak if you include amateur. Um, 3 and O in deep jewels. I beat a three and one gal, four and one gal, and six and six, and she submitted. Oh, Americana in a rear naked choke on the amateur scene. She went three and one. Hmm. I'll go with Fukuda. Ah. No, I'll go with Watanabe with Watanabe, and I think she TKOs her. Don't bet on that. Don't bet on that. <laughs> All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. I'm going with the hot take on this one. I got to pick at least one underdog on this card, right? Watanabe in the red corner, Machi in the blue. Watanabe got some nice head kicks. Yeah, didn't she? She knocked a girl out with a head kick. Four minutes and forty-two seconds on the clock here. Looking for that entry to get that takedown as Machi. <laughs> Kuda has aggressive technique. That's why I bet on her. Four minutes and 23 seconds on the clock in the first round. Uh, I'm not sure, Nick. I'm not sure. That's a good question. Undefeated girl is a grappler. And Machi using that cage to her advantage early and pushing Watanabe up against the cage. Machi trying to employ the body lock here. <laughs> King James. 
Beautiful takedown and right back up to her feet is Watanabe. Another, oh, attempted the trip takedown, but good takedown defense there by Watanabe. Oh, activate A, you're totally right. I uh he totally was on one road to one. Or so not road to run road to one road to UFC. Totally didn't even totally just had a brain fart there. Plus one ten, you got him. Honestly, didn't like the name didn't even register and I didn't like click on his resume, so I just was like, I just totally forgot who he was. And I was like, oh, he's just another Thai guy doing MMA. So there you go, guys. Good underdog there. Three minutes and four seconds on the clock here, and Machi's still trying to go for the takedown. Good sign for Watanabe first takedown defended. Yeah, and it's been tough for Machi to take her down. Popped right back up, took her down, and wasn't able to take her down a second time, and it's just been fighting for it here. And soon the like the official I, the officials I find in Ryzen, they'll give you a lot of room to work in the corner of the ring or up against the cage. They'll give you a ton of time to room, or they'll give you a ton of time, a ton of room to work in kind of like the first round, in the first part of the fight. But if you continue to drag it out and and don't work, and even if you are employing some knees like this, they will uh, separate you quicker and quicker because the, they realize that okay you're just not doing anything with this so just keep that in mind and it's not all it's not every ref but a lot of refs will they'll give you some rope in the first round then they'll notice okay you don't do anything with this we're gonna start separating you earlier and it looks like the ref's gonna separate them now oh and just when the ref was thinking about it machi goes with the takedown again and watanabe right back up to her feet I remember him because he was funny. He was talking about how he'd have 10 sigs before a fight, dude. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. I might just be rooting for him now. Here we go. We got our uh, our <laughs> our Hamzat troll is back, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, buddy? All right, and the ref separates them. One minute and 20 seconds left on the clock. I'm going to grab more coffee soon, guys. All right, center of the cage. One minute on the clock. Front kick attempt there by Machi. Oh, trying to land a right hand was Machi there. Watanabe. Catching that leg kick and landing a right hand. Again, you can see Machi's like she's bouncing up and down looking for that entry, but I, I like Watanabe's footwork here. And just because you move a lot doesn't mean you like have good footwork, but thirty seconds on the clock. Gotta get one more PFL comment in. Gabriel Braga and Jesus Panetta are about to fight for a million. Nice to see that level of fighter make a million. That's uh that's true, that's true. You know what else I hate about PFL compared to Ryzen is that friends in PFL refuse to fight each other, which is another disgrace to the sport. And they don't refuse to fight each other. Like they refuse to fight each other in the cage and they just hugged each other for three rounds. That same night in Ryzen, two high school friends go to war. One of them breaks his friend's jaw and then soccer kicks him in the face because this is their job and they're getting paid to do a job. And the PFL, they're like, nah, we don't have to. We're friends. We're in the PFL. We're in the, well, you can guess what word I'm using for P, Fighters League. We don't need to do anything. We can hug and still get paid. I even made a video about it on the channel, dude. I will send it to you right now. It was one of my favorite videos. No idea why it didn't blow up. <laughs> the same night that in the PFL, Two fighters hugged each other because, oh, we're friends. We train out of the same gym. We don't want to fight each other, even though we signed the contract. And then that same night, two high school buddies in Ryzen go to war. 
and one of them has no problem breaking the other one's face because this is a job and that's what you got paid to do. It's stories like that, brother, that just make me further roll my eyes at PFL and I just go, what are you doing, guys? That scenario, it's less about the league and more about the fighters. And usually I just hate on the league and not the fighters, but it was just ice. Um, here's the link. Check it out sometime and let me know what you think. But yes, look, I'm going to stream the finale like I always do, but I am going to hate on it as I do. Uh, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. To be fair, that only happened one time, PFL. Yes, but I'm never going to forget it. <laughs> as they should have. Uh, two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. I don't know. They're not hugging right now, King James. Hope ref gets the action quicker now. I think he will. I think he will. That was some bullshit. <laughs> it was poet. It was just beautiful how that same night in Ryzen, a similar scenario broke out in complete opposite uh, ending. Great round for, um, for Watanabe. Yeah, dude. And she landed some good shots at the end of the round. <laughs> but now Nick knows what makes me tick. Talking about Bilal Muhammad being a champion and uh, and liking the and defending the PFL. Three minutes and fifty one seconds on the clock. Friends fighting UFC all the time. That's why I didn't really like Izzy and Usman, though, because they were both dominant champions and could have had a super fight. Uh, who wins in round round one, bro? I'd give it to Watanabe. Best card of the week was Cage Warriors. Dude, it was an awesome card. Cage Warriors. Thanks so much for joining, Funkmaster. Nice right hand there by Watanabe. Three minutes and 26 seconds on the clock. Ooh, and catching the kick of Watanabe there was Machi looking for the takedown. Doesn't get it, though. Body lock. Takes Watanabe down. Watanabe right back up to her feet. Dude, great performance by Watanabe. And again, Machi takes her to the ground. And Machi looking for the back take. Now, great adjustment by Machi there. Rolling onto the back take. Rolling to get the back take, I should say. Great job by Machi there. Glance to take one. I dig it. <laughs> I've been slacking a little bit this week. I only posted two videos, but I, I do post some like news reaction and commentary videos. Great job for getting out of that back take by Watanabe and getting back up to her feet. Machi pressures back on by the Deep Jewels fighter in Machi. Two minutes and 21 seconds on the clock. God, I love Ryzen, guys. It's just, it's so beautiful. I am annoyed. I do have a gripe with them, though, that the pay-per-view didn't show the opening ceremonies. Maybe they just don't have an extravagant opening ceremony at the Landmark shows because it doesn't even sound like Lene Hart's even here. And in fairness, she was at Saitama last weekend. She's getting old. She's getting old. I gotta start doing takes. It's a lot of fun, dude. Thanks for commenting today. She gotta go. I gotta split. Peace out. Thank you, as always, King James, for all the support you show the channel. King James, you watch all those commentary videos as well. So thank you, brother. Have a great Rest of your weekend, man. Dude, she's looking damn good. She's looking damn good. She's forcing this fight on the feet. One minute and 24 seconds on the clock. Dude, activate it. I, just, I have a feeling she's going to land one of those kicks, dude. I have a feeling Machi in the third round is going to not necessarily get desperate, but is going to shoot a desperation takedown there. Nice catching of the leg by Machi. Oh, she caught Watanabe with a shot there. Looking for the stomp there was Machi, but she missed. God, I love the stomps. Machi's relentless. relentless. What's up, Nikolai? Great to see you, buddy. Fukuda. Oh, we still have uh, 50 seconds left in the second round, Noah. We still have a whole round. That would be amazing. 35 seconds left on the clock. 
Machi in the full guard of Watanabe. We haven't seen her work in Watanabe's guard yet. And Watanabe trying to push her off, but this is this is a great way to end this round for Machi. Oh, a stomp attempt there by Machi. Side control here by Machi. Nice knees to the body. Great way to end the round for Machi. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty close fight now, guys. It's a pretty close fight going into this third. Machi ended that third round beautifully and was relentless with the pressure. If we were going in a stupid 10-point must system, um, I would say it's it's 1-1 one, one going, you know, 19-19 going into the second round. Or going into the third round. I'd say it's tied, buddy. Machi had the better second round. Uh, Watanabe had the better first round, in my opinion. Machi can't win this. There's one more round. There's one more round. 19-19, I think Watanabe is getting tired. Um, I don't think she's getting... Tired? I just think that like Machi just like I maybe mean, yes, yeah, she's getting a little bit tired because again you're you're 10 minutes into a fight now. But I think Machi just has the better gas tank. I think she just has a little bit more energy because like sure she's slowing down a bit, but she's still very explosive on her defense from her back. Let's be real here. Machi's way cuter than uh Ayaka. So she wins my heart. All right. Third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Third and final round. Let's get it all. Relentless pace again there by Machi going in for the, the one two overhands and going for the takedown. Watanabe uh, evades that. Four minutes and 43 seconds on the clock. And a 1-2 miss by Otanabe there. Oh, and a kick attempt there by Machi. Hey, honestly, I'm, 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 I'm impressed with what I've seen of Machi. She's, she's done a good job of... Again, she's not a striker, but she's done a good job of these blitzing takedown entries. But again, Watanabe, good job with the defense as well. Four minutes on the clock here in this third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. No, and the broadcast said it here. Just defending the takedown is not going to be enough to win. She has to land some big strikes in this third round. Nice body shot there by Watanabe. When they each threw a kick there. Three minutes and 54 seconds on the clock. Uh, she's 20 years old. I hope she wins. It's a little bit of a step up. But no, absolutely. And this, this, has been a, this has been a good fight as far as uh, both these women here. It has not been boring. Non-stop pace. Ooh, and a counter right there by Watanabe. Again, Nikolai, it's great to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. Guys, reminder, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload or a live stream. I promise I don't whisper on all these live streams. It's just 1 a.m. right now where I'm at, and I don't want to wake up my household. Three minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Nice left by, by Machi. Go Machi, impress the fans who are not impressed with you. Neither of them is really showing much damage. But I would say Watanabe is landing the better shots. Machi tried to stomp her though on the ground. N neither. Two minutes and 40 seconds. They're not showing uh, damage. Neither of them are showing much damage at all. Because it's mostly been grappling or, or, or counter grappling by uh, Watanabe as Machi uh, laying a tremendous pace, a fast pace, a relentless pace and pressure trying to get her down. Oh, and a nice right hand by Watanabe. Again, Watanabe's landed the better strikes in this round so far. It's two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Another right hand by Watanabe. What's up, Dixon? Good to see you. And going for the takedown is Machi. Another evasion of the takedown. High kick attempt there by Machi. And Watanabe goes, what? What, bitch? What? Two minutes on the clock. 
So to go with that little boy, has to win my parlay money. I'm going to be so pissed. With Tana Bay's going, what's up, bitch? Let's go. She's going full Diaz and a nice takedown by Machi right back up to her feet is Watanabe. Watanabe with the beautiful takedown defense and better strikes in this third round. Watanabe could win this fight based on this third round. One minute and 40 seconds left on the clock here, guys. Another takedown defense there by Watanabe. Machi's getting desperate now. Machi's getting desperate. She can sense the loss. The takedowns have been garbage, dude, though. And Watanabe is going to get points for stuffing the takedowns, too. Dude, Watan like, there's only been one sequence after the takedown where Machi got her back, and Watanabe's been at all. <gasps> Watanabe with the reversal of the takedown and need Machi in the face. Yeah, dude, Watanabe is winning this third round, guys. Elbows on the ground here. By Watanabe. Dog damn. Uh, Chu Yi Moi. I found an MMA lover like myself. I love Ryzen, dude. And they're back up to their feet. 30 seconds left. Thank you so much for joining, buddy. 20 seconds left on the clock. They're back on their feet. Watanabe walking down Machi. Nice right hand or left hand by Machi. Beautiful stuffing of the takedown there by Watanabe. And Watanabe with a knee to the face. With a knee to the face. And a left hand. Watanabe. Another right hand by Watanabe. Watanabe outstruck her in this round. Watanabe should win this fight. Unbelievable. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I was just checking something on my pad here. For some reason, some of the audio is not coming out clear. So my apologies for that. I'm gonna try to try to fix it. But I think Watanabe won that first round because she landed better shots. But again, the fight's not judged as a whole the fight is more so judged on who is winning the fight by the end of the third round who is bullying the opponent at the end of the third round and Watanabe three knees huge shots I don't know I, I think this is this is this isn't hard to judge now I know Machi was relentless with the takedowns but she didn't do anything with the takedowns and Watanabe right back up to her feet we're talking about plus 190, great dog. She still win, but you never know. Okay, we're listening in. Okay, one judge has it, Watanabe. One judge has it, Machi. It's going to be split decision. Well, again, this isn't 10 point must. So the, the first round is actually not key at all. Ah, oh, damn it. Mochi won this one. Hey, so the judges, they they valued the takedowns, even though she did nothing with them. I don't agree with that one. I could see it being a split decision win for Watanabe. I don't agree with that one. But uh, those, those takedowns, man, she was relentless. Yeah, don't agree with that one. Watanabe was landing the better shots, but hey, you know what? Good fight. Good fight. Carlos saying, yeah. On oh, Watanabe, she's gutted. Pretty girl treatment. Machi, thank you. Yeah, damage was meant to be the key thing, but okay. Let's go, baby. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the judging on that one. I'm not going to lie, guys. And I'm not, I'm not being biased. You guys can rewind the tape. I was calling it how I saw it there. That that second round, that was all for that was all a, a, a Machi round. First round was close. I'm I'm giving the edge to Watanabe in that third round, though. And again, this isn't even a 10-point must. So the third round should be valued more. And the third round, Watanabe was bullying Machi. Knees. Kicks. 
better punches. Stuffing the takedowns. So don't agree with this one, but it is what it is. Oh, gee, I'm not going to read that comment or put it up on screen, but Noah's got sense of humor and I respect that. Uh, I like her, but that was a Christmas present. Absolutely, Nikolai. Absolutely. All right, guys, we are two hours in. We are going to take our first quick break. Just a quick two-minute break. I'm going to go grab another coffee. I'm going to drain the main vein, and I'm going to do a quick stretch. So don't go anywhere. Refill your coffee. Do a little quick stretch as well. Keep the comments coming. Talk amongst yourselves. We'll be back after this quick break here on the other side. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Vote in the poll question, folks. Again, don't go anywhere. Rise in Landmark 6 in Nagoya. We'll be back live on the City Light Project YouTube channel in just a couple minutes. Taking our first quick break. Back on the other side to highlight the next two fighters on this fight card. We will run down their resume. I will give my opinion. And then I want to hear yours. Keep the comments coming. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. All of you folks staying up tonight to watch Ryzen are amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. Cold open is beginning for Igor Tanabe and Koji Sekua, folks. We'll be back to highlight the fighters here after this quick break. Like and subscribe. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Let's go.
live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel for Ryzen Landmark 6. And the next two fighters are making their way into the cage. We have the Japanese Paulo Costa, the Japanese secret juice man himself making his way into the cage right now, Igor Tanabe. Big shout out to everyone in the live chat right now. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Sorry that I'm whispering right now. Yeah, we going full ASMR Ryzen, baby. My roommates are sleeping and it's 1.30 a.m. where I'm at right now. Uh, what's up, Josh? Sidario versus Prime uh, Hideko Yoshida. Who gets it? Probably Yoshida? Zek, a link does not exist, man. A link does not exist, unfortunately, for this one. A Terpy Gang. MMA Terpy, what's up? AJ, what's going on, AJ? AJ and Western Mass Climber here from the Ter MMA Terpy Gang. Love it. Going Igor Tanabe. Uh, da, 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 da. Went to the casino, lost 120. Oh no. Oh my god. How'd the white caps do? <laughs> Based. What's up, World Fight? What's up, AJ? Great to see you, buddy. Bet 20 on the white caps. They tied. I lost. Oh, sorry, man. At least they got the tie. Sounds good, buddy. We haven't been able to find any. All right, fighters are being. Announced in the center of the cage, Tanabe, 3-0 and oh in pro MMA. He's a very, very uh, decorated grappler, ladies and gentlemen. Huge in the jiu-jitsu world. 1-0 and oh in Ryzen, like I said, 3-0 and oh in pro MMA. Fought Noki Bombaye. Again, unbelievable grappler. Going up against a 6-9, or a six and nine, Koji... Sikua, 32 years old, out of Nagoya, so he is a local in the area. Round one. Let's get but I imagine a quick submission here, guys, as soon as Tanabe takes us to the ground. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Again, as we look at Tanabe's opponent here, Koji. Three KO, two KO, three decisions. He's zero and three and one, or yeah, zero and three and one. Two and two and Cumlin fight. More of a striker, more of a kickboxer, as you can see here. Not necessarily an MMA guy. This is a mismatch if I've ever seen one. They put the Japanese Paulo Costa, the Brazilian Japanese grappler, up against a pure kickboxer who has a losing record in mixed martial arts. But hey, we're going to see a nice submission. We're going to see a nice submission. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Sorry, Zek. Uh, check, check the Discord, as I know JL was able to find one at one point. So check that one thread and scroll up. I know JL did have a link at one point uh, in that you know stream thread that we have. So double check that in the Discord. Nice takedown there by Tanabe. Smooth right into modified half guard. But uh, Zek, yeah, I buy the pay-per-views every time because I just... I'm a junkie when it comes to Ryzen. Don't be depressed. Let us uplift you here. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Uh, Ensign Inouye trains Koji, and he didn't sound confident at all in his student when talking about this fight on his podcast. Oh, no, Josh. Well, I didn't know that, Josh. I didn't know that. Oh, and... Postured up here is Tanabe in that modified half guard side. He's postured up and he's just landing punched on the top position. Right elbows as well as hammer fists and right hands. Is Tanabe going to win via TKO? He's going to win via TKO, not submission? All right. He hasn't won anything yet. Good risk control there by Tanabe again. Koji's a fish out of water here. Koji is primarily a kickboxer, folks. Look at his record in pro MMA.
usually don't care about going on vacation. Right, you're going on vacation soon. No Timmy's, no Starbucks, no betting until you go on vacation, buddy. Oh, he tried to go for the armbar, but then Dishin is laying his left elbow on the stomach here of Koji and Tanabe is just teeing off with the ground and pound. And now he's looking to get into Mount. Tanabe passes into Mount. Almost secured here. He has his left hook still a little tangled. Okay, Tanabe full mount. Tanabe full mount. All right, what submission is Tanabe going to cinch in here? Arm triangle, probably. Arm triangle? Or is he going to go for an arm bar here? He's got full mount against a guy with no ground game. He can do whatever he wants. Posh it up just are going for the armbar. Tanabe gives up that top, top position. Try to go for an armbar. Now he's going to set up a triangle here. But he's okay off his back against that of a Koji. Go for a triangle. Oh, and he's got it. He's got it. Tanabe's got the triangle. Tanabe's got the triangle. He's going to tap. He's tapping, ref. He's tapping. <laughs> Ryzen ref. If he dies, he dies, motherfuckers. Because that guy tapped. That guy's out. Okay, he's awake now. He tapped. How many times did he tapped? I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind that. I'm gonna count how many times he tapped. Okay, ready? Ready? I just rewound. I'm gonna count how many times he tapped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No! He tapped nine times. He tapped nine times. He tapped nine times. Emotional damn it. Dude, these refs, I swear, are smoking the herb in Nagoya. He tapped. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Rise and refs tonight are unhinged. Grant, nobody's got a stream, buddy. Nobody's got a stream. I'm watching on fight.tv. Two more fights to go in your parlay. Let's go, baby. Come out more easily. Armbar is easier. This guy's wild. If he dies, he dies. The Herb Dean special. Oh, Noah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's a secret like the juice. Yeah, my regular spot doesn't have... Ryzen ever, folks. So I always buy the pay per views personally. Oh my goodness, dude! I like this guy. Now again, he's he's gone against absolute cans in MMA, but he's got to get his reps in in pro MMA, right? And I thought he was going to finish the fight via TKO. Now again, he was the massive favorite. He was supposed to win this fight. The animal here out of Nagoya, not a good MMA fighter. Good kickboxer, not a good MMA fighter. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yes, Igor won the pink-eyed goat. He won. Oh, Noah just playing. Tanabe's half Japanese, half Brazilian. I love Rosen more than UFC. I do as well, dude. Roommates wake up and wondering what he tapped nine times. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, is that it? Are those his kids? Oh, dude, the guy's 23 years old. He's got two kids over. God damn. Yeah, Ryzen needs to pay him that. Those dude, he should be in one championship getting the, that shot tree bonus money right now. Sorry, Shinobi. No, the roommates, uh, they've only gotten mad once because it is usually on the weekends. Um, and I try to be respectful again. It's just like, you know, uh, it's an old house. I rent the, I rent the basement, but you know, the walls are thin. Once I get my own place, dude, it's, if I get an apartment, fuck the neighbors, dude, I want to make them MMA fans. I'm going to make them watch my stream. They aren't someone else. Exactly that. <laughs> oh, Joe, thank you so much for joining the stream, man. Um, I picture like I, I literally picture you as Joe Hogan. So like every time like I read your comments, 
Like it, it's, it's, a, it's in a hybrid of their voice in my head. And, and don't ever change. Don't ever change. Don't ever break the glass. I don't ever want to know what you actually look like. I don't ever want to know what you actually sound like because I will break the glass. I love Joe Hogan. Those are his little brothers, says Nick. <laughs> one of the kid, one of the kid's mom is the girl on the left. The girl's mom is the girl on the left. The boy's mom is the girl on the right. <laughs> Smash that like button if you haven't already, guys. Hell yeah, brother. Bro, do you know when the Genji Umeno versus Yukuda Saito fight will start? Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. It's coming up quick here. Oh, come on. Sorry about that, guys. Topologies page just trips out. Um, blah, 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 blah. So, so it's after the Nakamura fight. So we got Yuzaka Nakamura against Hiroya. Kondo, and then we have uh, Yuto Seto against uh, Umendo. Man, Genji's chin starting to go, man. It's scary. All right. We'll highlight the next fighters here in just a moment. I hope fighting one day is like football, basketball. Setter, this guy needs so much more money for what they're going through. I know, man. Hey, at, at least some of those guys and gals at the top of the UFC are making money these days. Hell, even in Chael Sonnen's day, Chael Sonnen made $8 million to fight Anderson Silva. Now, I know that's high-level UFC, but like, still, that's crazy. And I know it was only one fight, but uh, I just I just listened to him on Andrew Schultz's podcast again. Uh, what's up, Jonas? Uh, thank God for you because I've been trying to find any type of play-by-play -play for this. Followed and liked. Thank you, brother. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I buy the pay-per-views every single time. I'm a savage. I absolutely love it. There's nowhere else to watch this. I don't even think it's on Amoeba. But anyways, uh, thank you for the compliment and welcome to the community. Genji Umeno fight is off, I believe. Shoda doesn't show it on the site. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Zek? Oh, my goodness. I have Kondo here. Don't ask me why. I won't ask you why. I won't ask you why. <laughs> What's up, uh, Ener? Erner? Ener? Thank you so much for joining. All right, I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. And then we will get to highlighting these fighters. I have to say, with uh, with a smaller like runway and ramp to the cage, the the fights are you know they're rolling along quite nicely. Hey guys, reminder: smash that like button if you haven't already. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Vote in the poll question. We do these live fight companions every single weekend. Don't worry. I'm not always whispering. My roommates are just asleep. It is 1.30 a.m. where I'm at right now. Nick, it's 3 a.m. for you. Good night, Nick. I want to lose the rest of my Bet365 wallet. Uh, you got any Ryzen locks? Defer to activate A because I don't want to lose you any more money. Uh, defer to activate A. Uh, I don't know what you're saying, brother, but what's up? Welcome to the stream. Oh, Lene Hart is here, by the way. All right, cool. I mean, I love the walkouts here. Okay, let's highlight the fighters here, guys. We got Yuzaka Nakamura, 17-7 and seven as a pro. He's the slight favorite, minus 150. He's 1-3 and three in his last four fights. 37 years of age. 17-10. and 10. You're Japanese. I, I picked up on that. I just, I don't speak Japanese. Uh, I wish I did. I wish I did. But uh, how are you? Thank you for joining. 
appreciate you. I came to the part when you asked if we listened to Coldplay. No is my answer. <laughs> now, what movie is that from? You guys listen to Coldplay? And there's Lena Hart. Hero-ra. Wild matchmaking again. Makes for exciting fights. Let's go, baby. Oh, my God. It's funny because I've seen this kid fight a few times and they just keep throwing him in there. Anyways, Yuzaka uh, Yakam or Nakamura. Eight KOTKOs, zero submissions, eight decisions. Two and four in Ryzen, zero and one in Bellator. And that's right. He's even fought in Dream where he was zero and one. Lost to a five and six guy. Beat a 12 and four guy. Lost to an eight and two, 14 and two, nine and one. Beat six and two. Beat a five and one. Honestly, his wins aren't that bad. His wins aren't that bad. Like he's actually beaten some decent guys. 12 and four, six and two, five and one. But he's also beaten some crap guys in his deep run here. Oh, he fought in the World Series of Fighting. No way. Guys, he fought in the in the the former PFL. Oh, I like this walkout song. And there it is. Uzaka Nakamura in his gi making his walkout. 37 years old. Hiroa Kondo, 8 and 11 in his pro MMA career. Guys, Lene Hart, look, Bruce Buffer's my number one. Lene Hart's my number two. She's fucking unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, two KOTKOs, three submissions, three decisions, 10 losses via decision, zero and one in Ryzen, five and six in deep, and three, three and one in war dog cage fight. Lost to 13 and five, lost to 17 and 17. Beat a guy making their debut in a two and one guy. Terrible resume. Terrible resume. His best win was against a two and one guy. His best win was against a two and one guy. Dude, I'm going for the old fart. I'm going for Yuzaku Nakamura. He's the slight favorite for good reason. Kondo, he ain't that great. Kondo and Bet Online plus one thirty five, plus one twenty Betway, plus one nineteen Bovada, plus one twenty two My Bookie, and plus one. 15 bet USA. Uh, Ice Viking. I think it's just because it's a, it's a Japanese broadcast. It's, it's a little, it's just like no one's doing it over there. I'm sure if we were in Asia, we'd be able to find something. I'd smash Lena Hart. Um, we're hoping to get an interview with her soon. Um, we've been emailing back and forth. I know you're jealous, Joe. Are you going to do Rigo's podcast if he invites me? But I invited Rigo on the channel. We're going to do some sort of collaboration together. Hey, if Rigo invites me on his podcast, I'd be happy to uh, make an appearance. Hello, Canadian Rigo. All right, fighters are making or fighters are being announced there in the center of the cage. That's right, a cage for Ryzen. Again, big shout out to everyone joining us live here on the channel. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Sorry I have to whisper on this stream and, and talk quiet. It's 1:30 a.m. My roommates are asleep, and I don't want to wake them up. I'm being the tactful roommate. The crazy psycho roommate who stays up all night to watch Japanese MMA. But I love it, folks. Big shout out to everyone who joined us for one championship earlier this weekend. Big shout out to everyone who joined us for PFL earlier today. We had over 100 people in the live chat. We had almost 200 people in the live chat for PFL, guys. It was 
Unreal. All right, round one. Let's get it all. Uh, JL is an insane Bellator enjoy. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. JL is an insane uh, Bilal and Joel. Ronan made a special Bilal film study video just for JL. Very funny if you haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet, but I do follow Ronan, another fellow Canadian, uh, another Canadian MMA content creator. I will have to see it because I know JL. Um, JL gets humbled by uh, Ronan MMA. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Nikolai. Happy New Month. Yes, October 1st, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Western, I'm book. I'm screenshotting this so I don't forget. All right, guys, let's turn our attention back to the fight here. Three minutes and 58 seconds on the clock. And some nice shots there by Nakamura. He tapped nine times. He tapped nine times. Yeah, dude, Ronan's awesome, dude. Oh, and a little clash of heads there. Three minutes and 47 seconds on the clock. Wait, what happened? Oh, no, shoulder to the jaw. He's saying it was a head clash. It wasn't a head clash. His shoulder hit him in a, his shoulder hit him in the jaw. This fight shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have been paused. I hope Nakamura doesn't get chin. I don't think he will, dude. His opponent ain't that great. I did buy you. It's great to see you, buddy. All right, back in action here. Oh, and a nice right and a left there by Nakamura. Nakamura with a right uppercut. Nakamura with a right. Looking for the takedown here is Herora. And a nice knee there by Nakamura on the entry. And Herora Kondo desperately take, wanting to take this to the mat after he's getting pieced up on the feet. Dude, I cannot wait, wait to watch the, the Ron and MMA JL special. Three minutes on the clock here, and Herora in the top position here, but being controlled by Nakamura. As Herora's trying to pass, butterfly guard here by Nakamura. Two minutes and 52 seconds on the clock here, guys. Oh, potentially going for a shoulder lock here is Nakamura. Shoulder lock? Doesn't get it. High guard here. Two minutes and 35 seconds. Now looking to use the cage to get back up here is Nakamura. Good job, Herora, keeping him on the map. Aston the map back to the cage here for Nakamura. Again, Herora do, doing a good job, I guess, of keeping Nakamura on the ground here, but he's not doing anything with this quote-unquote control time. We have seen that judges on, on this card I've been valuing takedowns, but not necessarily control time yet, because most of these fights are pretty scrambly. Dude, couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. I love them both. It's 10 a.m. my time. It would be so much better if USC was like that. Fair enough, brother. Fair enough. I can't complain. I can't complain because I am in North America. Perfect Sunday morning coffee and MMA. Cheers, buddy. Same with me. I'm drinking coffee at 1.46 a.m. this morning. One minute and 30 se 31 seconds on the clock here. Controlling the neck as Nakamura looks like he might set up a guillotine. And Nakamura, again, holding on to that neck with the right hand here. But I think Nakamura should, try to, should really try to focus to get back up to his feet because he was piecing up Herora on the feet. Bulgaria, dude, that's awesome. Dude, we international in this live chat. Dude, shout out Bulgaria. Where are you at? It's 3 a.m. in Ontario. I'm in Minnesota. 
52 seconds on the clock. Yeah, I used to live in British Columbia, Canada. Vancouver Island, the Hawaii of Canada, baby. But uh, yeah, moved to Minnesota a year ago. October 15th last year. Nice single leg takedown here by Herora. As Nakamura got back up to his feet, but only for a moment there. It's 7.46 a.m. in Niger. We international here, baby. Uh, Ronan's Bilal film studies from about three months ago, and it's an absolute roast of Bilal in jail. Oh, my God. I'm going to enjoy this. Honestly, I'm going to make a reaction video on this channel, me reacting to that. That's what we're going to do. Western, you just gave me a new idea. I got to write this down on my notes. Back up to their feet here. Final seconds of the round. Dude, I'm literally writing this on my notes for, for some content. End of the first round here, folks. JL Roast plus Bilal Reaction. Oh my god, dude, you have no idea. You just made my day, night, the whole nine yards. Morning. Oh my god, Western Mass Climber. I am so stoked. This is Christmas. I swear this is Christmas. Pinch me. Somebody pinch me. I must be dreaming. Big shout out to everyone who's joining us live here on the channel. I think Nakamura has to keep this fight on the feet, guys. If you want the stream, become a premium member. There you go. If you guys want to watch this, become an exclusive member. Zek's doing God's work. My British Colombian brother, Zek over here, doing God's work. If the Canucks come to, there to play the Wild, who do you cheer for? Oh, the Canucks, dude. I bleed blue and green. But I do have a Minnesota Wild NHL and beer podcast called The Soda Pod. If you guys want to support my second channel, check that out. That's one of the reasons why I moved to Minnesota because I have hockey for a, for, a whole, for a whole other brand. And we've been doing the podcast on the audio side for over 300 episodes. Dude, fuck the Oilers. Let's go, baby. I mean, we can't really talk. We let the Flames beat us 10 nothing in preseason. But anyways. Who won the first round? Um, honestly, it was close. Nakamura got the better of Hirora on the feet. Hirora was out grappling him. I would give it to Nakamura, but very narrowly. But again, guys. These fights aren't judged by round. There's no 10-point must system. It's like one championship. <laughs> I'm sure it will hit the spot, buddy. That's true. That's true. Dude, how, like, how good is Quentin Hughes, man? Let me just swoon over him for a second. He's the best skater I've ever seen since Dennis Savard. Hell yeah, Zach. Dude, when I when I visit home uh, in the spring, I'm going to try to hit up a Canucks game. I'll let you know what game I'm going to, dude. And we'll, we'll hit up the pint for a few beers. Before and after the game. Three minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Oh, and a straight left jab by Herora. Hey, uh... Zach, did I tell you my story about me escaping the Stanley Cup riots? I was in my senior year of high school when the Canucks uh, went to Game 7 with the Boston Bruins. And I, I had to escape. I caught the last ferry back to Vancouver Island and escaped that crazy shit downtown, dude. I'll pull up any sport I love. Sweet. Three minutes and 12 seconds on the clock. Well, I'll, say, I'll save it for... Uh, for a better stream where I'm not like whispering, but uh, man, it was at, and when we're not in the middle of a fight here, but it was, it was absolutely crazy, dude. Like, I, I escaped downtown before they shut it down and like the tanks came in, but oh man, oh, in a right hand by Herrera, followed by a soccer kick. He just dropped Nakamura and Nakamura with a good reversal now, looking for the takedown on Herrera. He was looking to land the soccer kick. The soccer kick didn't land, but he did land a right hand on Nakamura. But yeah, man, Zach, like I, everyone was hugging, crying in the streets. And then I'll tell you bits of it. And I, I'll probably fill in more details as, as the, the weeks go by. But it was just like, 
Well, I, I didn't go in the game, and I didn't go in the middle of the crowd. Oh, pulling for a guillotine here. Pulling for a guillotine here is Herora. I don't think he's going to get it. Nakamura's going to pop out of this. Nakamura's going to pop out of this. Oh, Herora's cinching it. Herora's trying to end this. Two minutes left. All right, sounds good. Come on, Nakamura. What's up, monster? Good to see you, monster. And Nakamura gets out of this. He's in the top position. One minute, 42 seconds on the clock, trying to get back up to his feet. Here's Horora. Now looking for Dars. Oh, no, ninja choke here. Ninja choke. And Nakamura abandon, abandons the ninja choke to land some hammer fists. But then Horora gets right back up to his feet. Yoshi Panoshi, what's going on, brother? Or sister. Oh, a nice knee there by Nakamura. I remember both riots, but wasn't downtown for them. It was interesting to watch live on TV, though. Yeah, I was one years old for the 94 one, but uh, I was there downtown for 2011, dude. Fifty seconds on the clock, Zach. It's just crazy, dude. Like you're so lucky that you're in BC now, where there's legal betting. I wasn't allowed when I lived in British Columbia all through college. At like, I wasn't allowed to bet on sports, dude. You, Minnesota's the sports betting is illegal as well. Oh, nice knee to the body there by Herora. Thirty seconds on the clock in the second round. This has been the only stinker fight so far, in my opinion, guys. This has been kind of the only stinker fight, in my opinion. The opposite of the PFL where you had two or three kind of entertaining fights and, you know, two good knockouts and the rest of the card was shit. Uh, Western mod me real quick. I'll see if I can link the video. I don't actually want to be a mod though. Uh, it's all good, Western. To save the steps of doing that, like, I'll, I'll find it. I'll find it. If you want to just, you know what you should do, Western? A copy and paste the title of the video. You see, you can use bet online in Minnesota. It's illegal. I could, man, but the, but the feds, they break down my door. Um, hey, but, but marijuana was just legalized in Minnesota. <laughs> baby steps, baby. And liquor stores are open on Sundays now. America's weird like that, man. America's weird like that. There's like a religious undertone in America that af that affects laws. That's unlike most of Canada. Ontario's a little bit like that, but I would say that's the only big difference. I mean, the states like there's just like a like even like my roommates and friends like they feel bad sometimes when they don't go to church with their families. I'm like, bro, are you religious? They're like, no. And I'm like, then don't feel bad. If you are religious, then then be more disciplined. Uh, I'm not even sure how to do any of that on my phone. Oh, okay. Well, then no worries, buddy. I'll, I'll, uh, I was just going to say, let me know what the name is of, of the video. Dude, we're in between fights, dude. Or in between rounds. Now we're in the third round. Hey, pink-eyed goat, don't tell me how to do my job. Don't tell me how to do my job. The fight, the, the third round just started. We're five seconds into the third round here, buddy. This guy thinks I'm not watching the fight. Guys, Pink-Eyed Goat thinks that two hours and 47 seconds of my time is wasted here. And there's a nice left hand by Nakamura. Nakamura with some right hands here. Nakamura with some hammer fists pulling Herora to the ground. Four minutes and 28 seconds on the clock. You're looking for that rear naked choke. Look for the back take here. Only has the right hook. But pink Eye, I'm not watching the fight. I'm not watching the fight at all. Four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. I'm not watching the fight, but Nakamura just took the back of Heroa. I'm not watching the fight. Heroa gets back on his feet here. I'm not watching the fight, guys. But Nakamura is looking for the body lock here to take Heroa back to the ground. You ain't worth the feds. You can do it. Bruh, I'm a Canadian living in the States right now, and I'm brown. You don't think I'm on the feds' radar? Bruh. <laughs> I 
I'm a half Iranian, but born in Cana- born in Canada, whose mother's an Amer- American, living in the states legally, but still, I'm not taking that chance, dude. Every time I cross the border, I get questioned like they're looking for some fucking leader in Al Qaeda. All right, I ain't risking it. I ain't risking it. Three minutes and 11 seconds here in Herora. Hasn't done much in those 30 second tangent or 30 seconds that I went off there. Trying to pass into side control here. Three minutes on the clock in the in the third round. So I went off there, uh, pink eyed goat, but uh, I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job of calling this fight. Trying to interact, call this fight, but we were we were in between rounds there, buddy. My apologies for not making that more clear. Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock here in Herora, landing some shots here in the top position. Again, guys, this has been a pretty sloppy fight. What's up, Andrew? Good to see you, buddy. Jays are in the postseason. They cl- uh, clutch, they clinched. In the full guard of Nakamura now is Herora. Oh, a nice right hand there by Herora. Guys, if Herora continues to stay in the top position and land shots, he could win this third round. Again, the fights aren't judged by round, but he would... Sorry, I wouldn't, I shouldn't I shouldn't have said that because, because that's not correct. He would look better at the end of the fight, and that goes a long way. Now, 10 whole minutes of this fight, Nakamura, in my opinion, has been the better fighter, has landed the better shots, has been able to reverse takedowns, but the third round does mean a lot in these promotions that judge a fight as a whole. Nice throw down again by Heroa, grabbing that body lock and throwing Nakamura to the ground. In modified half guard side control and some nice short elbows on the ground there by Herora. Knee! Another knee by Herora. Great third round by Herora. This is Herora's bet, like the best third round. Or sorry, this is his best round of the fight thus far in the third here. Andrew Beads, great to see you again in the chat here. What are you doing up so late, Andrew? One minute, 12 seconds on the clock. A nice takedown again there by Herora. Nice slam suplex there by Herora. 55 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Again, the judges like takedowns tonight. I'm not I'm not defending them, I'm just saying. Did you just one of the announcers was just like, This has been fight of the night for me thus far. Dude, this has been a pretty sloppy fight. But at least the pace has been going back and forth. Twenty four seconds left on the clock here. Shoulder strike there by Nakamura. Karen Helen, well, there goes my parlay. Well, there's not a winner yet. We don't know who wins yet, guys. Hate his old ass. More than half the fight, he did look better, but this third round, Herora definitely did better. And that is it for the third round. So it all comes down to how much value the judges put in this third round compared to what Nakamura did in the first and second round. I'm very interested to see how this round is judged. Good display of respect there by Herora, bowing to the camp of his opponent. Because Nakamura did land the better shots. All fight better knees, better kicks, better punches. But that third round was all Herora. I know, man, fingers crossed, robbery, a robbery happens and this old guy wins. It's Bilal Muhammad goes full cock, a film study by Ronan MMA. You're welcome for me doing it the hard way. Thank you so much, Western MMA. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. You're going to make a reaction video on this channel to that video. The suplex was nice. I'll, I'll give that to Herora. All right, we are awaiting... The official decision here, guys. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications and subscribe to the channel.
All right. We're listening in. Oh, it's going to be a split decision. It's going to be a split decision. And Nakamura wins split decision. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I think it's the right decision. I think it's the right decision, and this is why. Let me quickly plead my case. That third round was a near domination by Herora, which, again, traditionally does go a long way. But I don't think Herora had a good second round or first round at all. And I'm not going by 10-point must at all. I'm going that Nakamura pieced him up with better shots, pieced him up with better knees. And was able to reverse his takedowns quite a bit. Reverse the grappling. Now, again, that third round, Herora put it all together and Nakamura slowed down and he dominated. Split decision, I'm okay with. If it was a unanimous decision, that would be a different story. Split decision, I'm okay with. Nakamura won split decision. Let's go. What a sweat. A hobbery. All right, guys. Wow. Uh, when's the intermission? Guys, I'm not even that tired yet. Knock on wood. Famous last words. I'm not even that tired yet. You guys and this buzzing chat are keeping me buzzing here. 2.04 a.m. Shout out to the ring card girls fight kits in Ryzen there. They're a little whack, but I like them. Nothing, nothing beats KSW, though. All right, guys. Very excited for this next one. Genji Umeno against Yuto Sato is coming up next. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, okay, the intermission's after this, guys. So we are going to have an intermission after this. So there's going to be a lot of talking here. We're going to have a pretty big break. There's going to be like, it's going to be like 20 to 40 minutes until the next fight here, guys, okay? So Saki Rabasan, he's going to enter the cage. They're going to announce some upcoming fights. They're going to do a little ceremony. Um for the live crowd here then the broadcast is going to take a 15 minute break and then we're going to come back with essentially the main card uh the last five fights i only need new yuki and shoto saito to win zach i'll get to it in a second yes nakamura wins buddy yeah so this is a great time for me to to tell my my story Do you think Sato wins? It's tough. I've been going back and forth. I've been playing mental gymnastics. I do think Yuto Sato wins. Oh, Sato, you said, sorry. Sato, uh, fuck. What are the odds? Minus one sixty. Uh, I could see Sato winning. Yes, it's a close one though. It's a close one, but I could see Sato winning. All right, guys. So the intermission has begun. This is the next fight. It's gonna twenty, or I guess twenty to what? 20 to 35, 40 minutes. JL so contradictory to Ronan. They are, they always debate in the comments. Dude, he does that with every YouTube channel. He does that with us as well. That is the JL way. All right. Okay. So, yes, 2011. I was, uh, I was, it was my senior year. So I, I was 17, 18 years old. Shout out Naimo District Secondary School. And the Vancouver Canucks went on a legendary, I shouldn't say legendary, but legendary for Canucks fans, a legendary run that year, won the President's Trophy, beat up everybody, Ryan Kessler scoring 
He scored 40 that year. Sadin Sadin Kessler on the power play every single time. Bieksa got 40 freaking points. Sammy Sallow slapping shots at the point all day, every day. Samuelson, old man Samuelson. Bone Hands Higgins was scoring that year as well. It was an unbelievable year for the Vancouver Canucks. And they tore through the playoffs. They slayed the Dragon. They beat San Jose. They beat Shea Weber and Ryan Suter, the wall in front of the other wall in Pecorine. And they run into fucking Tim Thomas, that crazy Minnesotan son of a bitch, and a hot Boston Bruins team. And though the Canucks did well in the first part of that series, man, it went to game seven. And I thought the Canucks were just clowning a bit. I thought they were just playing with their food, getting a little too overconfident. So at home, game seven, I skipped school that day. 6 a.m., catch the first ferry over to the mainland, Vancouver, British Columbia. And we spend the whole day there, dude. And the ferry's packed. Everyone, It's the 6 a.m. ferry. Everyone's drink, not drinking champagne, but everyone's drinking beers, puffing away on the hippie letters. Everyone's getting lit up. Dude, the city bus into downtown. People are shotgunning beers. We're all having mimosas with, with breakfast. We're having beers with lunch. And we're taking in all the festivities that are downtown. Now, the Vancouver police in the city did not map out an exit plan from downtown uh, properly in case shit hit the fans. So anyways, we, we we went to like the big, um, you know, supporters groups parties. We saw where the big Jumbotron was downtown. But we, not wanting to be in the crowds, found a fucking little bubble tea spot right outside Rogers Arena. It wasn't even a bubble tea spot. It was like a... It wasn't bubble tea spot, sorry. It was like a Korean barbecue joint. And we walk into the joint and we're like, and they're they're playing some Korean soap opera. They're kimchi slapping each other on the TV. And I'm like, yo, can you put on the game? And they're like, what game? Thank you so much, Westerns. Great to see you, buddy. They're like, what game? I'm like, yo, the Canucks game, game seven, Stanley Cup playoffs. Emotional damage. And so they put on the game. We had the whole cafe or little cafe, the whole little Korean barbecue joint to ourselves watching the game. And it was a horrendous game. It was so sad. And the Canucks get beat by the Boston Bruins. So we're like, I am gutted. I'm sad. I, 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 it was one of the worst feelings ever as a sports fan. Walk outside and you no know, fans start to pour out from Rogers Arena. Everyone's crying. We're all hugging. We'll get them next year. The team's still legit. We got this. We got this. Start making our way down, uh, actually kind of you know, close to Hastings. There were the Chinese cemeteries near that ball and ass elementary school. Spark went up with the boys and we're just like, guys, like, we don't want to take the city bus and sulk back to the ferry terminal. We're going to call a cab. So we called a cab. And no joke, after, after we finish sparking, we see smoke. So we start walking a little bit down the block and we see people starting to stick their jerseys in the gas, uh, well, in the gas hole, I don't know what you call it there, of, uh, of, of people's vehicles, of vans, of, 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 of motorcycles parked on the street and lighting their jerseys on fire, dude. People starting to scream, start to, you know, climb lamp will start to jump and yell and just get crazy and that riot mob mentality started to cloud over downtown when the smoke started to cloud over and lucky for us a van cab rolled up and no joke man four guys maybe it was three guys exited that cab one of them put on a balaclava and just went <laughs> okay it wasn't that crazy but still Woo-hoo! and just started running we look at the cabbie and we go sir horseshoe bay terminal and he goes thank fucking god let's get the hell out of downtown and and they and and on the last ferry home i'm watching the news dude and there's tanks rolling into downtown there's helicopters this is making national slash international news i had reporter friends who were being called by their reporter friends and freaking al jazeera from al jazeera news being like yo what's going on are you guys overthrowing your government and they're going no, we lost an ice hockey game in British Columbia, Canada. And they're, what? Ice hockey? You're not overthrowing your government? No, we're rioting because we lost an ice hockey game. Actually, the second time in history that we are rioting. And it sucks because I had friends who were stuck in that watch party bubble. 
There's a girl I know who got uh, trampled and got like her face beaten in that she had like now she has metal plates. Um, I knew a guy who got stabbed like pretty gnarly stuff, man, pretty gnarly stuff. But I got out before it got crazy and my parents made me go to the school the next day. And it was it was a weird, eerie feeling going to school the next day after all that shit going down. Because not only did like we lose the hockey game after an amazing season, but like it was a big L on the city as well. So anyways, sorry to go off with off on a tangent there for those non-hockey fans but uh 2011 my senior year of high school x i don't know if you're a community fan the show community that was my senior year man imagine if the canucks won the stanley cup imagine oh dude i can just imagine the parties man because we were all big canucks fans my school my friend my friend group this is the darkest timeline this is abed's darkest timeline Hockey fans? Non-hockey fans. Do, do those exist? <laughs> this is the darkest timeline. Uh, anyways, folks, there's my there's my hockey story of escaping the 2011 Stanley Cup rides. I'll show you guys some pictures, though. Um, that's why, uh, as much as I hate the Toronto Maple Leafs more than I love my mother, uh, I will never like Boston either. Yeah, look look at some of this shit, man. And then there's that legendary picture though, remember? This this is crazy. Look at this picture. This is a legendary picture that was taken. How crazy is that? <laughs> Just a couple straight up making out in the middle of the madness. <laughs> unbelievable but yeah i'm a big hockey guy my three favorite sports are ice hockey box lacrosse and just combat sports probably more well chuck my pen across the room probably muay thai what's the common denominator between all of them you can fight i hate field lacrosse but i love box lacrosse dude uh hey wla season former season ticket holder x go victoria shamrocks for some reason they won't let me cash out early bovada be shady for no reason oh i'm gonna be so happy if this parlay hits guys guys can you do shock genji dude genji didn't look good in his last fight he's looking he's looking kind of chinny He's looking kind of chinny, so I do think he has a chance. Aggressive kickboxing by Genji. Go Genji. I'm off to bed. Thanks for the stream. Good night. Good morning to you all. Shout out to you, Adam. Thank you so much for joining. I, I was watching it in the background when we started the stream, yeah? He looked good. No, he looked good. The rest of the cards sucked, though, man. And and the co-main event was a robbery, which... And I don't use that word liberally like everybody else. So far, I've had Joji, Yasaku, Hideka, uh, Victor, Yusaka, and Ruggiero. Dude, that is awesome, Noah. Shout out to you. And Noah, I don't know if you're, you are a returning viewer or a returning like subscriber, but thank you so much for joining, my man. So generally, Zek, I take Sundays off fighting uh, just because that's my day to do my my podcast. So I, I don't know if you guys saw or if you heard, I do a hockey and craft beer podcast. Uh, 350 episodes in on the audio side, but we launched a YouTube channel last year and we're really trying to get monetized and hit a uh, thousand subscribers um, before Christmas. So if you guys want to check it out, here is my other channel the soda pod so sundays are kind of reserved for for the soda pod sometimes i feel like we pre-record or my co-host and i don't link up to do our recordings then i might do like fury challenger series but generally sundays are like our hockey days sunday today yes uh pink-eyed goat the wiker the the uh, fighters will be walking out in about in about 20 minutes 20 minutes. 
from the Philippines. Good afternoon, guys. All right. I'm going to take uh, a little bit of a longer break here, guys. About a about a five to ten minute break here. Um, this is what I do throughout these uh, streams, guys, because they're they're super long as well. But go check out my second channel if you haven't already. And if you're not a hockey and beer fan, that's okay. That's okay. Check out this latest video. When you're done, when you're done watching this video, we will be back from our break. When we when you're done this video, we'll be back from our break. These were the best highlights from the first half of September from the regional scene. We have the second half of September regional highlights video dropping tomorrow. Oh, there are, Zach. There are. There's, there's quite a bit, actually. Uh, Fury Challenger Series, Fury FC do a lot of their shows on, on Sunday. A ton of Muay Thai early Sunday and Monday. Um, but uh, Kaposa post the full schedule. Uh, I'm, oh, the, the, so here, find us on Facebook. Uh, so that's Facebook. You can find us also on Twitter. Oh yeah, Zach, most of them are on UFC Fight Pass. I would say Ryzen is the only one that's really hard to find. Every other one you can you can find, buddy. And all the Muay Thai is free on YouTube. All the Muay Thai is free on YouTube, my man. Before I take my quick break here, here I'll hook you up with some, uh, some Muay Thai channels, my man. Bearex fight, that's a really good one. Uh, here I'm just going to the some of the channels that I'm uh, subscribed to. Give me one sec. I'm just going. I'm subscribed to so many channels, guys. So give me one sec. Oh, where is it? It's called like Petchy Petchy Dean or something like that. Uh, give me here, give me one sec. Give me one sec. Oh, oh, Fair Text Fight on YouTube, by the way. That's where they stream Road to One FC. Why can't I find this? So I will find this for you. Fair text fight. Here it is. Okay, so this channel every week has Muay Thai, dude. Every single week they have free Muay Thai. Thank you so much, Carlo. Appreciate you, buddy. Oh, and if you want to see the full schedule, um, this, guy's, this is my favorite uh, human alive. Is uh Kaposa Grabaka, Grabaka underscore Hitman Zek? This is the full world schedule. He posts it every week and where to find it. Uh, let's see if I can give you one more. Please subscribe to my second channel, even if you don't watch hockey or beer content. I'd really appreciate it. The Soda Pod. I cannot believe I spelt it right on the first time. Okay, this is another unbelievable Muay Thai organization. They stream for free as well, dude. Like I said, I'm a junkie, bro. Inject that combat sports right into my veins. Oh. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Okay, guys. We're going to take a quick break. On the other side, we have a kickboxing fight in Ryzen. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. God damn, I'm stoked. I'm not tired at all. I'm freaking pumped to see Genji, the king, fight Yuto Sato in kickboxing. I always look forward to the kickboxing fights in Ryzen. No problem, buddy. No problem. We're going to take a break, folks. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. Vote in the poll question. Refill your coffee. Refill your drink. Refill your snack bowl. Get up off of your seat. Have a quick stretch. In 10 minutes, the fights will be back. 10 minutes, the fights will be back, folks. Like I said, go watch this video of ours. I'm going to send it to you again here in the live chat. Go watch the latest regional highlight video from our channel 
And when that video is done in eight minutes, we will be back to highlight the next two fighters, to run down their resume, to call their fight. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. So don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're going to take a quick break, come back because we'll be back on the other side. Don't go anywhere. Back in five to eight minutes. Watch that video. When it's done, we'll be back. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the other side. Let's go.
live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. It is so freaking late, ladies and gentlemen. It is so freaking early. 2.33 a.m. for me, Central Time. It's 3.30 for you crazy mocks out east. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to say right off the bat, right off the bat, usually this ain't the AM, the ASMR, whatever the heck that is, A AMSR, ASMR. ASMR. This ain't the ASMR MMA channel. My roommates are just fucking sleeping and I don't want to wake them up. So I'm talking a little quiet, but I'm jacked up on the caffeine. I'm jacked up on this chat being absolutely buzzing all night. And I'm so freaking stoked because this card has delivered. I would say the last fight was like the only stinker of the card. The rest of the card has been damn good, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what's that title on Genji? I have no idea. Chat, what's the title on Genji? Uh, some kickboxing. Hopefully, it's as good as the last week's. <laughs> Sean, by the way, I got links for days, baby. I got links for days. I got links the cat. I got links of the chain link, of the chain variety. Uh, Sean, Sean, dug the humor there. You're one of us, Sean. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, Zach, what's going on? It's more comfy like that. I hate when Joe Rogan screams. <laughs> Ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> uh, how's it going, Sean? In all seriousness, Sean, it's it's not really anywhere. And I think Zek maybe found one spot. And Noah had one spot, but then it got shut down. I buy the pay-per-views for Ryzen every single time. It's 20 bucks, And sometimes you get the two-for-one deal when they do um, the landmark events and the numbered events back-to-back. -back. Look, I, do, I don't go to Hortons anymore. I don't live in Canada. I don't drink the Starbucks or the Caribou coffee. I make my own coffee at home. I save that 20 bucks and I buy Ryzen every month. Oh, I got you, uh, Beto. I got you. I got links for days, Beto. I got links for days. The crowd will fall asleep. <laughs> but the stream gets up to 35. I just ate hella coleslaw. That's random as hell. But I am so hungry right now. I could eat, I could eat a pint of coleslaw. Two more likes. And Ze so, Zach, by the way, you can't literally post the link, I don't think, in chat. Unless you're a mod, but uh, but if you write like bracket.com or something, you'll make it work. You'll make it work. This again. All right, the broadcast is back and they're uh, about to announce some fights, I think. Yee, they can add me on Discord. There you go. There you go. Uh, Sean, thanks for the stream slash MMA account tips. Uh, what's your go-to for fight breakdowns? Uh, so I make the rounds. Uh, it depends for, it depends for what card. Um, but, uh, usually I'll watch on, honestly, all, most of the big main accounts. I like Artem MMA, MMA guru, James Lynch. Um, Those are some of the main... I like Dan Hardy's breakdowns, though I don't agree with everything. And he does kind of milk some of his explanations for that ad money, which respect, respect. Um, so yeah, I'll make the rounds on each card, but that's usually for UFC. For um, for one championship, I, I like the We Are Ryzen podcast. They do they do a good job for their predictions. Um, sure Dog MMA does, does decent Ryzen predictions. And then for one championship, I don't have anybody for MMA, but I I'm I'm I have some friends who are part of like Muay Thai and kickboxing Twitter. Uh, shout out to Eric, shout out to Jamie, you crazy motherfuckers, I love you. Um, and uh, that that's kind of my go-to for for Muay Thai and kickboxing. Uh, they better not call the phone again. That was cringe. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, that's Asakura right now, uh, in in the cage right now, if I'm not mistaken. 
Guys, we hit 35 likes. We hit our like goal. Thank you all so much. We just hit our like goal. Yo, let, let's get five more likes and make it even. But everyone, add, add the Discord. Add X on Discord, and X will hook you up. Appreciate you, Monster, the MMA fan. Oh, the weasel's really good too. Sorry, that I'm tired. It's two thirty eight. I do watch the I, I do watch the weasels breakdowns, but honestly, I I, I like the um, so for pre fights, so for predictions, I don't watch the weasel. So the guys I I named were specifically for predictions. Uh, I thought I woke up my roommate. Uh, for uh for fight breakdowns, I do like the weasel quite a bit. It's awesome. Like, there's so many, uh, there's so many good MMA and uh, combat sports creators right now, <laughs> dude. I like this cold open here for this next fight. All right, guys, cold open for the next fight. It's coming up here next. Dude, X is doing God work. God's work here. Shout out to X doing God's work, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Shauna, we do predictions on this channel as well. Just saying, just saying. We do UFC live stream predictions every Thursday. Uh, do you know we want picks? I've watched a few of their videos. I just so how I do it is like I'll 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 do my research. I'll 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 look at their resume. I'll look at what the betting odds have them at. Um, and then I'll watch like a few fights of theirs if I'm not familiar with them. So I'll watch some tape. And then after I make my first draft of predictions, then I make the rounds and watch like a few different. So I usually watch like two or three and I'll switch it up every now and then. And then they usually, you know, say some things that, that I didn't notice or pick up on some things that I didn't notice. And then I'll obviously pick up some things that they didn't notice. So I like, you know, drawing from everyone. Like, oh, so you saw this. Okay. You saw this. Oh, I didn't think about you know, this and this and this. Oh, I didn't know that that fighter had just, you know, faced something personally. Okay, you know, no. So, and then after I kind of make the rounds, then I then I finalize my list and then we do a live stream. We also give out the Volcan-inspired degenerate pick of the week where we make a three-fight money line parlay that just will not hit. So do not bet on it. But if you sprinkle on it and it hits, you'll still be rich just for fun. Bobby Green is going to get mauled. I'm so... I don't want that. I love Bobby Green. Hood style, motherfucker. Try not to look at the odds before the tape. Well, I'm pretty familiar with the UFC, so it doesn't really... And I don't gamble much, so... I don't let the odds ever sway my... Like, I will call out the odds more often than not, being like, oh, I think this is too much, dude. I think this is too much. You know, either in one way or the other. So I don't gamble too much. I'm I'm a fan first, a degenerate second. And I'm not saying that to be on a high horse. It's just true. I just I've just always watched sports more than I've gambled on sports. Um other than like a big futures bet in hockey. God damn it, Pittsburgh Penguins beat Nashville in 2017, dude. I lost so much money. But anyways, we don't cry over spilled milk. Uh I am brand new. So I'll check out all your stuff. Thank you, buddy. It's criminal how there's so few MMA channels. Well, Sean, I appreciate you, brother. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Sean, we do live fight companions like this all weekend. We do Dana White's Contender Series every Tuesday. We do boxing every second Wednesday. We do some, some fights every Thursday. I post as much MMA commentary and news, but better news stories, not the drama that's going on in the UFC. I do the news stories of like an MMA fighter in Philadelphia who had his car stolen from him and he hung by the window of his car trying to get the the car thieves to stop while one guy pulls a gun on him. Those are the stories we talk about. We highlight the regional scene as well. So we have a little bit of something for everyone on our channel. We have vlogs and stuff like that so you can get to know.
the characters of the channel, much like myself. But anyway, Sean, thank you so much for joining. For everybody else joining right now as the fighters are beginning to make their walk out to the cage, we do live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. We usually don't whisper, but it's almost 3 a.m. Don't want to wake up my roommate, so trying to be a little quiet here, but I'm jacked up, dude, off the caffeine. Let's go. You know what? Maybe we mix in a little, uh, I got a little rye whiskey for the Canadians in the live chat, but I got some, hib I got, I got some Hibiki and Toki. Shout out Suntory, Japanese whiskey. I usually just bet the underdogs. The last UFC fight night was so shitty. Yes, it was. But the one before that was a good deep cut. It actually delivered. I know, dude. DQ and injuries. Yeah, it sucked, man. It sucked. It's YouTube, man. It's YouTube. There's there's some some people aren't the sharpest tools in the shed. But the ones that are, the OGs, the ones that are stay, the ones that are subscribe and appreciate what we're doing here. What about Izzy? <laughs> What do you do after the stream? You drink a lot of coffee to sleep after. Honestly, I still fall asleep. Well, that's not true. After every fight event, even those UFC streams that we do until like midnight, it takes me about an hour to decompress after watching fights because you're just like, it's constant like adrenaline and sit like, um, and dopamine pumping through your brain, right? And the fact that you get overtired off caffeine, usually activate A, Weekends like this completely fuck me up until like Tuesday, not going to lie. I'm going to continue to do some work after this until my eyes, like until I have to fight the napitis. And then I'm going to sleep until 11 a.m. And then I have some things to do after that. So I have an alarm set for 11 a.m. I'm going to continue to work after the stream and, and edit video and edit thumbnails for, for a client of mine. Um, I'm going to stop drinking coffee after this is my last cup of coffee for the final stretch here because we got at least two more hours of fights, no? Karn, it starts in about five minutes, buddy. The dog system works only on low-level women and heavyweights. <laughs> Aujays. What's up, Aujays? I'm watching on Fight TV, Ajays. Looks like there's a some sort of cheerleading group going on here. Oh yeah, that's right. Whenever Genji walks out, he always has like a whole crowd uh, walking out with him and singing with him. All right, guys. Fighters are making their way into the cage right now. We got links for days, ladies and gentlemen. We got links for days. All right, both fighters have entered the cage. Again, this is the only kickboxing fight on the main card. Ah, <laughs> uh, my bad, bro. I got Kyle covered with the thumbs up. Oh, Jay's MMA. Shout out to you, my man. It's good to see you. Sorry, I'm troll. I'm trolling in the in the chat right now, guys. Don't click the links. I mean, you can, but you'll probably laugh. Oh, uh, Jay's MMA. Here you go, buddy. Oh, Jay's MMA. All jokes aside, here you go. Lucky I didn't miss anything. What's up, Gravedigger Jones? One of our exclusive members back here. Zex, one of our exclusive members as well, by the way. Odd Jay's MMA. Excuse my trolling. I just, you know, like I said, I got I got I got uh links for days. 
Gen G equals cringy. All right, Genji Umeno is being introduced in the center of the cage, ladies and gentlemen. 50 wins, 15 losses, 4 draws, 34 years of age. And he's got his he's got his cheerleaders with him. Now you chill, bro. Ryzen is so underrated. Ajay's, I love Ryzen. It's one of my favorite promotions. <laughs> Sean was the only one who, so far, who appreciated my, uh, my answer. And people were like, got links? And I literally posted links for days in the live chat. All right, three three-minute rounds in this kickboxing match, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Ryzen, landmark six. Kickboxing here. Round one. Let's get it on. I mean, Denji's a legend, but he's getting a little chinny here, but I don't know much about Yuto Saito. Two minutes and 44 seconds. Oh, and a nice counter right and a left and a kick to the body there by Yuto Saito. A nice kick to the body there by Minno. Oh, and a nice counter left and a high kick by Sato. Sato looks good so far, guys. Two minutes and ten seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Sato. Genji walking forward. Genji with more of that Muay Thai stance than traditional kickboxing. Good job checking the kicks there by Genji. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. Dude, Zek is the real MVP. One minute and 44 seconds on the clock. Zek, appreciate you, dude, because, like, you obviously don't have to do this. And, like, I didn't I didn't even have a place to watch it. And I'm not even being, like, like I'm not even kidding. Like, I, I bought the pay-per-view, so appreciate you, man. Oh, and a takedown there, or throwdown anyways, by Genji. So far, I like what I see from Sato. Dude, he really is. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Oh, and a throwdown there by Genji again. One minute on the clock here, guys. Body kick by Genji, caught there by Sato. Sato tried to land a counter left, didn't land. Ooh, a nice left of the body there by Genji, or by uh, Umeno. Didn't land with that right to finish off his combo. Outside low kick by Sato. Nice counter left there by Sato. Genji doing a good job with the outside low kick. They clinch here. Genji might go for the trip again. Each land some knees to the body. And there it is with the trip. And Sato falls to the ground. Back up to their feet here. 20 seconds left in the first round. Again, three, three minutes. Three, three minute rounds in this kickboxing match, folks. Ooh, and look for that big uppercut. Was well, Sato didn't land. Huge step in right there by Sato. A nice body kick by Genji. Again, Genji's got the, the height and reach advantage on Sato here, guys. And that is it for the first round. Uh, Ajay's, there are one, two, three, four more fights, buddy. All MMA. Oh, guys, elbows are allowed. So this is a kickboxing fight with elbows allowed. Dude, I love one championship. Or sorry, I love Ryzen and also one. They allow elbows in their kickboxing. PFL doesn't even allow fucking elbows in their MMA fights. Oh, my God. One O oh, Genji. Yeah, I'm giving it to Genji as well. All right, round two coming up here, folks. Let me know your thoughts on the fight. Let me know your thoughts on the fight. And so this fight is judged 10-point must system, but not the MMA in Ryzen. Oh, pride rules, guys. Pride rules. Oh. <sighs> 
I need a haircut, guys. My hair's so long. I just literally like just yank it back, st stuff it in a ball, and just hide it behind my hat. I'm just waiting. In two more weeks, I'm going to get it cut, and I'm going to dye it blonde for Charlie, Charlie Olives. Maybe in three weeks, because their fight's in a month. Anyways, round two. Let's get it all. Yuto's holding his own, yeah. Why is Genji the big favorite? Just because Sato is uh, unproven. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Genji's relying on the throwdowns. Inside low kick attempt there by Sato not landing. Outside low kick by Genji. Sato walks in, but Genji with a good guard. None of Sato's shots landed, and Genji just throws him to the ground. Uh, Joe Hogan, kind of. So it, it's a it's a modified rule. That it's, it's basically Muay Thai with big gloves because elbows are allowed. It's a good fight to pick the underdog. One minute and 58 seconds on the clock. Genji with the outside low kick. Genji's landing more kicks. That's why people choose him. Unanimous decision. Well, there's still, we're only in the second round. But yes, he is landing kicks there. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful kick by Genji. And he knocks down Sato with the calf kick. Carlo, you spoke right on time, buddy. Clinching here, they each, each land some knees. A beautiful throw down there again by Genji. Basically, Joe Hogan, they modify the rules for Genji so that he can uh, so that he can thrive. One minute and ten seconds on the clock. And Sato trying to get a trip of his own and doesn't land. Oh, a nice body shot by Genji on Sato. Sato did land a right hand. Genji's going to look for the trip again in the clinch. Dude, and you know what? It's annoying Sato, and it's taking a lot out of him. Every time that Sato clinches, Genji's like, all right, and he just tosses him down. Doesn't make for the most exciting fight, but it's, it, it, it's a smart game plan, and it's working. A trip there by Genji. Oh, what a nice spinning back fist by Sato. And it landed. He threw the kick in the back fist. A nice elbow there by Genji in the clinch. And a reversal there. Sato ends up on top. He's full on wrestling my boy right now. Dude, shout out to X, man. Or Xek. And that is it for the second round. Throwing in the pocket there to end it was Sato. I got it around a piece. I got it around a piece. No, I'm just kidding. I got Genji winning both rounds. Round three coming up here. Just bullying him. Don't let him bully us, son. <laughs> Zach, you're sleepy? Dude, it's it's only 1 a.m. in your part. It's almost 3 here, brother. No, fair enough. You've had a long night. You went to the casino. You went to the Whitecaps game. You'd be watching some Ryzen with the boys. Appreciate you, buddy. And a big shout out to everybody uh, who became members today, who became members on the weekend. I can't believe we had over 100 people, 180 people. I think those are max viewership at one point, or peak viewership, I should say, uh, for PFL. I usually wake up at 6.30 a.m., so this is pushing. Yeah, dude, you should. Hey, if you have a routine and you do your workouts every morning, I'm, I'm not going to judge you for, for tapping out here. It's psycho shit staying up for Ryzen, especially at... Especially after you going to a, a you know a soccer game, a sporting event. All right, third and final round. Let's get it all. Yeah, I'm gonna do a killer workout tomorrow when I'm like kind of dead tired to try to reboot everything. Who 
Who needs Allen in a parlay like me? Uh, that's rookie numbers. You should try 9 a.m. all-nighter. Uh, throw Canelo fight. <laughs> Fair. Uh, we're chilling, bro. You deserve to, the push you're getting. Oh, thanks. Uh, oh, Jay's MMA. I appreciate you, buddy. All right, two minutes and 17 seconds on the clock. Well, it's uh in the late afternoon, early evening Japanese time, right? So for me, North America, it's late at night. It's 6 p.m. here in Austria. So there you go. Because you guys are like same time zone or similar time zone to Japan, right? So it's, it's prime time for you guys. It's super late for us. Atta boy, buddy. I need Alan bet 365. Well, let me cash out my 150 bucks. 4 a.m. here in the Philippines. Knees to the body here by Genji. One minute and 33 seconds on the clock. Dude, Genji looked awesome in this one. He's looked awesome in this fight. Not that Sato's look completely out, like, like a fish out of water here. Nice kick to the body there by Sato. Sato has landed some good shots. It's just... Oh, nice throw down by Sato there. Genji just honestly kind of threw him off his game there because every time Sato clinched, Genji threw him to the ground. Or 4 p.m. That's prime time, baby. Fifty seconds on the clock here. Ooh, a nice left uppercut there by Sato. And he going goes for the throw down again. Forty two seconds on the clock. Catching the kick, throwing a right hand, and I don't I don't like Genji going down that easy there. Not by by a by a, sh a shot, but on his own accord. Nice knee there by Genji, or so by Sato, and Genji ends up on top. 15 seconds left. <laughs> nice back kick there by Sato. Oh, what a beautiful shot to the body by Sato. Final 10 seconds. They're thrown in the pocket. And Sato runs in with the right hand. They each throw a kick, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It is all over. This one goes the distance, and I think Genji will get the decision. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Uh, we're awaiting the official decision. We have not heard yet, but that's my prediction. Eight in your parlay, you goddamn, goddamn. Four more fights left on the card, ladies and gentlemen. Four more fights. I'm very excited for this next one, by the way. All right, we're awaiting the official decision here, folks. But again, can't imagine that's not going to be Genji. Can't imagine that's not going to be Genji. Dude, I, I, just, I love kickboxing in Muay Thai. And Ryzen special kickboxing rules for Genji. The people's main event is next, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're listening in for the main event, guys. Or sorry, we're listening in for the official decision. I'm getting tired. Napitis is creeping in. Add it with some caffeine. Genji wins, ladies and gentlemen. Shame verdict doesn't do Ryzen. Yeah. Stiff KO, says Nikolai. 
Nikolai, I, I totally forgot about this cat, but uh, Activity reminded uh, reminded me that he that he was on a road to UFC. Woo yeah. All right, guys, next fight coming up here again, People's Main Event. I think this one is going to be awesome. Let's highlight the fighters here. We have Yuki Ito against Topnoi Kiram. 14-5 and five as a pro for Yuki Ito. He is 2-2 two and two in his last four fights. It is hard to hold the mic in those kickboxing gloves. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yuki have fights in Bellator, but I think it's a dog fight, and Yuki will end up on top. Yeah, Japanese scrapper against a Thai fighter. I can't wait. His last fight was impressive because if you've seen his opponent go on and smash his next opponent first round. Let's do a deep dive. Let's take a look at Yuki Ito. He's the slight favorite. Road to UFC. What did I say? Oh, yeah, road to UFC. Slight favorite, minus 125. For Yuki Ito, 26 years of age. Dude, Ryzen is epic, man. Real combat stuff. Japanese hits different. Dude, I'm glad all of you appreciate Ryzen as much as me. I love this promotion so much. Oh, Jay's, you're the man, dude. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Great to see you. All right, seven KO, TKO, two submissions, five decisions, four and one in Ryzen, seven and four in deep. Uh, beat an eight and ten guy in his last fight, lost to a three and five guy, a ten and two. Emotional damage. Beat a three and two, two and three, 17 and 11. So okay, his last good win was against a nine and two guy in 2022. I guess he's been pretty active. Um, you know, this guy's record's not that good. Had a good amateur career going six and zero. He had he has a one good win on his on his resume, and it was unanimous decision. All right, all right, all right. Going up against Topnoi Kiram, nine and five as a pro. Also. Two and two in his last four fights. This one's a pick em, ladies and gentlemen. This one's a pick em. All right, we got the cold open now here, ladies and gentlemen. I was going to say, Ryzen, they can't show road to UFC uh, content, can they? In the cold open? There's no way. Five KOTKO, one submission, three decision. He's one and two in Ryzen. Three and one in full metal dojo. And one and two in road to UFC. Like I said, lost a split position. Lost a close split position. I keep fumbling my words because I'm scared to say his name. He lost a split, a close split decision to Niam Jargal to Mendem Burr, who, like Activate A said, Ended up, if topology agrees with, agree with this, ended up having a beautiful, beautiful finish after that. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm not going with Ito. I'm not impressed with, e with Ito's resume. I'm not impressed by your performance. We're going Thailand, baby. Thailand versus Japan. We're going Thailand, baby. <laughs> Locking it in. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. So glad I made it in time, my friend. I've wanted to watch Ryzen events so long. Ajays, we are going to be streaming these every single Ryzen event. So we'll see you next month for the next one. Yoki knocks out Joji Gota and Jinua Hibino. <laughs> that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. All right, guys. Fighters are making their walk out right now. It's cool, Audrey, because these Ryzen events are a little unique in the sense that it's a landmark event, which means it has a cage 
unlike uh, the traditional Ryzen events that fight in a ring. Again, folks, let me know your thoughts in the live chat throughout this fight. Let me know your predictions as well. We share our predictions. Carlo, uh, one of our new regulars as well. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much for the support you show this channel. And I want to give a special shout out while the fighters are making their walk out here to Activate A, one of our exclusive members and a huge, huge supporter of this channel. He's making you all rich as well. So a uh, big round of applause. Round of applause emojis or the fire emojis? Oh, dude, he's got his hair dyed pink. I'm listening in. I love his walkout music. Epic, dude. Epic. Lene Hart. But a big shout to Activate A. Um, who, who else of our exclusive members is here? Zach, if he's still awake. Shane was here earlier. Gravedigger Jones still lurking. Um, I think that's the only exclusive members who are here right now. So appreciate you guys. Special shout out to you as always. All right, 31 years old for the TIE Fighter. Again, not the most impressive record, 9 and 5. But you better believe that with that striking background. He's fucking sick. Smash that like button if you haven't already, folks. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. So you never miss a live stream. This guy was funny on road. Uh, Tasenko was just mentioning his uh, 10 uh, SIGs pre-fight. That's hilarious. How many SIGs do you think he's had before this fight in the back room here in Japan? Dude, I can't wait. I can't wait for this one. This one is the people's main event, ladies and gentlemen. This one is the people's main event. Smash that like button if you haven't already, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Vote in the poll question. You know what? Let's take a look at the poll question here. Let's take a look at the poll question. Let's see how many votes we have. Again, if your favorite card isn't listed from this weekend, uh, don't be afraid to comment it in the live chat. Thirty-nine likes on the video, guys. We are one like away from forty. Smash that like button. We are one like away from forty. I know we can get it. I know there's one of you. There's twenty-seven of you. I know there's one of you who haven't hit that like yet. Boom. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, let's take a look at the poll question. 111 votes. Best combat sports card of the weekend. Rise in Landmarks, Landmark 6. Alvarez, Charlo, PFL Europe 3 or 1 Fight Night 14. Not surprised. Rise in 55%. Tide is Alvarez. And one fight night 14 in PFL Europe with the 7% as it should be. 43 likes. Let's go. Oh Let's go. God. Dude, at this rate, we can get this bitch to 50. Dude, you guys are amazing. Thank you. I'm the last like, bro. I forgot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Zach is the people's champ. Exactly that. It's crazy. I don't know any fighters in Ryzen other than the Champ D'Souza, Belto Ryzen events are crazy. Dude, I don't know that many fighters in Ryzen. Like, I'm familiar with them. But I don't know them like I know the UFC fighters, for example. Or even some of the one championship Muay Thai fighters. But it doesn't matter. Because every card is so entertaining. It's truly amazing. Uh, we appreciate you more, bro. Even if you wake up early in the morning to live stream, at least five. That's a young Thai kid's pre-workout. <laughs> exactly that. That is common to the night. Five sigs, yeah, yeah. You know, young Thai kid's pre-workout. Oh, activate a. Uh, you have Twitter, right? You've seen my Twitter profile picture. Have you guys seen my Twitter profile picture? 
So shout out the 90s. My dad with his amazing sense of humor. My dad uh, was off and on, maybe still is a smoker. Uh, they took this picture of me in the 90s. And YouTube, do not, do not age restrict us, okay? I didn't actually smoke it. It was just a funny picture. This is very risky, but YouTube, please. I'll, I'll, look, at there's a quick, there's a quick. That was me. That was my dad. Funny picture. There we go. Check out my Twitter page, at VS Sports Talk. Let's go, Yuki. <laughs> Grave Digger Jones. I'm going with the TIE Fighter. So at Activate A, if I started doing Muay Thai at three years old there, I would I would have had four more of those. Dude, that's the... I credit my dad. My dad, he's an absolute beauty. Love you. Love you, Amory. Love you, dad. He thinks I'm crazy doing these streams. But he's the one that got me into MMA. He's the one who used to wake me up uh, early in the mornings to watch Pride. So, um, But yeah, the he, he's got a great sense of humor. And shout out to the 90s. My name is Isha. I'll never root against a TIE fighter in MMA. Cardio must have been off the chain. <laughs> exactly that. That's the secret. It's true. If you can fight five SIGs before a, uh, before your fight, you're good to go. Oh, dude, these guys with an intense stare down. Dude, there was an, an NHL goalie named Mika Kippersoff for the Calgary Flames who was an awesome Finnish goalie. He was one of the last new school, like in the late 2000s, in the National Hockey League, he was one of the last new school goalies to still puff SIGs between periods. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. People's main event. All right, live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction. Even though I have to whisper because my roommates are asleep, let's get it on. There you go. There you go. Ten cigarettes. Four minutes and 38 seconds on the clock. If uh, Popnoy wins this fight via knockout, I'm going to make a video on him for the channel. And we're going to talk about his 10 SIG special. Tell him I might, I might even have to buy a pack of SIGs and smoke 10 of them uh, during the segment. Four minutes and 14 seconds on the clock. Ooh, a nice left kick to the body there by Topnoy. Four minutes on the clock here. It is also cool in Ryzen to see these guys wear their own shorts and fight kits. Oh, that is so sad. My team about before yours. <laughs> Three minutes and 44 seconds on the clock. Oh! I get what you're saying, though. Sorry, I read that wrong. Oh, nice left hand by uh, by Ito. Yeah, fight the Fight TV stream is a little bit delayed. It was a little bit more... It was a little bit delayed on the YouTube stream as well. Beto. What's up, Beto? What's going on? Uh, Genji one, buddy. Genji one. Three minutes and 15 seconds to fuck the clinch. Double right jab there by Topnoy. Inside low kick by Ito. Ito fainting for the level change. Two minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Center of the cage. Inside low kick attempt there by Ito doesn't land. Again, thanks everybody for watching. Appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. You're the real MMA fans staying up late to watch Ryzen. You guys are awesome. Ooh, a nice left there on the entry. Oh, a knee to the body there. Top Noi with a nice knee to the body there. Ito didn't like that. Good takedown defense so far by Top Noi Kiram. Let's go Thailand, baby. I should be cracking open some Chang beers right now. I should be cracking open some Chang beers right now.
He tapped nine times. He tapped nine times. Ooh, nice body kick there by Kiram. God, I love, I love Thai fighters, dude. A top. Oh, a nice knee. Oh, and there's the knockdown. There's the knockdown. The knee knockdown. He's a former fighter, actually. Ooh, low kick there. Ito low kick on Top Noy. Top Noy got the knockdown. Honestly, no offense to the to the guys doing the broadcast, as they they do a decent job, like away from like from their home. Dude, Ryzen should hire me, guys. Ryzen, hello. You should hire me. If you hire me, I won't whisper. If you hire me, I'll tell my roommates. Sorry, it's it's a job, and I'll soundproof my little office here. Dude, I would love to work for Ryzen. One minute, 36 seconds on the clock. Get paid that Yakuza cash, baby. Let's go. Ryzen gonna hire my boy. Yo, I will I will gladly get paid under the table with Yakuza cash. All right, round two. Oh, sorry, it's not, the, not round two. Guy got kicked in the balls. This is where the nap bite is... Uh, He's creeping in. No, no, I'll work from home. I'll work from home. I do want to go to Japan soon and plan around uh, some Ryzen events. Oh, outside low kick there by Top Noy. Oh, counter left there by Ito. That was nice. I'm going to feel so weird whispering to you guys when I'm buzzing off the caffeine right now. 45 seconds on the clock here in this first round. Ooh, nice left by Ito. Ooh, a nice shot to the body there by Kiram. But Ito's looking good with the counters as he landed two good counter shots there. Ito going for the level change, but top nine Kiram. Great takedown defense. 25 seconds on the clock. Go, oh, Yoki Ito. 15 seconds left in the first round. They separate. Trying to go for a flying knee, but negated there was top noise. 10 seconds left in the first round. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for the second round. We're going into the third. Or sorry, that's it for the... Uh, yeah, the second round, my book. Oh wait, first round. I'm confusing myself. My apologies, folks. We're going into the second round. That that shot to the the balls, uh, just fucked me up. A little bit, not too bad. I'm confusing myself because uh, <laughs> I thought after that break that it was that we went to the second round. I'm just on that Muay Thai time because I've been watching so many three three minute rounds. All right, second round coming up here, folks. My apologies. Sorry about that, Ajays. But uh, at, at least you got a spot to watch it, my man. All right, fighters are being looked at by their cup, cupmen between rounds. Everyone seems to be good. No one's really gashed up. No one's really wearing too much damage either. I need Nick Diaz fighting on one of these, dude. Yeah, me too. Dude, jo uh, did you know Ajay's John Dobson is going to be fighting for the title in Ryzen? And he's going to be a double champ. BKFC in Ryzen. That's the real BKFC. Or sorry, that's the real BMF. If you're the BKFC champion and the Ryzen champion, that's the real BMF. All right, round two. Let's get Looking for that counter left elbow. Guys, in landmark events in one championship, you're allowed to use the elbow. When there's a cage, you're allowed to use an elbow. Nam Chum brother, I'm just blessed to get to watch it with you guys. Shout out to Zach. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Four minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Ooh, outside low kick by Topnoy Kiram. And Ito saying, come on, come on, let's go. 
And Ito, Ito wants to fight in the pocket here. Ito wants to brawl. Dude, I love him. Absolutely. Dude, he's 39 years young or 38 years young, man. Knocking guys out in BKFC. And he walks out in a Ninja Turtles onesie with his whole camp in uh, in Ryzen. Three minutes and 33 seconds on the clock here in the second round. Ooh, high kick attempt there by Topno Akiram and Ito. Ito, a little bit of showmanship, bows as uh, Topno gives him the fist bump. Good, good display of respect here in this fight. Ito should wrestle too. He should mix up. Adebayo, he's trying. Kiram's been stuffing all his takedowns, dude. Topnoy's been stuffing all his takedowns. Three minutes on the clock. These fighters are, are cool. Such a different kind of promotion with such fighters. Absolutely, buddy. That's why we love it. And again, the landmark events are super cool because with the cage, the rule sets are a little, are a little different. Honestly, the best rule set. Everything pretty much goes. Ooh, looking for that counter left was Ito. All right, the referee's calling for a little bit more action. Counter left there by Top Noy doesn't land. Ito's head movement has been good, man. Ito's having a good second round. Double left jab there by Top Noy. Uh, go Ito. Two minutes and four seconds on the clock. Second round. Again, technical, technical fight, man. Ito keeps trying to drag Topno into a war, and Topno he he's he's looking for that counter. Top Noy underrated for being 9-5. Dude, absolutely. Yeah, but he got... I mean, he did get a chance in a road to, to UFC twice, so... The UFC did recognize how good he was. I wonder what his uh, kickboxing record is, Top Noy. But look at his stance. Oh, what a nice straight left jab there by Ito. Ito's looking pretty good in this second round. I want to see more from Top Noy. Thailand versus Japan. This is crazy, man. One minute on the clock here in the second round. Body kick there by Topnoy caught by Ito again on that right side. Ooh, trying to catch him with a knee there was Topnoy. That was that was actually that was cheeky. Inside low kick by Ito. Yeah, like I said, very technical fight here. But every now and then, Ito will try to drag uh, Topnoy into the fire. Please, Topnoy. I'm rooting for him too. Ito pressuring Topnoy outside that center line. Ooh, swinging with that left and missing there was Ito. Ito lands that though. Ito lands with the left. Go Top Noy. Thanks for joining there, uh, Ebay. Ooh, a nice right hand there by Ito, and he clinches up on Top Noy. All right, they're in the clinch now. One one says Nikolai. After the second. Yeah, big third round here, guys. Big third round. Top Noy looked better in the first round. Ito looked better in the second. It all comes down to the third. <laughs> no, 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 Yoki here. Right, you guys got big parlays. We want you guys to make money. I really do. But I also want my tie boy to win this one. Let's go. We got links for days. Ebay, I'm watching on Fight uh, TV. What's up, Brett Clement? Damn, coming in hot.
There are through some links in the live chat, guys. All right, round three coming up here. Guys, this one was a pretty even fight, though. Coming into this fight, Ito is plus 100 on Bet Online, minus 120 on Betway, minus 115 on Bovada. It was a pick of minus 115 on Bovada each. All right, round three, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get Sleeping, bro. If the judging is the same as the female fight, Top Noise should be up. Yuki recovered well. Four minutes and 38 seconds on the clock. Thailand showing up in the live chat, folks, as they do for their fighters. I love it. Outside low kick by Top Noy. An inside low kick by Ito there. Ooh, and there's a shin shin collide there. Top Noy, check the kick of Ito. Top Noy, just a little slower with that counter left. Let's go, Top Noy. What's up, Jarda? Yeah, this round's going to decide it all, ladies and gentlemen. Throw the other two rounds out the window. Whoever wins this round, they're going to win the fight. Ooh, a nice left uppercut attempt there by Ito. He didn't land anything in that combo. Inside low kick and a counter one, two by Top Noy. No bias whatsoever. <laughs> Show, showboating a little bit is Ito. Ito, let's go. Shout out to all the 40 people who are watching. This is the biggest rising stream we've ever had. Usually we have like five people watching at this time. Three minutes and 21 seconds on the clock. Nice straight right jab there by Ito. Ooh, and a low kick. Topnoy with the kick to the balls on Ito, and Ito's not looking good here. Ooh, that was a nut shot. And that was a bad one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Emotional damage. Oh, uh, yep. That was bad. Let's take a look at the replay. Honestly, it wasn't as it it wasn't as egregious as I thought it was based on his reaction. But I mean, you get kicked in the nuts, you get kicked in the nuts. I'm a man. I'm going to empathize. That's second time. Take a point, ref. Well, it's not the second time, Nikolai. Uh, Top Noy was the one who got kicked in the balls last time. So it's one apiece. It's one apiece. You can't take a point from top now if you're getting kicked in the balls first. Super Asian Viking. Ah, uh, how they score in Ryzen, brother? They score like one championship. They score the fight as a whole. No 10-point must system. All right, we're back. <laughs> Three minutes left in the third round. Top Noy applying some pressure here. And Ito going in for the takedown again. Top Noy has defended pretty much every single takedown from Top Noy. Or sorry, from Ito. Oh, and trying to land that left elbow was Top Noy. Again, landmark in Ryzen. Landmark events, you're allowed to throw elbows. Nice straight step in right hand by Ito. Two minutes and 34 seconds on the clock. Dude, I've really enjoyed this fight. Very technical fight. Ito still can't take Top Noy to the ground. And Top Noy with a counter right. Guys, this is Japan. If it goes the distance, they're giving it to Ito. The, 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 the Japanese judges are not going to give this to the TIE fighter. Knee to the body there by Top Noy. Just like in Thailand, there's no way the TIE judges will give it to the Japanese fighter. One minute and 53 seconds. Straight right jab by Top Noy. Top Noy has to get a finish here, or the Japanese judges are going to give it to Ito. And I don't even blame them, because again, the Thai judges would give it to the Thai guy. 
One minute and 38 seconds on the clock here. Who wants it more, boys? Who wants it more? Let's go, baby. Ooh, nice body kick there by Top Noy. Nice counter left there by Top Noy in his corner. He's going, hey, every time he lands. Top Noy, one minute and 15 seconds. Looking for the takedown there was Ito. Doesn't get it. Top Noy with another takedown defense. For a Muay Thai fighter, his takedown defense against that of Yuki Ito has been spectacular. Another body kick there by Top Noy. They've done it for Victor and Bonrin earlier. There's hope for a fair decision. That is true. That is true. But I mean, Japanese versus Thai, Thailand. There's like a wicked combat sports rivalry there. 35 seconds left in this fight, ladies and gentlemen. The people's main event of the evening. And Top Noy gets the takedown. Right back up to his feet, though, is Ito. Top Noy's having a better third round, dude. Top Noy's having a better third round. Nice kick to the body there by Ito. Followed by a left hook. Or sorry, nice left kick to the body there by Top Noy. Followed by a left hook. Ito initiating the clinch. They separate final 10 seconds. Nice left shot there by Ito. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. What a fight. Beautiful, beautiful fight. So technical. Thailand versus Japan. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. And it was a very close fight. I, I truly think Top Noy had the better third round. He landed the better strikes. And even though he didn't do anything with the takedown, Ito could not get a takedown this entire fight. Top Noy gets one with ease. Who will win? Oh my God! This gotta be unanimous decision. Do not rob him. Top Noy for me. I like Rigo, and it's cool that he's doing a podcast. I like Rigo's content because it's just it's it's something very different in the in our in on MMA YouTube, and he's Canadian. Oh, Canada, baby. I'm sorry if you lose your parlay, guys, but I am going to be stoked if the TIE Fighter wins. It was split. Uh, I would say Top Noy won the first round. Ito won the, won the second, but it doesn't matter, eBay, because this is judged like one championship. It's judged as a whole. I.e. the third round. <laughs> All right, we're awaiting the decision here. We're listening in. It's going to be a split decision. It's going to be a split decision. Ito wins the split decision. Oh, that's bad, dude. That's a bad decision, man. Good display of respect. They're bowing to each other there. But Top Noy, you could see the frustration, dude. Oh, Top Noy saying he broke his hand in round one. I can't be asked with this promotion. Ito wins, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what? It was a great showing by Ito. He looked a lot better in this fight than in his last few fights, in my opinion. But man, Top Noy won that round. Top Noy won that third round, guys. You can't tell me otherwise. Let's go, says Ram. But the boys' parlay lives on. <laughs> Top Noy. See, his resume doesn't do him justice. He's now nine and six, yet that was a really good fight. It's embarrassing that's a split. <laughs> Why is Brett trolling you? Robbed. 
I didn't like that decision, guys. I didn't like that decision. I think uh, Topnoy clearly did better in that third round. Topnoy easy. Robbery's getting out of hand. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He got robbed in his last fight, too. Yeah, it's unfortunate, man. He's a, he's a very fun fighter to watch, and he's just been on the on the bad end of these decisions. Ito win. Yes, he did, buddy. Exactly that. All right, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Bum, 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 bum. Featured fight of the evenings, and we're going back to the sumo wrestlers. That's right. We're going back to the heavyweights. Genji, Joji, Goto, Oto, Okuda, Victor, Yuki, Arato, Ego. Guys, we're going to the heavyweights. For the second time on the card. Bro, Buddy's been training with Francis and Ganu. Buddy's been training with Randy Couture. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. All right, next fight coming up here with the heavyweights, guys. The sumo wrestlers. Let's go, baby. We have Sudario against Dong Juan Lim. Now, Sudario was supposed to fight. Uh, 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 what's his name? Oh, why am I blanking on his name? Todd Duffy. He was supposed to fight Todd Duffy, but Todd Duffy couldn't get a visa to come to Japan. So they switched it up here. They switched it up. That's Strickland's gym. Team uh, Extreme Couture. So Sudario here. This baby face mafia has been training with some absolute killers. Didn't this guy get smoked by Junior Tafa? Yes, he did. Thank you for the live, bro. Thank you for joining the live, is what I should say. How much did you win, Carlo? All right. Tiyoshi Sadario. Seven and two as a pro. Six KOTKO, zero submissions, one decision. He is seven and two in Ryzen. Won his last fight against a 16 and an eight guy. Lost to Junior Tafa, got knocked the fuck out. Was on a three fight win streak before then. Honestly, he's not a bad heavyweight in Ryzen. He's not a bad heavyweight at all. And let's see, is he the favorite here? Why are there no betting odds for this one? Hmm. Doesn't look like there's any betting odds for this one. Anyways, Dong Juan Kim. He is five and six as a pro. He's, he is on a two fight win streak, though. Uh, 28 years old, training out of South Korea. One KOTK, one submission, three decision. Wah, wah, wah. Five and five in road FC. Uh, he beat a zero and one guy, zero and two guy, and he was on a four fight losing streak before that. All right, yeah, this guy's going to lose. Took this fight on short notice. Took this fight on short notice because Todd Duffy was supposed to fight Sidario two cards in a row. I'm going with Sidario, baby. He's going to go eight and two. <laughs> Uh, Shinobi Ota won. Um, UFC pick them, MMA bets. They haven't fought yet, buddy. They haven't fought yet. When is the Allen fight? Um, there's only two more fights left on the card. It's Shinobu Ota versus Shoko Sato. Uh, oh, in the main event of the evening, there's, there's two. Much, there's two fights left, dude. There's two fights left. This guy doesn't look like a heavyweight. He's 230 pounds. That's what he weighed in at. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, everywhere in the world ha has some sketchy stuff. There's some crazy sketchy shit that happens in the United States. There's crazy sketchy shit that happens in the Middle East. There's crazy shit that happens in Asia. Oh, he's juiced, baby. He couldn't get a visa. He couldn't get a visa. Uh, Sidario making his walk out now. Seven and two is a pro. 
Guys, listen to the sweet, sweet sounds of Lene Hart announcing these fighters. An opera singer announcing fights in one of the most savage leagues. And Sadario making his way to the cage now. 26 years old, man. And his resume is not bad for a heavyweight in Ryzen. His resume is not bad. Guys, if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. And while you're at it, don't forget to vote in the poll question. He's just shaking out those shoulders. Sudorio entering the cage. Yeah, Sudorio used to be a sumo wrestler. Dude, we got to do a sumo wrestling stream at one point. Now, I know some people might say that's sus, but like, we'd like, I want to do at least one combat martial arts, like in every discipline that is, like, that's available, you know, to watch. We'll do some weird ones, okay? We'll do some weird ones. Lethway, sumo wrestling. Olympic and or NCAA wrestling we haven't done yet. Dude, let's go, baby. <laughs> Carlo, you're eating well tomorrow, baby. Oh, geez, it used to have it there. Um, so the there, I think it was UFC Undisputed 3. Uh, you could play with the entire Ryzen roster. Dude, Carlo is swimming in it. cha -ching, baby! All right, guys. Fighters are being announced now in the cage. That is right. There is a cage. Because it's Captain Landmark 6. All right, round one coming up. Guys, if you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play commentary reaction and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat so don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't already and vote in the poll question pride roster that's what am, what am i saying guys so pride roster the nap bias folks it's creeping in so so yes it would be sweet for ryzen to have a game but there's not enough popularity for it when pride was though you can play with the Pride roster, and you can employ the soccer kicks. My favorite was playing with Mark Hunt, dropping someone, then soccer kicking them in the face. Dude, Undisputed 3 was awesome. That was my. I spent so many hours in high school playing that. In dollar, that's 1300 bucks. Dude, that's amazing. Nikolai, like I said, dude, it's in two more fights, buddy. It's in two more fights. This is the featured fight. All right, round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. There's two more fights after this, guys, and that's it. And Allen's in the main event. Dude, these guys are small heavyweights. The mole heavyweights. Japan versus Korea. Let's go. Absolutely. I, I can't change your mind. It is. The EA MMA as well. You can fight under Valley Tudo rules on that one. Yeah, that one was sweet because you had fighters outside the UFC in Pride, which was cool. The controls were a little bit wacky for that one, but... Uh, yeah, and the rosters were awesome. Inside low kick by Sidario. Four minutes on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Three minutes and 54 seconds on the clock. Inside low kick again there by Sudario. Three minutes and 44 seconds. Outside low kick by Sudario. Sudario is a little bit taller and has the reach advantage on his opponent here. Front kick by Dong Han Lim. Inside low kick by Sudario. Sudario might be my new favorite fighter. The baby-faced 
former sumo wrestler, now current MMA fighter, who's on a good run. High kick by Sidario. Thanks, bro. I will sleep now. Again, thanks for the live. Until next time. Thanks so much, Carlo. Have a great night, buddy. Have a great day, I should say. Three minutes on the clock here. First round. Oh, and a nice left there. Story landed a left. Story landed a counter left. And that hurt Dong Huan Lim. Dong Huan Lim quickly went for the takedown. Sudario grabbing his back. Sudario now in the top position. Sudario with the counter left. The counter left. Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Ass on the mat, back to the cage is Dong Huan Lim and a knee by Sodario. They're back up to their feet. Sodario saying, Come on, hit me. Congrats, Carlo. Yeah, Carlo hit a huge parlay in Ryzen. <laughs> Two minutes on the clock. Round one, ladies and gentlemen, and Sodario. Rocked Dong Hwan Lim and dropped him there with that counter left. See, like, I want to see, like, Sadario going over to Contender Series. <laughs> Not uh, some of these other heavyweights that the UFC has been signing. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock here. Dong Hwan Lim trying to apply the underhooks here. Nice body shots by Don Juan Lim. Center of the cage. One minute and 18 seconds left on the clock. Sudario stalking Don Juan Lim. Keep him up, keeping him outside that center line. One minute left in the first round. Straight left there by Sidario. Left of the body there. Sidario's little little showboating here saying, come on, hit me, hit me. And a one-two there by Don Juan Lim. Don Juan Lim with the blitz right hand and he misses. Sidario's quick on his feet for a heavyweight. This card isn't great. Maybe, maybe my last one put my expectation too high. Last card was definitely better. But uh, I'm I'm loving this card personally. But last card was definitely better. Can't top that first fight too. More more knockouts on the last card as well. But for me, there's only been one stinker fight on this card, and that was the which one was that again? Question mark kick? Jeez, by heavyweight. Uh, the Nakamura fight. That was the only stinker one for me. Every other fight I've been satisfied. All right, that's it for the first round. But yeah, last week's card was way better for sure. Would have been interesting to see Todd Duffy fight Sidario though. Unfortunately, couldn't get a visa. All right, round two coming up here. Again, two more fights after this, guys. We got Shinobu Ota against Shoko Sato. And then the main event, Hideo Tokoro against Alan Yoshihiro Yamaniha. Another Brazilian-Japanese cat. All right, like I said, round two coming up here, guys. All right. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. So follow along, comment along if you haven't already. All right, round two. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Come on, we need to finish here. We need to finish. Four minutes and 52 seconds on the clock.
I will say, though, Activated, the Cage has been a nice addition to this card. But usually, and I will also say this, Activate A, and maybe this is one of the reasons, usually they don't load up the landmark cards as much as the numbered cards because they go to a bigger arena for the numbered cards. So maybe that's one of the reasons, too. Or I'm just making excuses because I love Horizon. Four minutes and 18 seconds on the clock. Four minutes. God, I've just been craving Katsuda this whole time since I brought it up like in the first hour. <laughs> the rest going to call for action here. The rest going to call for action. These guys haven't done much. Sidario checking the leg kick of Lim. Sidario with the left. Sidario very confident. Sidario the MMA icon. <laughs> Yeah, definitely the cage was a great just to not watch people putting their heads through it to avoid getting choked. Oh, a nice right there by Sidorio. And Sidorio loaded up a right and a left hook. Sidorio with a right there. Dude, Sidorio's going to get a knockout activated. I can feel it. I can feel it. Each of them are like, come on, land that shot. And one of them is going to land that shot here. High kick attempt there by Don Juan Lim. Two minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Sodario walks him to the right, doesn't land. Sodario, he, he's the one... Uh, Pushing the pace in this fight. He's being more aggressive. He's the one dictating where this fight is going. And he doesn't want to get into a brawl here. He's waiting, picking, looking for that last shot. That ending blow. Sadar's checking the leg kicks beautifully as well. Yep. No, he's good, man. He's good. Now, he hasn't... I mean, he's not facing the best opponent here. But we went through his resume. He's a good prospect, man. He's so young. He's 26 years old for a heavyweight. Ooh, a nice body kick there by Lim. Sadara saying, no, we're good. We're good. Two minutes on the clock here in the second round. Now, this isn't going to the ground. I don't know why the, the commentary talking about this fight potentially going to the ground, and maybe that's an option for one of them. Nah, man, the option is punch them in the face as hard as you can here because you're heavyweights and send them to Shadow Realm. That's it. Inside leg kick, followed by a right hand by Sidario. Outside low kick by Lim. Inside leg kick by Sidario. Tafa destroyed him, but I'd love for Sidario Sitar to win the rematch. If if uh, assuming Ryzen doesn't want to like build around him because Ryzen doesn't have a good heavyweight division at all, shadow of what Pride was back in the day. Assuming you know that he 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 might get an opportunity. He's that young. Fifty five seconds on the clock here. Ooh, high kick attempt there by Lim. 46 seconds. All right. The finish is coming in the third, guys. The finish is coming in the third. Ooh, Sidario with the pop left jab. Dude, Sidario's got quick hands. I didn't see that one coming. I'm afraid Dong had no chance. The judges already had an automatic split win for Sidario just in case he gets dominated, right? Yeah, we thought the rivalry between Thailand and Japan was was bad in combat sports, Korea and Japan. Pfft, the Japanese guys winning. I am bummed, man, because I thought he he had a really good fight, the Thai guy, and, he, and it was really fun to watch. Final 10 seconds, and that is it. For, or sorry, final five seconds. Three, two, one, and that is it for the second round.
I'm, I want to see you finish in this third. And Sadario almost finished it in the first. And if he land, if he lands one of those big shots that he's throwing clean, man, it's, it's good night, Jim Kite. Yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah, and it sucks seeing the female one too. Yeah, that's right. She won that one too. Both of them clearly winning the third round and them going, nope. In a in an even fight, them winning the third round. It's ridiculous, dude. It's absolutely ridiculous. I disapprove. I disapprove, as Paulo Costa would say. Damage was meant to be the goal, not hugging. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. First yawn of the stream. Oh, my God. Oh, my yawn. No more coffee, Isha. No more, co no more coffee. Third and final round. Funny because they both had great takedown defense. I know. Yeah, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I'm glad the chat's all unanimous, though, in seeing it that way. Good old MMA judges. Never, t never, uh, never miss a beat. Never miss an opportunity, opportunity to disappoint us in any league. Great takedown defense there by Sadario. Sadario, great reversal too. Now he has the body lock on limb. Sadario, oh, a nice knee to the body there by Sadario. You don't want to be in the clinch of Sadario, man. This guy's a big, mean, strong fight machine. Four minutes and 14 seconds on the clock here. Sadar could easy be, easily be a legend in MMA. I'm a fan of him already, brother. Sadario, Chris Barnett. Let's do it, UFC. Inside low kick by Sadario. Could you imagine Sadario, Chris Barnett? They'd be talking in, in the cage and everything. Who is fighting next? Next is Shinobu Ota versus Shoko Sato. Three minutes and 32 seconds on the clock. Another low kick there by Sadario. Just continuing to pick him apart. Sadario trying to land that right, gets out of the way of the swinging limb. And again, shout out to Dong Juan Lim for taking this fight on, on a week's nose. Oh, nice right hand by Sudario. That hurt Lim. Lim got a little dazed off that shot. Oh, and a liver shot. And it is all over. It is all over. Sudario with the TKO to the body. I, what? Oh, he got the knockout. I knew it was going to happen in the third. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. The big bellied boy got it done, baby. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go. And that is eight and two now for Sidario. Beautiful shot to put him down. Dang knew he was going to get 30-24. Don't blame him for going down early. There we go. We're looking at the replay. Oh, nice fake with the left. Right to the temple. Little days, little days. Back up against the cage. Oh, it was an uppercut. Guys, I thought it was a shot to the body. My mistake. My mistake. It was a right uppercut upon looking at that replay. Damn, son. Hey, even better. Even better with the nice right uppercut. All right. Co-main event coming up here next, ladies and gentlemen. Co-main event coming up here next. Yeah, nice shot, dude. I like him. I like this heavyweight. A heavyweight prospect in the world of MMA. Former sumo guy. 
It was an uppercut to the body. Emotional damage. So I had it wrong on all fronts. Beautiful stuff there, guys. Beautiful stuff. So at first, I thought it was a hook to the body. Then I thought it was an uppercut to the face. Turns out it was an uppercut to the body. Okay, I got Ota. They can't rob him if he's doing well. It's Japanese versus Japanese. Exactly that. And now I'm waiting for the Brazil fighter to win bet 365. Please let me cash out. All right, all right. We got the talented wrestler in Shinoba Ota up against the 36-year-old veteran in mixed martial arts, Shoko Sato, who's 34, 15, and 2 in his pro MMA career. All right, we're going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and we'll get right back to a co-main event of the evening, evening, ladies and gentlemen. 13 fights in. 13 fights in. Five hours in. And folks, it's, it's felt like nothing. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to take a break here. I got to drain the main, main, I got to take a pee break. But uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Refill your coffee. Refill your water bottle. Grab a snack. Do a quick stretch. And don't forget to smash the like button on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. Vote in the poll question. Drop a comment in the live chat as well, guys. We're totally interactive. Grave Digger Jones is still here. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. You beautiful human, you. Grave Digger Jones, one of our exclusive members here, alongside Activate A. Special shout out to the exclusive members and everyone who has stayed up to watch Ryzen Landmark 6 with us. I like him, Grave Digger Jones. Ota aggressive wrestling and ground and pound should be effective in the cage. That is a great point. That is a great point. All right, guys, co-main event of the evening coming up here next. But like I said, we're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere, folks. Do not go anywhere. We will be back in literally two minutes to highlight both of these fighters as they make their walk to the cage. That's right, cage in one, landmark six in Nagoya, ladies and gentlemen. Like and subscribe, folks. Great commentary. Thank you. And you haven't even heard the best of me, dude. You haven't even heard the best of me. I'm whispering right now. This is some ASMR type shit. This is some ASMR type shit. Usually I'm hooting and hollering like a real person. However, my roommates are asleep. But he is so undersized. That is true. But he's strong as fuck for an undersized guy. All right, guys. Back after this quick break. Like and subscribe. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back in two minutes. I promise. We'll be back in two minutes. Rise and Landmark 6. Don't go anywhere. Two minute break. We'll be right back for the co main event of the evening. Let's go.
We are back for the co-main event of the evening. Ota making his walk to the cage now. The amazing Lene Hart with the announcements. Again, Bruce Buffer, he's S tier, but Lene Hart, she's a high A tier for me. She's a high A tier for me. All right, guys, let's highlight these fighters. Uh, Shinna Boy Ota, four and two is a pro in pro MMA's three and one in his last four fights. He is the favorite, minus one sixty. Very decorated power wrestler, strong for his stature, and he has very good ground and pound as well. Olympic gold medalist for Japan. Three KO, TKO, zero submissions, one decision, four and two. He was supposed to fight Inoue, which like Activate A said in the chat, was would have been a way bigger test for him. So he does get a little bit more of a layup with his opponent taking this on one week's notice. He beat a 13 and 9, 10 and 3, 24 21. And a guy making their debut as well. Look, you beat a guy who's 13 and 9 and a guy who's 10 and 3 when you're 2 and 2 and 3 and 2. Respect. Respect. Looking at his opponent, who took this fight again on week's notice. Shoko Sato, 34, 15 and 2, respectively, plus 130s, 36 years of age. He's two and two in his last four. Four and two in one championship. Two and one in San Goku Raiden championship. Making his rise and debut on short notice. He had a lot of success in one championship. I mean, look at this run he went on. Uh, being gifted flowers here in the Komen event of the evening, of course, of course. Honest Jai Won Kim. I love I love this fighter. Jai Won Kim, he's awesome. Honestly, this is a tough fight for Ota, but easier than in a way. Hmm. Who do you got, Activate A? Who do you got for this one, Activate A? Who should I pick, folks? Like, I like Ota, but like you can't count out Sato. You got Ota? Yeah, I'm leaning Ota as well. Remember they flew or threw the flowers at Floyd? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do it. Let's go, Ota. Locking it in. Noko Sato, 34, 15, and 2, 1, no contest, 36 years of, of age. Do you remember Crazy Horse and Rising? You remember. You remember when I knocked you out. Crazy Horse was fighting on a Thai card uh, this evening, a fight circus. Bum, bum, bum. There's no way he doesn't take him down. Basado does have nice elbows from the ground. Yeah, he went on a good run in one championship. All right. Fighters announced in the cage. Here we go, folks. Co-main event of the evening. Like the video if you're excited for the co-main event of the evening. Round one, let's get it on. Did he lose as usual? No, he actually did good in one championship, Joe. Check it out. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know why Tapologist does this fucking shit to me every day. Calm down. Four and two, but he went on a decent run here. All right, round one. Let's get it on. Also, Sato's first rise and fight, he's not used to the skill set. That is true. That is true. 
Uh, Pink Eyed Goat, it's starting right now, man. And go for the takedown is Ota. Knee to the body by Ota. Oh, did Crazy Horse lose? No. Joe, I'm going to send you something right now, buddy. He won in spectacular fashion. Nice. Beautiful takedown. Beautiful takedown by Ota. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Back up to his feet is Sato Ota with the body lock. What a takedown. What a takedown. Anyways, pushing him up against the cage. Going for the left single leg now. Um, Joe Hogan, I'm getting you this. Don't worry. I'm getting you this clip. I shared it in, uh, in the live chat on our last stream. I look for the front headlock here. Is Ota. <laughs> this is for you, my man. Henry Cejudo wore gold shorts like this in his first few fights. Yep. The wrestling way. They're separated. A couple punches there by Sato and Oto going for the takedown again. One or two minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Joe, this is one of the many reasons why we love Crazy Horse. And he's saying, you remember, because he knocked out Vanderlei Silva in or backstage before that fight. Two minutes and 29 seconds on the clock. And then he knocks out uh, Vanderlei's. Oh, you've seen? Okay, yeah, the, there you go. You remember. I love Charles Bennett, man. Two minutes and 12 seconds here. Oh, there with the left hook there. Two minutes on the clocks. Great suplex. And Ota abandoning the takedown when it's not working and looking for a different entry. Oh, a nice knee there and then tie clinch by Sato. Going in for the Body lock again here, at least trying here. He's he's got a left, he's got a left hook. Yes, he did, dude. Um, Joe Hogan, that uh, that guy who he slept had a crazy impressive knockout in kickboxing and rising a few months ago. He hit the guy and the guy froze standing up and was like, and then just like fell to the ground. It was wild. Need to see them slams he does. He did a beautiful one. One minute and 14 seconds on the clock. They separate again. Oh, and a nice knee there by Sato. And Ota again going for the body. Body lock, I should say. 58 seconds on the clock here. And Ota really working for that takedown. And again, Ota must love the cage, man. Because could you imagine if this was the ropes right now? Completely different game. If this was the ropes right now, o Ota would have to continue to dash to the corners of the ring. But no, he's got a whole cage to work here. Oh, and dropping for... What the heck kind of neck crank is this? It's almost like a guillotine, but from a ninja choke position. What is this uh, submission called? Oh, and he gets out of it. Ota gets out of it. That was weird. Sato fight IQ minus 1,000. Why did he do that? Why did he do that? Nearly 10 seconds left in the round here, but Ota's making the most of it. Pouncing on landing lefts, landing rights. And that is it for the first round. No worries, buddy. Yes, it did happen. Yes, it did happen. Um, I think it's a close fight, but I'm going to give the first round to Ota. Again, guys, the rounds aren't scored by round. I mean, the fight's not scored by round. It's scored as a whole. 
I think uh, Ota is fighting the better fight. Let's go Ota. Mountain bets. <sighs> Prepare yourself here. Are you mentally prepared for what, I, what I'm about to tell you? Topnoy got fucking robbed, dude. Topnoy had a great performance. And they gave it to the Japanese fighter. It was horrendous. Emotional damage. Uh, he won the first round and the third round clearly. Again, the, the the fights aren't judged by a round. But what I'm trying to say is it was pretty even going into the third. Like whoever was going to win the third, whoever was going to finish with the better shots in, in that period of time was likely going to win the fight. And, and he had a great third round and the judges gave it to the Japanese guy. So sucks. I meant, did Crazy Horse win the fight circus fight? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. I have no idea, to be honest. I've been streaming this whole time, but let's take a look. Four minutes and 46 seconds on the clock round. Dude. But I will say, dude, Captain I put on a great, great performance. No, it's not. It's not. But they weren't up until that point. They were fair. They were fair, and they weren't. They weren't going Japanese bias. Like they gave it to a Brazilian. They've just been judging more on wrestling than damage tonight. Yeah, no. Tapnoy deserves better, man. He deserves better. He had a. He had a great performance. Why is Crazy Horse fighting two guys at once? Because it's fight circus, baby. And look for that takedown again in the second round. Three minutes and 51 seconds on the clock here is Ota. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I just found a Bloody Elbow article on it. If, if, if anyone wants to see what Crazy Horse was up to tonight, the felony, he fought two Thai guys at once in a, in a, in a, yeah, in a fight. I gotta actually bookmark this because I'm gonna talk about this on the membership stream on Monday. All right, called for Action from the referee, and Sato gets, or an Ota gets the takedown, I should say. Three minutes on the clock here. Uh, not a lot, not a lot. Uh, Ota pushing Sato up against the cage. That is all that's happened in this round. And they separate now. And Sato running forward. Sato with the left. Sato hurt Ota. Sato landed a good left on Ota, and that hurt him. Ota with the takedown. Oto with the beautiful takedown. Back up to his feet is Sato. Sato hurt Oto there with the left. And Oto looking for the takedown again, pushing Sato up against the cage. Oto pushing Sato up against the cage. Two minutes and six seconds on the clock. Knees to the body there by Ota. Knees to the legs, I should say. Can't even reach the body in this position. One minute and 54 seconds on the clock. 420, everybody. Smoke them if you got them. Give me one sec. One minute. 38 seconds and Ota gets the takedown. I thought Ota had a head and arm choke. Ota with some nice shots in the top position. Oh, here we go. And there he lost it. Back up to their feet. Yeah, he didn't commit to it. He didn't commit to it. One minute and 14 seconds. Ooh, a nice shot there by Sota. And Ota swinging on the feet. Ota with a nice right hand. Well, counter left there by Sato. Ota's got to be careful when he throws those big shots. Sato's a better striker. Let's go Ota land some punches. 
where he's up against a taller, lankier, and better striker. So it's going to be tough for the young man. It's it's wrestler versus striker here, but Sato, you know, does have MMA experience. Ota, Ota. Forty seconds on the clock in the second round. I think Sato had the better round here. Oh, and a nice right hand by Ota. Ota tried to land a head kick and missed. Twenty-four seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice knee by Sato. Ten seconds on the clock. Oh, switch knee there by Sato. Sato, some good shots here at the end. Ota saying, yeah, "Well, we good, we good, baby." Oh, and a straight left jab by Sato. Sato's just a better striker on the feet. And, it, and and look at his experience, right? It's not even close. End of the second round. This is a striker versus grappler, if I've ever seen one. Round one, I think Otto got. Um, round two, Sato was better. But this fight is judged as a whole. This fight is judged as who is winning the fight when that when the third or when the bell after the third round rings, who's looking better in that moment? I'm going to be interested to see who does more in this third round or if Ota goes for the finish as far as a submission. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. Third round coming up here. And then we have one more fight left. The main event of the evening. Then we can all go to bed. Thank goodness. Because I'm getting tired, folks. I feel like I had more gas in the tank in this stream. The is still high, but damn, it's 4:28 in the morning. What are we doing here? We're watching Rising, baby. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Third and final round. Ota got some shots on the ground, mostly back of the head. Sato did land the better shots on the feet, though. Round three. Let's get it on. UFC pick them MMA bets. It's good to see you again, by the way. Name is Beto. Pink eyed goat, as always. Four minutes and 45 seconds on the clock here, guys. Still on the feet. Ocho with a feint. Ota. Pressuring Sota. Or Sato. And going for the takedown there was Ota. He capitalized on Sato's or Sato's mistake there. Not even mistake there, but just with his kick and going right for the body lock. What, what I do like about Ota, guys, is an activated eight pointed this out. When he is, when, when he does get the takedown, when he is in the top position on the ground, he is throwing shots like he's active. It's not like he's just laying there. Neither of them look more tired, dude. They both look fresh. Now Pink-Eyed Goat doesn't trust me. I just gave you a shout-out, Pink-Eyed Pink -eyed Goat, and you disrespect me right in front of my fans. I'm just kidding. Um, that is a good question. I, I don't think either of them look super tired. Oh, and a nice right hand by Sato. That hurt. That hurt, Oto. And Ota with the takedown. Beautiful takedown by Ota. Right back up to his feet, though, comes Saito. I'm more tired, Pink. Pink eyed goat. I'm more tired than both of them. I haven't grappled a minute this entire stream, and I'm more tired. Nice knee by Sato. Sato controlling the neck. Three minutes on the clock. That undefeated Japanese fighter. On road to UFC that beat Mark Kamko is in Ota's corner. Two minutes and 15. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Uh, two minutes and 45 seconds on the clock here. Ota still trying to get the takedown. Fighting the hands here. Ota with the right hand and then goes for the left single leg. Not losing, just a close fight. 
he had a good first round. I think Sato had a better second round, but it was still a close second round. And it's a close third thus far. He's not dominating. And there's a couple shots by Ota. Neither of them land clean going for the takedown. The relentless pace that Ota is pushing on Sato, though, is crazy. It's a wrestler's pace trying to grab that left single leg. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. At least the pace is high. One minute and 50 seconds on the clock. All right, and the ref separates them. Good on the ref. One minute and 38 seconds left in this third round. What's going on here? Oh, a wardrobe malfunction. All right, one minute and 30 seconds on the clock here. And Sato, he's stalk, stalking Ota. Ota now, outside that center line. Ota looking for his entry. Good job by Sato, taking away all his distance. Sato with a nice left hand. Oh, right hand by Sato. Left hand by Sato. Sato picking apart with the jab. Sato with a high kick. Sato with a high kick. That lands in Ota with a takedown. Sato landed a freaking high kick and Ota with the takedown, but Sato going for the guillotine. It's not deep. It's not deep. No, Ota's fine. Ota's fine. 41 seconds, though. Sato might win this fight. Sato's had the better third round. Sato just pieced Ota up on the feet, and now he's going to end with a potential submission attempt. Okay, now he abandoned the submission attempt. Ota's in the full guard of Sato. Ota right now has to just go fucking crazy. I do think it's going to be an L for Ota unless he unloads. Now, now I do think he is losing after this round's about to end here. Oh, great job by Sato from the bottom. Locking up that right arm for a moment. Three, two, one. Folks, this fight's about to end and it is all over. Ota ended the fight 30 seconds in the top position because Sato dropped with the guillotine. Oh, I have no idea how the judges are gonna give are gonna award this. Honestly, Activate A, I think they still might give it to Ota because they've just been so wrestling heavy. Even though Sato landed the better shots and Sato beat him up in that third round. I think based on how the judges have been scoring tonight, I do think they still might give it to Ota, but it should go. Soko Sato, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Split decision coming, yeah, for sure. It's unfortunate, but the judges have been more takedown and control time heavy than actual damage and strikes tonight, which honestly is not usually the case with Ryzen. With my luck today, I won't hold my chances. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Again, based on how the judge, judging has been going, they have been liking uh, the striking. But uh, Sato with a good performance there, man. Showing, you know, definitely like why and, and how he's a veteran. All right, we're listening in for the split. I was going to say, we're listening in for the split decisions. Probably going to be a split decision. All right, we're listening in here, guys. Split decision. The winner, Shoto Sato. And Shoto Sato wins split decision. <laughs> and honestly, it was the right decision, in my opinion. And a disappointed Ota drops to the mat. As now he goes four and three as a pro, but a good display of respect now as they bow to each other. And the veteran, Shoko Sato, you know, consoling him here.
but you can see a disappointed uh a disappointed Ota there, but bowing to his opponent, even even in disappointment there, even though he fell to the ground in disappointment after that split decision, look at the respect he's showing his opponent. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry to hear that. Emotional damage. They all have gifted the win. Ota looks devastated. A good call, finally. Damn, I will take that L. Noah! Noah hit! <laughs> yeah, bro, sucks. Hey, we have good days and bad days, buddy. Honestly, uh, Sato deserved to win that fight. Finally, the judges called it right, but a split decision. And honestly, Ota, he's so disappointed right now, but he the guy's not a bad fighter, and he'll be back. I'm waiting for the Brazilian fighter to win. Great fight nonetheless, yeah. And and how can you not like Ota? He's just a fun and lovable character. And shout to Soko Sato, telling the crowd to give Ota a round of applause. Honestly, I can't read Ryzen Fighters. I'll just be a fan. No, I ain't betting. Uh, now ain't betting on this promotion. Probably, probably safe. It is a wild card. It is a wild card. Thirty-seven dollars to win twelve hundred, dude. Congratulations, Noah. Touching baby, that is amazing. Good night, Noah. Have a great night. Yeah, and for those who missed on that parlay. My condolences as well. All right. So, uh, yeah, Soko Sato in his Ryzen debut, short notice, took out one of their one of their prospects, Ota. All right, guys, main event of the evening coming up here. We made it. 15 fights, five and a half hours. We friggin' made it, ladies and gentlemen. One more fight. Main event of the evening coming up next. I'm probably going to take one more break. Just because I need to do some jumping jacks. Get the blood moving again. And that will be the final break of the evening. But we'll highlight the fighters one more or before we do that. Man. Not as exciting as Ryzen 44. But honestly... I'm still, have a, I'm still having a great time watching these fights with you guys. I'm still entertained. I haven't lost money, so I'm happier than a few people in the chat here. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend despite that. And I hope you guys have enjoyed these streams and the content on the channel thus far. I still can't believe the freaking uh, the crowd we had for PFL, man. Cedric Dumbe, he brought a crowd. Um, again, a big shout out again to the main event of the evening next, guys. We made it. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. We got Hideo Takoro, Little Volk. 35, 32, and 2. Oh, my God. He's 46 years old. Going up against... Alan Yoshihiro Yamaniha, who's half Brazilian, half Japanese, 37 years old, but he's from Nagoya, minus 35 favorite. Let's take a look at Takoro first. Nice picture there. That's funny. All right, we got the cold open for the final fight for the main event of the evening playing right now, guys. Uh, five KO TKO, twenty-one submissions. Oh my God! Nine decisions. What a legend! Nine, six, and one in K one. Six and seven in Dream. Three and four in Rise, and zero and one in Bellator. He's fought all over the place. He lost to John Dodson. Oh, it was this guy? Oh man, he's gonna get his ass kicked. I know which guy this is. I know which guy this is. 
Dude, John Dodson landed one little punch on him, and it knocked him the hell out. This is going to be a quick one, ladies and gentlemen. John Dodson uh, beat him at Ryzen 40. He lost to Shinryu, minus 37, or at Ryzen 37. Shinryu is good, though, 13-1. and one. So was John Dodson, so he did lose to uh, you know, good opponents. Uh, he beat Ota in Ota's debut. And he's had a bunch of grappling matches. More so, he's been more active grappling than in MMA as of late, but he is the main event for some reason on this landmark card here today, coming off two losses. One to Shinryu, one to John Dodson. By the way, John Dodson won another fight after that. Went back to BKFC. Won the BKFC title. Now he's coming back to Ryzen soon to win the Ryzen belt. The real BMF, John Dodson. By the way, by the way, I have a video on my channel talking about just that. John Dodson, he's the real BMF. He is the real baddest. Motherfucker. Doesn't matter. John Dodson, in his late 30s, early 40s, gets the Ryzen strap. Ryzen's a savage league. And the BKFC strap. BKFC's a savage league. Is he not the real BMF? I would say that he is. I would say that he is. Here, I make a video about it here. Oh, appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, this 46-year-old will ruin my parlay. Don't think like that. Don't think like that. Positive vibes here, buddy. Positive vibes. His last fight, he looks so bad against... Uh, he looks so bad against Dodson, dude. Okay? Uh, his opponent, Alan Yamaniha. 20 wins, 10 losses. Uh, he's 2-2 two two in his last five fights, but again, huge favorite at minus uh, 350. 37 years of age. Both of these guys have been uh, have been in the game for a while. All right. Uh, four KOTKO, four submissions, 12 decisions. Three and two in Ryzen, six and five in Pancras, four zero oh and one in Deep, and two and two in Fight Network. Zis. Uh, he beat a 13 and 7 guy. Lost to 29 and 10. Beat a 34 and 13. What the heck is it? Imagine Dragons is his walkout song. What? Interesting. He did go on a good little run there. He did go on a little bit of a run there in Pancras and deep between 2019 and 2021. Where he beat some decent guys. He beat an 8 and 1 guy. 25 and 6. These two aren't the worst, but not the best either. Kaya Sakura humbled him upon entering Ryzen, though, for sure. Honestly, not the worst resume. Not the worst resume. 8 and 3. Not, not the worst. Not the worst. Um, Both of them have been in the game for a while. Obviously, this guy's taking more damage. I mean, just look at his topology picture. But in the corner of Yamaniha is Clever Creek Gay Erps. You know, they're, they're that, that gang of half Japanese, half Brazilian cats. D'Souza. God, I hate Imagine Dragons. What's up, Big Nose You? It's great to see you. Even though I don't speak a lick of English. Or, I mean, a lick of Japanese, you mean? This is a very wholesome promo. Absolutely. Interesting that there's a whole group of Brazilian slash Japanese fighters in one team, all Ryzen fighters, right? And all nasty Brazilian uh, jiu-jitsu practitioners. Now, a few of them have fought in different promotions, like Clever Kweepke, Earths, you know, um, challenged... Um, Oh, why am I blanking? It's because I'm tired. Uh, 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 oh my god, why am I blanking on the fucking Polish fighter's name? He just fought. 
Gamrot. He fought Gamrot uh, for the title. Lost, but fought Gamrot for the title in KSW. D'Souza, I think, has just been around the Japanese scene. Oh, yeah, there's a whole group of them, man. D'Souza, uh, Quique Earps, Allen, this guy right here. Dude, if you're half Brazilian, half Japanese, you should be a, a crazy killer of a fighter. You're born out of the womb a black belt. Right off the bat. Need Brazilian to grow to win. Can't sell another kidney. I hope you never have to sell another kidney, Sean. Guys, I'm very, very confident the Brazilian will win. Again, Takaro's chin is gone. He's a good grappler. But I think the Brazilian's going to keep this on the feet. Final fight of the card, ladies and gentlemen. And Hideo Nokoro is making his walk out now. And this might be his final walkout. He looks pretty emotional here. I mean, he might hang him up after this, guys. He's freaking 48, 46 years old. All right, guys. I want to take my final quick break here. I'm going to do a quick little stretch. I'm going to grab my water bottle, and we will be right back to call this last fight. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. We made it. Five hours and 40 minutes, 14 fights. We are finally at the main event of the evening. Big nose, it, it started almost six hours ago. They all horrible strikers, though, after last week's main event that proved that. <laughs> Bro, Takaro already looking beat up on the walkout. It's more, it's more of a brawl. High pace grappling, just bleed type of league. Except not that many cuts, but you know what I mean. All right, quick break here. I'm literally just going to do a quick stretch and grab my water bottle and we'll be right back. Let's go. We are back for the main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. And activate a um, true that that would be funny. You know what's crazy here is the 37 year old is nine years younger than his opponent. The 37 year old is nine years younger than his opponent. Honestly, man, I know this guy's a jujitsu practitioner. And if this goes to the ground, if this becomes a jujitsu match, this might just be a three-round grappling match. I hope Alan Hero Yamaniha keeps this on the feet and tries to go for the knockout. Because Hiru Tokoro has no chin. Again, Dobson just tagged him and he went to the ground. Main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to every single god damn one of you out there who's joined us throughout this entire stream for the company stream who joined us for one championship who joined us for pfl who support this channel you all are amazing i appreciate you all if you enjoyed this stream if you dig this channel please do me a favor and subscribe smash the like button on this video this is the final fight this is your last chance to smash 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 that like button Ryzen will be back next month, ladies and gentlemen. 
I believe October 8th or October 4th. Main event of the evening, the old farts, 46-37, Japan versus Brazil, and kind of Japan. Yeah, my roommates are sleeping, buddy. It's 5 a.m. But I'll be back talking normally uh, next week. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Four minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Center of the cage. Takoro is taller. Yabaniha. Nice fake there, but Takoro with the outside low kick. Takoro tried to go with the outside low kick again. Ooh, body kick there by Yabaniha. Four minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. Ooh, and a left jab there by Yamahina. And Takoro again with the reach advantage here. He should be, he sh Takara should continue to attack the legs of Yamahina. It's crazy that Takara fought in Dream, man. He's been around for so long. I mean, dude, Takara, or yeah, Takara's so old, he probably could have fought in Pride. What a nice takedown there by, Yam, uh, by Yamahina. And here we go. The grappling match begins, ladies and gentlemen. The grappling match begins. Takoro's got an underhook here, modified half guard, side control. Great reversal there by Takoro. And Takoro into half guard here. And a great pass. Oh, not quite. I thought uh, Takoro was going to pass to half guard here. Good job by the Yamahino on the bottom here. Rubber guard. Rubber guard and a right underhook. And Takoro looks like he's going to stand up. No, Takoro tried to pass quickly. Didn't land. Three minutes and nine seconds on the clock. And we got a jujitsu match now. Good use of the rubber guard by Yamahina. Takoro having a tough time trying to pass guard. <laughs> Some muffin shots by Takoro in the top position. Uh, a VPN and a zone. And Takoro's back up to his feet. Oh, and Takoro looking for an ankle. Leg lock. Takoro was looking for a leg lock, but now gives up his back on the entry and Yama, Yamahina getting his back. Yamahina getting the back of Takoro. Yamahina getting the back of Takoro. Takoro is going for a stomp. Then went for the leg lock, and now Yamahina takes his back. Two minutes on the clock. The body triangle is not is not secured yet, but he's got the double hooks in, and he's using it to pull Takoro and try to flatten him out. Good back pressure here by Yamahina. One minute forty four seconds on the clock here. First round. Final fight of Rise and Landmark 6, which Landmark 5 was way better. Yashiro for a bag. What's up, Stratos C? Guys, Yamahina's going to win. Don't worry. Trust. All right, the body triangle is secured. One minute, 18 seconds on the clock here. Looking for the backpack. Looking for the back mount. And a nice roll there by both these guys. Yamahina flattening out Takoro from the back here. And he's in deep water. He's nowhere near the cage, center of the cage. Body triangle sunk in. And now it's all about fighting the hands. Good job there. Good, good job scrambling there. Yamahina actually had to abandon the body triangle and just go for the hooks. Oh, now looking for a potential arm bar here. Thirty-seven seconds on the clock. Kimura. Oh, Yamahina. Very sick grappling here, man. Beautiful back control. My goodness. 
Beautiful back control here by Yamahina. DeCarl trying to scramble here, but man, Yamahina maintaining that back control with ease. Good first round here by Yamahina. Constant scrambles, though, guys. Constant scrambles. Final seconds of the round. Takoro threatened with the leg, or threatened with the heel just for a moment, but he had nothing. And that's it for the first round. Honestly, high pace grappling match. High pace grappling match. I, I, I'm not upset about it. A little bit of a snoozer, especially when we're staying up six hours for this. But at least, at least there's pace to it. At least there's a ton of scrambles. And I do think we'll see a submission sooner than later from that of Yamahina. Or I see Yamahina knocking his ass out on an entry. Um, yeah, second round upon us, folks. Thank you so much for joining, as always. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to everybody who donated today. Thank you to all the new members. And thank you to everyone who liked this video. If you haven't already, smash that like button. What a corner. Clever Kweepke, Urs, and D'Souza. Two half-Japanese, half-Brazilian cats. All of them killers, except Erps didn't look good in his last fight. Lost his title by missing weight. Lost his fight to get him back into title contention. Man. All right, second round is about to begin here, folks. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Right, round two. Let's go! Oh, nice right hand there by Yamahina. And a left there by Yamahina. And a high kick by Yamahina. And a kick to the body by Yamahina. Yamahina, what are you doing scrambling? Oh, Yamahina going for the back. Yamahina with the right hand. Takoro. Takoro's hurt. I told you guys he's got no chin. And fair enough, he's 46. Rolling is Takoro. Rolling is Takoro. Trying for the up kick is Takoro. Where's the entry here by Yamahina? Four minutes and 26 seconds on the clock. What a fast pace. What a fast pace to the second round. 30 seconds in. Already so much action. Two minutes on the clock. And Takaro gets stood up. Four minutes and ten seconds on the clock here, guys. And Yamahina with the right hand. Oh, Takaro. His striking it. His striking's too slow, man. His, stri his striking's too slow. His grapplings look pretty good though here tonight. But Yamahina's just beating him on the feet and he's beating him, beating him on the ground, in my opinion. Three minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Takoro in the top position, though. Left foot planted there. Modified half guard side control. Yama, what's up, David Blaine? Cheese it. How's it going, David Blaine? Three minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. Three minutes and 16 seconds here. Takoro in the top position. Landing a left shot there was Takoro. But Yamahina's looked so comfortable on his back uh, so far. This is for you, David Blaine. I just sent you something. On his feet right now is Takoro, trying to grab the ankle of Yamahina for an entry, but nice up kicks there by Yami Yamahina. Oh, trying to set up maybe an arm bar here is Yamahina. Takoro just landing some, or throwing some shots on the top for the entry. Two minutes and 28 seconds on the clock. Round two. Trying to grab an arm here. Who's looking for the Kamara from the bottom but didn't get it was Yam Yamahina. I will give credit. Takara's got no striking left in him and no chin at 46. But his grappling game is on point. Or at least he's made this an entertaining fight as far, uh, as, far as the grappling goes. But yeah, no, Yamahina's good. Yamahina, I think he's getting the better Takoro on the ground and on the feet. Even from his back, he's he's taking a few shots there, but nothing egregious. 
One minute and 42 seconds on the clock. And Decoro passing back and forth. Again, I'm impressed with uh, Takoro, the 46-year-old, and, and how slick his grappling still is. All right, Takoro on his feet here, trying to find that entry again. Shout to Landmark, by the way. Rising in a cage, it's fun. Oh, grabbing the cage there. Cage grab there by Yamahina. Dude, the refs, and, and I don't blame them too much because, like, they're used to... They're used to a ring, but the refs have been oblivious to the cage grabs. And Takoro looked like he went in there for the takedown, but reversed there with Yamahina. Yamahina now in modified side, modified half guard side control. And Yamahina now can start laying right elbows. Yamahina now can start laying right elbows, and he does. He does start laying down those right elbows. Takoro trying to attack the leg of Yamahina, but Yamahina, modified half guard side control, pure domination. And he's laying down short right elbows and forearm strikes. Uh, weirdly, don't see as much people getting grounded on Ryzen. Obviously, those guys don't mind behind on the ground, so less resistance. But everyone has just apparently got great takedown defense. <laughs> Maybe because they know they're like, oh, if I keep this on the feet and just swing like a madman. I'll get paid. I'll get paid more money for my next fight. And that's it for the second round. Ending in the top position is Yamahina. Honestly, Activate A, this isn't like a great fight by any means. But way better than you would expect from a freaking 46 year old and 37 year old. Am I right? At least there's a pace to this grappling. I mean, this doesn't look like freaking. This doesn't, and thank goodness. And I know they were a little bit older, but this is, this does not look like uh, like like Tito Chuck three at all. Now again, those guys would like add ten years on them, but two old farts in the promotion, and, and the guy forty six. I mean, who is this guy? But again, no chin. As I mean, look at his profile picture. And Yamahina is screaming to the camera. This guy's got a full gas tank. This guy is ready to go. Oh my goodness, look at him. He's screaming. Full gas tank. Absolute killer. And Takoro's like, oh man. Oh my god, look at the kid sleeping. Look at the kid sleeping. You and me both, kid. Yeah, it seems like 1-1. One, one. Do you guys see that kid? Just I tried to snap this. Oh, look. They're talking. They're talking. Third and final round. Rise in landmark six. Let's and right away, going for the takedown. And he pulls him right down. I don't even want to say it was a beautiful back take. It was an easy back take. He grabbed his torso, pulled him back. And Yamahina taking the back of Takoro. Four minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. Body triangle secured. Yeah, relatable. It's almost afternoon. <laughs> yeah, you've been up so long, Activated. We need some sleep soon, brother. Body triangle is secured. Four minutes and 22 seconds of time for Yamahina to work in the back control here on Takoro. Four minutes and nine seconds on the clock. And Yamahina abandons the body triangle here, but still working for the choke. Oh, good scramble there by Takoro. Takoro. And Takoro with the reversal right into the guard of Yamahina. Oh, no, he reversed it. David Blaine, uh, I'm, I'm quite positive the Yamahina is going to end up winning this fight as he looked better in the first two rounds, but it's not over till it's over. Want to see Allen win for the guy with the bat? Me too, me too. And Takoro winning would just be crazy. In the worst possible way. Three minutes and 15 seconds left in this third round. I can't believe we're still awake, guys. Six-hour stream for Ryzen. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for joining. 
Like this card started when the Canelo fight started. That's how long we've been streaming. This fight stream has started when the Canelo fight started. Thank you guys, but this is a coin flip. Oh, I think Yamahina's doing way better, dude. I mean, not not in this moment. In this moment, nope. Even if it goes the distance. I mean, it's only a coin flip if it goes the distance. <laughs> if it ends before then, it's not a coin flip. It's decisive. We know who wins and loses. But no, Takoro having a way better round this round. I mean, uh, but again, I shouldn't even say that because Yamahina had a legit submission attempt this round and back control, so I take it back. It's about tied right now at the two-minute mark. And a good job by Takaro for almost getting into side control. Dude, Yamahina is so good at not allowing you to get that full side control. He lets you pass in the half guard, but then you're stuck there. One minute and 45 seconds on the clock. On a couple lefts there and some elbow or a couple rights, I should say, and some right elbows. Modified half guard side control from Takoro. Again, the 46 year old looks good in grappling. I think so. Oh no, Takoro going for the head. Takoro going for the head, head and arm choke. I don't think he's going to get it unless he passes to half or unless he passes to side control. Oh, no. We got one minute left. Is he out? I don't think he's out. He just came back to life. Dude, he went out. He, he went out and he just came back to life. This ref is asleep. Dude, this ref is high as hell right now. This ref is smoking on that Herb Dean, I'm telling you. Dude, he went out and came too. He was like, <gasps> did you see that? Did you see that you saw his... <gasps> he doesn't even know where he is right now. He's like, oh shit, I'm still in this fight. 30 seconds left. Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Takoro just choked out Yamahina, but the ref didn't notice it. And he came back to life. He was like, <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. He didn't know where he was for like a good five seconds. And now Yamahina looking for the back take. Doesn't get it. Great round. Great round by Takoro. That's crazy, dude. And that is it. That is it. Six hours on the dot. I cannot believe that the 46-year-old survived. I cannot believe that the 46-year-old might win this fight. How did the Brazilian fade so hard in that third round? Guys, listen to me. Takoro choked out Yamahina. He went to sleep. He was out and <gasps> comes back to life. The ref didn't care about cage grabs. The ref smoking on her. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Maybe. This was way too competitive, but Yamahina should win. I agree. The Yamahina for 10 minutes of that 15 minute fight was dominating in the strikes, in the submission attempts, in the reversals. But that third round. Hey, look, it's the Japanese Max Holloway. I should get good night, good night, Irene. All right, good display of respect between these guys. All right, we're listening in, guys. Judge's scorecard here. Y'all ready for this? We're listening in. Yamahina gets one judge. Okay, he gets the second judge too. Yamahina wins unanimous decision. 
He did enough to win, and I think that was the right decision. So the judging, not horrendous tonight, not great. Hell, I would even argue bad, but not horrendous. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Ryzen Landmark 6 is in the freaking books. And Nikolai wins. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. He tapped nine times. He tapped nine times. <laughs> Parlay cash. Let's go. Let's go. Unbelievable. Good job, Nico. Congrats, Nico. That kid is fast asleep. That's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh. Kid is literally sleeping. You just won $2,800? Dude, congratulations. That's amazing. That is amazing. Let's freaking go. Oh, the kid's just like, oh, your dad just lost. He's like, whatever, man. Let's go. Congratulations, brother. Don't go spend it in one place now. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Get your final comments in now. Final thoughts on the card. Final thoughts on the weekend. Poll question. Any last words? Hit them up in the live chat right now because that is it. That is the show. Ryzen Landmark 6 is in the books. We won't be doing another live stream for Ryzen for another month because I don't have a card for another month. But we will be back Tuesday for Dana White's Contender Series and Monday for the exclusive member stream. Anytime, brother. Anytime, every time. You're an absolute beauty. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking the video. I appreciate you. Sorry I was whispering, but my roommates were asleep. Dude, you're the best. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sean. Uh, Tuesday, Dana White Contender Series is our next stream. Good night, good morning, Gravedigger Jones. Guys, smash that like button, subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We post MMA com commentary videos, news reaction, um, unique videos, vlogs. There's a little something for everyone. And up to 10 streams a week, weekday and weekend. Your only kidney is safe now. I lost 1 million in uh, Nera just because of Jacob Malkoon's qualification last week. It was crazy. Damn. We do, and we stream Lux as well. Every single combat uh, sports and as many promotions as we can. UWC, we haven't streamed yet, but I did watch the event last night. Brazilian beats Japanese on a decision in Japan. It's crazy, but this guy looks more Japanese than he does Brazilian. Activate a... And everyone in the chat, new subscribers, diehard, uh, regular subscribers, and exclusive members. You guys are awesome. We haven't streamed ACA, but I watch ACA. I watch them all, Big Nose You. I watch them all. Thank you, Big Nose You, for joining. Guys, smash that like button on your way out, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.